Each day, take the time to ask yourself, what can I do today to bring me closer to my goal? Jack Canfield Prosperity is not without many fears and disasters, and adversity is not without comforts and hopes. Work on you for you. A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Chinese proverb. Learn to value experience over possessions because memories are the real treasures of life. Pride and excess bring disaster for man. The most precious gift we can offer anyone is our attention. When mindfulness embraces those we love, they will bloom like flowers. Thich Nhat Hanh. Receive temporal blessings without ostentation. When they are sent, and thou shalt be able to part with them with all readiness and facility, when they are taken from thee again. If someone is trying to bring you down, it only means you are above them. Don't chase happiness. Just stay positive and you will experience joy. When a person can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. Viktor Frankl All we are is the result of all we have thought. Anything you can settle with money is cheap. We cannot change anything unless we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate. It oppresses. Carl Jung Why should any of these things that happen externally so much distract thee? Give thyself leisure to learn some good thing and cease roving and wandering to and fro. Thou must also take heed of another kind of wandering, for they are idle in their actions, who toil and labor in this life, and have no certain scope to which to direct all their motions and desires. Fill your bowl to the brim, and it will spill. Keep sharpening your knife, and it will be blunt. Celebrate small victories and milestones because they pave the way for bigger achievements. Time heals what reason cannot. Seneca Embrace solitude as a time for reflection and self-discovery. When anger rises, think of the consequences. The self is the unchanging reality amidst the changing world. Papaji What is the law of life? When a person was reading hypothetical arguments, Epictetus said, This also is an hypothetical law that we must accept what follows from the hypothesis. But much before this law is the law of life that we must act conformably to nature. For if in every matter and circumstance we wish to observe what is natural, it is plain that in everything we ought to make it our aim that is consequent, shall not escape us and that we do not admit the contradictory. First then, philosophers exercise us in theory, which is easier, and then next they lead us to the more difficult things. For in theory there is nothing which draws us away from following what is taught. But in the matters of life many are the things which distract us. 
He is ridiculous then, who says that he wishes to begin with the matters of real life, for it is not easy to begin with the more difficult things, and we ought to employ this fact as an argument to those parents who are vexed at their children learning philosophy. Am I doing wrong then, my father? And do I not know what is suitable to me and becoming? If indeed this can neither be learned nor taught, why do you blame me? But if it can, he taught, teach me. And if you cannot, allow me to learn from those who say that they know how to teach. For what do you think? Do you suppose that I voluntarily fall into evil and miss the good? I hope that it may not be so. What is then the cause of my doing wrong? Ignorance. Do you not choose then that I should get rid of my ignorance? Who was ever taught by anger the art of a pilot or music? Do you think then that by means of your anger I shall learn the art of life? He only is allowed to speak in this way who has shown such an intention. But if a man only intending to make a display at a banquet and to show that he is acquainted with hypothetical arguments reads them and attends the philosophers, what other object has he than that some man of senatorian rank who sits by him may admire? For there are the really great materials, and the riches here appear to be trifles there. This is the reason why it is difficult for a man to be master of the appearances, where the things which disturb the judgment are great. I know a certain person who complained, as he embraced the knees of Epaphroditus, that he had only one hundred and fifty times ten thousand denarii remaining. What then did Epaphroditus do? Did he laugh at him, as we slaves of Epaphroditus did? No. But he cried out with amazement, Poor man, how did you keep silence? How did you endure it? When Epictetus had reproved the person who was reading the hypothetical arguments, and the teacher who had suggested the reading was laughing at the reader, Epictetus said to the teacher, You are laughing at yourself. You did not prepare the young man, nor did you ascertain whether he was able to understand these matters but perhaps you are only employing him as a reader. Well then, said Epictetus, if a man has not ability enough to understand a complex, do we trust him in giving praise? Do we trust him in giving blame? Do we allow that he is able to form a judgment about good or bad? And if such a man blames anyone, does the man care for the blame? And if he praises anyone, is the man elated? when in such small matters as an hypothetical syllogism, he who praises cannot see what is consequent on the hypothesis. This then is the beginning of philosophy, a man's perception of the state of his ruling faculty. For when a man knows that it is weak, then he will not employ it on things of the greatest difficulty. But at present if men cannot swallow even a morsel, they buy whole volumes and attempt to devour them and this is the reason why they vomit them up or suffer indigestion, and then come gripings, defluxes, and fevers. Such men ought to consider what their ability is. In theory, it is easy to convince an ignorant person, but in the affairs of real life, no one offers himself to be convinced, and we hate the man who has convinced us. But Socrates advised us not to live a life which is not subjected to examination. Whoever attaches a lot of value to the opinions of others pays them too much honor. Our lives are defined by opportunities, even the ones we miss. In matters of style, swim with the current. In matters of principle, stand like a rock. Thomas Jefferson What really ruins our character is the fact that none of us looks back over his life.
Our suffering is caused by holding on to how things might have been, should have been, could have been. People have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of a fear of the unknown, they prefer suffering that is familiar. Tishnat Han When children come clapping their hands and crying out, Today is the good Saturnalia, do we say, The Saturnalia are not good? By no means, but we clap our hands also. Do you also then, when you are not able to make a man change his mind, be assured that he is a child, and clap your hands with him? And if you do not choose to do this, keep silent. A man must keep this in mind. And when he is called to any such difficulty, he should know that the time is come for showing if he has been instructed. For he who is come into a difficulty is like a young man from a school who has practiced the resolution of syllogisms. And if any person proposes to him an easy syllogism, he says, Rather propose to me a syllogism which is skillfully complicated that I may exercise myself on it. Even athletes are dissatisfied with slight young men and say, he cannot lift me. This is a youth of noble disposition. But when the time of trial has come, one of you must weep and say, I wish that I had learned more. A little more of what? If you did not learn these things in order to show them in practice, why did you learn them? I think that there is someone among you who are sitting here, who is suffering like a woman in labor and saying, Oh, that such a difficulty does not present itself to me as that which has come to this man. Oh, that I should be wasting my life in a corner when I might be crowned at Olympia. When will anyone announce to me such a contest? Such ought to be the disposition of all of you. Even among the gladiators of Caesar, there are some who complain grievously that they are not brought forward and matched and they offer up prayers to God and address themselves to their superintendents entreating that they might fight. And will no one among you show himself such? I would willingly take a voyage for this purpose and see what my athlete is doing, how he is studying his subject. I do not choose such a subject, he says. Why, is it in your power to take what subject you choose? There has been given to you such a body as you have, such parents, such brethren, such a country, such a place in your country. Then you come to me and say, change my subject. Have you not abilities which enable you to manage the subject which has been given to you? It is your business to propose. It is mine to exercise myself well. However, you do not say so, but you say, do not propose to me such a tropic, but such. Do not urge against me such an objection, but such. There will be a time, perhaps, when tragic actors will suppose that they are masks and buskins and the long cloak. I say these things, man, are your material and subject. Utter something that we may know whether you are a tragic actor or a buffoon, for both of you have all the rest in common. If anyone then should take away the tragic actor's buskins and his mask and introduce him on the stage as a phantom, is the tragic actor lost or does he still remain? If he has voice, he still remains. An example of another kind. Assume the governorship of a province. I assume it and when I have assumed it, I show how an instructed man behaves. Lay aside the laticlave, and clothing yourself in rags, come forward in this character. What then have I not the power of displaying a good voice? How then do you now appear, as a witness summoned by God? Come forward, you, and bear testimony for me, for you are worthy to be brought forward as a witness by me. Is anything external to the will good or bad? Do I hurt any man? Have I made every man's interest dependent on any man except himself? What testimony do you give for God? 
I am in a wretched condition, Master, and I am unfortunate. No man cares for me. No man gives me anything. All blame me. All speak ill of me. Is this the evidence that you are going to give and disgrace his summons, who has conferred so much honor on you and thought you worthy of being called to bear such testimony? But suppose that he who has the power has declared, I judge you to be impious and profane. What has happened to you? I have been judged to be impious and profane. Nothing else, nothing else. But if the same person had passed judgment on an hypothetical syllogism and had made a declaration, the conclusion that if it is day, it is light, I declare to be false. What has happened to the hypothetical syllogism? Who is judged in this case? Who has been condemned? The hypothetical syllogism, or the man who has been deceived by it, does he then, who has the power of making any declaration about you know what is pious or impious, has he studied it and has he learned it? Where? From whom? Then is it the fact that a musician pays no regard to him who declares that the lowest chord in the lyre is the highest, nor yet a geometrician, if he declares that the lines from the center of a circle to the circumference are not equal? And shall he who is really instructed pay any regard to the uninstructed man when he pronounces judgment on what is pious and what is impious, on what is just and unjust? Oh, the signal wrong done by the instructed! Did they learn this here? Will you not leave the small arguments about these matters to others, to lazy fellows, that they may sit in a corner and receive their sorry pay, or grumble that no one gives them anything? And will you not come forward and make use of what you have learned? For it is not these small arguments that are wanted now. The writings of the Stoics are full of them. What then is the thing which is wanted? A man who shall apply them, one who by his acts shall bear testimony to his words. Assume I entreat you this character that we may no longer use in the schools the examples of the ancients, but may have some example of our own. To whom then does the contemplation of these matters belong? To him who has leisure, for man is an animal that loves contemplation. But it is shameful to contemplate these things as runaway slaves do. We should sit, as in a theater, free from distraction, and listen at one time to the tragic actor, at another time to the lute player, and not do as slaves do. As soon as the slave has taken his station, he praises the actor and at the same time looks round. Then, if anyone calls out his master's name, the slave is immediately frightened and disturbed. It is shameful for philosophers thus to contemplate the works of nature. For what is a master? Man is not the master of man. But death is, and life and pleasure and pain. For if he comes without these things, bring Caesar to me and you will see how firm I am. But when he shall come with these things, thundering and lightning, and when I am afraid of them, what do I do then except to recognize my master like the runaway slave? But so long as I have any respite from these terrors as a runaway slave stands in the theater, so do I. I bathe, I drink, I sing. But all this I do with terror and uneasiness. But if I shall release myself from my masters, that is from those things by means of which masters are formidable, what further trouble have I? What master have I still? What then? Ought we to publish these things to all men? No but we ought to accommodate ourselves to the ignorant and to say, This man recommends to me that which he thinks good for himself. I excuse him. For Socrates also excused the jailer, who had the charge of him in prison, and was weeping when Socrates was going to drink the poison, and said, How generously he laments over us. Does he then say to the jailer that for this reason we have sent away the women? No, but he says it to his friends who were able to hear it. 
and he treats the jailer as a child. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending, he turned into... Do not pretend to be better than you are. Live life at your own pace. I begin to speak only when I'm certain what I'll say isn't better left unsaid. Cato If you know how it's done, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Anything that you start to take a relaxed attitude towards stops controlling you. You have greatness within you. You have something special. You have to make a declaration that this is your time. Les Brown Those things which the common sort of people do admire are most of them such things as are very general and may be comprehended under things merely natural or naturally affected and qualified as stones, wood, figs, vines, olives. Those that be admired by them that are more moderate and restrained are comprehended under things animated, as flocks and herds. Those that are yet more gentle and curious, their admiration is commonly confined to reasonable creatures only, not in general as they are reasonable, but as they are capable of art or of some craft and subtile invention, or perchance barely to reasonable creatures, as they that delight in the possession of many slaves. But he that honors a reasonable soul in general, as it is reasonable and naturally sociable, doth little regard anything else, and above all things is careful to preserve his own in the continual habit and exercise both of reason and sociableness, and thereby doth cooperate with him, of whose nature he doth also participate. God. If you believe it will work out, you'll see opportunities. If you believe it won't, you will see obstacles. Never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it. The time will pass anyway. A person is said to have attained self-realization when they have conquered their desires and attachments. Bhagavad Gita He who is to be a good ruler must have first been ruled. Think before you act. It can take a second to do something you haven't properly considered. That isn't a true reflection of your character, and it can undo a lifetime of kindness and generosity. Success is steady progress toward one's personal goals. Jim Rohn It is not possible that any nature should be inferior unto art since that all arts imitate nature. If this be so, that the most perfect and general nature of all natures should in her operation come short of the skill of arts is most improbable. Now common is it to all arts to make that which is worse for the better's sake. Much more then doth the common nature do the same. Hence is the first ground of justice. From justice all other virtues have their existence. For justice cannot be preserved if either we settle our minds and affections upon worldly things or be apt to be deceived or rash and inconstant. People don't think about you as much as you imagine they do. You can't do big things if you are distracted by small things. The root of suffering is attachment, Buddha. Everyone at some time or another sits down to a banquet of consequences.
The stronger people are not those who show strength in front of us, but those who fight battles we know nothing about. The more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. Self-knowledge has no end. Eckhart Tolle If you want to make progress, submit to appearing foolish and stupid with regard to external things. Do not wish to appear knowledgeable about anything, and if others think you amount to something, distrust yourself. For you should know that it is not easy both to keep your moral character in accordance with nature, and to keep secure external things. For in attending to one, you will inevitably neglect the other. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own. The goal of life is to live in accordance with reason. Zeno believed that reason should guide our actions and decisions leading us towards a life of virtue and fulfillment. The most exquisite pleasure is giving pleasure to others. When anger rises, think of the consequences. The more you are focused on time, past and future, the more you miss the now, the most precious thing there is. Eckhart Tolle Word after word, everyone by itself, must the things that are spoken be conceived and understood, and so the things that are done, purpose after purpose, everyone by itself likewise. And as in matter of purposes and actions, we must presently see what is the proper use and relation of everyone. So of words must we be as ready to consider of everyone what is the true meaning and signification of it according to truth and nature, however it be taken in common use. One has to understand that braveness is not the absence of fear but rather the strength to keep on going forward despite the fear. Forgiving people in silence and never speaking to them again is a form of self-care. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute. The man who does not ask is a fool for life. Confucius No regrets, just lessons. No worries, just acceptance. No expectations, just gratitude. God knows when to send you exactly what you need. Freedom is the recognition of your true nature. Papa G. From Alexander the Grammarian, to be unreprovable myself, and not reproachfully to reprehend any man for a barbarism or a solecism or any false pronunciation, but dexterously by way of answer or testimony or confirmation of the same matter, taking no notice of the word, to utter it as it should have been spoken, or by some other such close and indirect admonition, handsomely and civilly to tell him of it. The feeling of right or wrong is the beginning of wisdom. Learn to cook a few basic dishes. It's a valuable life skill. In your actions, don't procrastinate. In your conversations, don't confuse. In your thoughts, don't wander. 
There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. To be truly happy, you have to be willing to let go of what makes you unhappy. Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. Zig Ziglar When you make use of divination, remember that you do not know how events will turn out. This is what you have come to learn from the diviner. But if you really are a philosopher, you know before you come what sort of thing it is. For if it is one of the things that are not in our power, then necessarily what will happen will be neither good nor bad. 2. Therefore do not bring desire and aversion to the diviner, for if you do, you will be fearful of what you may hear. But go with the understanding that everything that happens will be indifferent and of no concern to you. For whatever it may be, it is in your power to make good use of it, and that no one can hinder you in this. Go with confidence to the gods as your counselors, and afterwards, when some advice has been given, remember from whom you have received it, and whose counsel you will be disregarding if you disobey. 3. Approach the diviner in the way Socrates thought appropriate, that is, only in those cases when the whole question turns upon the outcome of events, and when there are no means afforded by reason or any other art for discovering what is going to happen. Therefore, when it is your duty to share a danger with a friend or with your country, do not ask the diviner whether you should share the danger. For even if the diviner should happen to tell you that the omens are unfavorable, that death is foretold, or mutilation to some part of the body, or exile, even at this risk, reason requires you to stand by your friend or share the danger with your country. Pay attention, therefore, to the greater diviner, Pythian Apollo, who threw from the temple the man who did not help his friend when he was being murdered. You can always begin again. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow is our doubts of today. Franklin D. Roosevelt Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the greatest stepping stones to success. Only trust someone who can see these three things in you. The sorrow behind your smile, the love behind your anger, and the reason behind your silence. If I fail, I try again and again and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? The human spirit can handle much worse than we realize. It matters how you are going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? Nick Vujicic The art of true living in this world is more like a wrestler's than a dancer's practice. For in this they both agree, to teach a man whatsoever falls upon him, that he may be ready for it, and that nothing may cast him down. Don't be scared to set boundaries in your relationships. If they walk away, it means you're better off without them. To have what you never had, you have to do what you never did. Mastery of reading and writing requires a master. Still more so, life. Marcus Aurelius Learn as if you were to live forever.
you can always rise above those who offend you by forgiving them. Never forget your roots, but understand that you have to leave them to grow. David Goggins For by the very act that you feel about being pitied, you make yourself deserving of pity. What then says Antisthenes? Have you not heard? It is a royal thing, O Cyrus, to do right and to be ill-spoken of. My head is sound, and all think that I have the headache. What do I care for that? I am free from fever, and people sympathize with me as if I had a fever. Poor man, for so long a time you have not ceased to have fever. I also say with a sorrowful countenance, In truth it is now a long time that I have been ill. What will happen then? As God may please, and at the same time I secretly laugh at those who are pitying me. What then hinders the same being done in this case also? I am poor, but I have a right opinion about poverty. Why then do I care if they pity me for my poverty? I am not in power, but others are, and I have the opinion which I ought to have about having and not having power. Let them look to it who pity me, but I am neither hungry nor thirsty, nor do I suffer cold. But because they are hungry or thirsty, they think that I too am. What then shall I do for them? Shall I go about and proclaim and say, be not mistaken, men. I am very well. I do not trouble myself about poverty, nor want of power, nor in a word about anything else than right opinions. These I have free from restraint. I care for nothing at all. What foolish talk is this? How do I possess right opinions when I'm not content with being what I am, but am uneasy about what I'm supposed to be? But, you say, Others will get more and be preferred to me. What then is more reasonable than for those who have labored about anything to have more in that thing in which they have labored? They have labored for power. You have labored about opinions. And they have labored for wealth. You for the proper use of appearances. See if they have more than you in this about which you have labored and which they neglect. If they assent better than you with respect to the natural rules of things, if they are less disappointed than you in their desires, if they fall less into things which they would avoid than you do, if in their intentions, if in the things which they propose to themselves, if in their purposes, if in their motions toward an object they take a better aim, if they better observe a proper behavior, as men, as sons, as parents, and so on, as to the other names by which we express the relations of life. But if they exercise power and you do not, will you not choose to tell yourself the truth? That you do nothing for the sake of this, and they do all. But it is most unreasonable that he who looks after anything should obtain less than he who does not look after it. Not so. But since I care about right opinions, it more reasonable for me to have power. Yes, in the matter about which you do care, in opinions. But in a matter in which they have cared more than you, give way to them. The case is just the same as if, because you have right opinions, you thought that in using the bow you should hit the mark better than an archer, and in working in metal you should succeed better than a smith. Give up, then your earnestness about opinions, and employ yourself about the things which you wish to acquire, and then lament if you do not succeed, for you deserve to lament. But now you say that you are occupied with other things, that you are looking after other things. But the many say this truly, that one act has no community with another. He who has risen in the morning seeks whom he shall salute, to whom he shall say something agreeable, to whom he shall send a present, how he shall please the dancing man, how by bad behavior to one he may please another.
When he prays, he prays about these things. When he sacrifices, he sacrifices for these things. The saying of Pythagoras, Let sleep not come upon thy languid eyes, he transfers to these things. Where have I failed in the matters pertaining to flattery? What have I done? Anything like a free man? Anything like a noble-minded man? And if he finds anything of the kind, he blames and accuses himself. Why did you say this? Was it not in your power to lie? Even the philosophers say that nothing hinders us from telling a lie. But do you, if indeed you have cared about nothing else except the proper use of appearances as soon as you have risen in the morning, reflect, what do I want in order to be free from passion and free from perturbation? What am I? Am I a poor body, a piece of property, a thing of which something is said? I am none of these, but what am I? I am a rational animal. What then is required of me? Reflect on your acts. Where have I omitted the things which conduce to happiness? What have I done which is either unfriendly or unsocial? What have I not done as to these things which I ought to have done? So great then being the difference in desires, actions, wishes, would you still have the same share with others in those things about which you have not labored and they have labored? Then are you surprised if they pity you and are you vexed? But they are not vexed if you pity them. Why? Because they are convinced that they have that which is good and you are not convinced. For this reason you are not satisfied with your own, but you desire that which they have. But they are satisfied with their own, and do not desire what you have. Since if you were really convinced that with respect to what is good, it is you who are the possessor of it, and that they have missed it, you would not even have thought of what they say about you. No relationship is worth damaging your mental health. Depend on yourself, never on others. Being too nice breaks you. Only those who have a why to live can bear almost anything. There are two vices much darker and more serious than the rest. Lack of persistence and lack of self-control. Marcus Aurelius Time discovers truth. We have four problems. Overthink, overtrust, overshare, overlove. Your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. Jim Rohn When you get an impression of some pleasure, as in the case of other impressions, guard against being carried away by it, but let the matter wait for you, and delay a little. Now consider these two periods of time, that during which you will enjoy the pleasure, and that when the pleasure has passed during which you will regret it and reproach yourself. Next set against these how pleased you will be if you refrain, and how you will commend yourself. When, however, the time comes to act, take care that the attraction, allure and seductiveness of the pleasure do not overcome you. But set against all this the thought of how much better it is to be conscious of having won this victory over it. Perfect people don't drink, don't lie, don't cheat, don't fight, don't complain, and don't exist. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. The worst type of man behaves as badly in his waking life as some men do in their dreams. Plato, The Republic
You have two choices, evolve or repeat. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. In the silence of the mind, the truth will reveal itself. Muji. About freedom. He is free who lives as he wishes to live who is neither subject to compulsion nor to hindrance nor to force, whose movements to action are not impeded, whose desires attain their purpose, and who does not fall into that which he would avoid, who then chooses to live in error, no man, who chooses to live deceived, liable to mistake, unjust, unrestrained, discontented, mean, no man, not one then of the bad lives as he wishes, nor is he then free, and who chooses to live in sorrow, fear, envy, pity, desiring and failing in his desires, attempting to avoid something and falling into it, not one. Do we then find any of the bad free from sorrow, free from fear, who does not fall into that which he would avoid, and does not obtain that which he wishes, not one, nor then do we find any bad man free, if then a man who has been twice consul should hear this, if you add, but you are a wise man, this is nothing to you, he will pardon you. But if you tell him the truth and say, you differ not at all from those who have been thrice sold as to being yourself not a slave, what else ought you to expect than blows? For he says, what I a slave, I whose father was free, whose mother was free, I whom no man can purchase. I am also of senatorial rank, and a friend of Caesar, and I have been a consul, and I own many slaves. In the first place, most excellent senatorial man, perhaps your father also was a slave in the same kind of servitude, and your mother and your grandfather and all your ancestors in an ascending series. But even if they were as free as it is possible, what is this to you? What if they were of a noble nature, and you of a mean nature? If they were fearless, and you a coward? If they had the power of self-restraint, and you are not able to exercise it? And what, you may say, has this to do with being a slave? Does it seem to you to be nothing to do a thing unwillingly, with compulsion, with groans, has this nothing to do with being a slave? It is something, you say. But who is able to compel me except the Lord of all Caesar? Then even you yourself have admitted that you have one master, but that he is the common master of all, as you say. Let not this console you at all, but know that you are a slave in a great family. So also the people of Nicopolis are used to exclaim, by the fortune of Caesar, are free. However, if you please, let us not speak of Caesar at present. But tell me this, did you never love any person, a young girl or slave or free? What then is this with respect to being a slave or free? Were you never commanded by the person beloved to do something which you did not wish to do? Have you never flattered your little slave? Have you never kissed her feet? And yet, if any man compelled you to kiss Caesar's feet, you would think it an insult and excessive tyranny. What else, then, is slavery? Did you never go out by night to some place whither you did not wish to go? Did you not expend what you did not wish to expend? Did you not utter words with sighs and groans? Did you not submit to abuse and to be excluded? But if you are ashamed to confess your own acts, See what Thrasonides says and does, who having seen so much military service, as perhaps not even you have, first of all, went out by night, when Geta does not venture out, but if he were compelled by his master, would have cried out much, and would have gone out lamenting his bitter slavery. Next, what does Thrasonides say? A worthless girl has enslaved me, me whom no enemy ever did. Unhappy man, 
who are the slave even of a girl, and a worthless girl, why then do you still call yourself free, and why do you talk of your service in the army? Then he calls for a sword and is angry with him, who out of kindness refuses it, and he sends presents to her who hates him, and entreats and weeps, and on the other hand, having had a little success, he is elated. But even then, how? Was he free enough neither to desire nor to fear? Now consider in the case of animals, how we employ the notion of liberty. Men keep tame lions shut up and feed them, and some take them about. And who will say that this lion is free? Is it not the fact that the more he lives at his ease, so much the more he is in a slavish condition? And who, if he had perception and reason, would wish to be one of these lions? Well, these birds, when they are caught and are kept shut up, how much do they suffer in their attempts to escape? And some of them die of hunger rather than submit to such a kind of life. And as many of them as live, hardly live and with suffering pine away. And if they ever find any opening, they make their escape. So much do they desire their natural liberty, and to be independent and free from hindrance. And what harm is there to you in this? What do you say? I am formed by nature to fly where I choose, to live in the open air, to sing when I choose. You deprive me of all this and say, what harm is it to you? For this reason we shall say that those animals only are free which cannot endure capture. But as soon as they are caught, escape from captivity by death. So Diogenes says that there is one way to freedom, and that is to die content. And he writes to the Persian king, You cannot enslave the Athenian state any more than you can enslave fishes. How is that? Cannot I catch them? If you catch them, says Diogenes, they will immediately leave you as fishes do. For if you catch a fish, it dies. And if these men that are caught shall die, of what use to you is the preparation for war? These are the words of a free man who had carefully examined the thing, and, as was natural, had discovered it. But if you look for it in a different place from where it is, what wonder if you never find it? The slave wishes to be set free immediately. Why? Do you think that he wishes to pay money to the collectors of twentieths? No, but because he imagines that hitherto, through not having obtained this, he is hindered and unfortunate. If I shall be set free, immediately it is all happiness. I care for no man. I speak to all as an equal, and like to them I go where I choose. I come from any place I choose and go where I choose. Then he is set free, and forthwith, having no place where he can eat, he looks for some man to flatter, someone with whom he shall sup. Then he either works with his body and endures the most dreadful things, and if he can obtain a manger, he falls into a slavery much worse than his former slavery, or even if he has become rich, being a man without any knowledge of what is good, he loves some little girl and in his happiness laments and desires to be a slave again. He says, What evil did I suffer in my state of slavery? Another clothed me, another supplied me with shoes, another fed me, another looked after me in sickness, and I did only a few services for him. But now a wretched man, what things I suffer, being a slave of many instead of to one. But however, he says, if I shall acquire rings, then I shall live most prosperously and happily. First, in order to acquire these rings, he submits to that which he is worthy of. Then, when he has acquired them, it is again all the same. Then, he says, if I shall be engaged in military service, I am free from all evils. He obtains military service. He suffers as much as a flogged slave and nevertheless he asks for a second service and a third. After this, when he has put the finishing stroke to his career and has become a senator, 
then he becomes a slave by entering into the assembly. Then he serves the finer and most splendid slavery. Not to be a fool, but to learn what Socrates taught. What is the nature of each thing that exists? And that a man should not rashly adapt preconceptions to the several things which are. For this is the cause to men of all their evils, the not being able to adapt the general preconceptions to the several things. But we have different opinions. One man thinks that he is sick. Not so, however, but the fact is that he does not adapt his preconceptions right. Another thinks that he is poor. Another that he has a severe father or mother. And another again, that Caesar is not favorable to him. But all this is one and only one thing, the not knowing how to adapt the preconceptions. For who has not a preconception of that which is bad, that it is hurtful, that it ought to be avoided, that it ought in every way to be guarded against. One preconception is not repugnant to another, only where it comes to the matter of adaptation. What then is this evil, which is both hurtful and a thing to be avoided? He answers, not to be Caesar's friend. He has gone far from the mark. He has missed the adaptation. He is embarrassed. He seeks the things which are not at all pertinent to the matter. For when he has succeeded in being Caesar's friend, nevertheless he has failed in finding what he sought. For what is that which every man seeks? To live secure, to be happy, to do everything as he wishes, not to be hindered, nor compelled. When then he has become the friend of Caesar, is he free from hindrance? Free from compulsion? Is he tranquil? Is he happy? Of whom shall we inquire? What more trustworthy witness have we than this very man, who has become Caesar's friend? Come forward and tell us when did you sleep more quietly, now or before you became Caesar's friend? Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. Hardship often prepares an ordinary person for an extraordinary destiny. You only lose what you cling to. Buddha Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. Confine yourself to the present. When you seek the truth, you are free, Rumi. They contemn one another, and yet they seek to please one another. And while as they seek to surpass one another in worldly pomp and greatness, they most debase and prostitute themselves in their better part, one to another. No work is beneath you. The only thing that should be beneath you is your big ego. Work hard in silence and show your skills at the job you get, rather than criticizing the job. Time never waits. It only urges you to catch up or get left behind. It is not things themselves that trouble us, but our judgments about those things. Epictetus. This quote emphasizes Stoicism's focus on controlling our internal reactions and perceptions to external events. People come and go. Letting go means to come to the realization that some people are a part of your history, but not a part of your destiny. You cannot be lonely if you like the person you're alone with. Wayne Dyer Mortality. 
While mortality may at first seem like a negative topic, it should instead be seen as a chance to embrace life, be grateful for what you have, and come to terms with the fact that nothing is forever. The idea of mortality as an ending point should be looked at in a positive manner. Time is finite. For this reason, it should be viewed as a precious resource. Learning to rethink mortality is a perfect example about the stoic practice of changing your mindset, expressing gratitude and accepting and living in agreement with your circumstances. Acceptance of your mortality will allow you to live each day to the fullest and appreciate each moment. Since mortality is something you cannot control in most circumstances, you must learn to view it with a new perspective and allow that new perspective to enrich your life, not hinder it. Acceptance and acknowledgement of what is to come and fully appreciating being in the present will allow you to live a more mindful and purposeful life. Always accept reality and focus on making the most out of any situation. What is life? It is a flash of a firefly in the night. It is a breath of a buffalo in the wintertime. It is as the little shadow that runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Confucius You should be careful not to form a very favorable opinion about a person at first acquaintance. Otherwise, in most cases, you will have to be disappointed. Remember to be grateful always because it can always be worse. Be like a tree and let the dead leaves drop, Rumi. This day I did come out of all my trouble. Nay, I have cast out all my trouble. It should rather be for that which troubled thee, whatsoever it was, was not without anywhere that thou shouldest come out of it, but within in thine own opinions, from whence it must be cast out, before thou canst truly and constantly be at ease. Procrastination is the thief of time. Call it what you want. But one day in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. You can easily judge a man's character by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Nothing is needed by fools, for they do not understand how to use anything, but are in want of everything. Marcus Aurelius Trust yourself. You've survived a lot, and you'll survive whatever is coming. Never underestimate the power of stupid people. Let go of the search for truth. What you seek is already within you. Muji Of the use of sophistical arguments and hypothetical and the like. The handling of sophistical and hypothetical arguments, and of those which derive their conclusions from questioning, and in a word the handling of all such arguments, relates to the duties of life, though the many do not know this truth. For in every matter we inquire how the wise and good man shall discover the proper path and the proper method of dealing with the matter. Let then people either say that the grave man will not descend into the contest of question and answer, or that, if he does descend into the contest, he will take no care about not conducting himself rashly or carelessly 
in questioning and answering. But if they do not allow either the one or the other of these things, they must admit that some inquiry ought to be made into those topics on which particularly questioning and answering are employed. For what is the end proposed in reasoning? To establish true propositions, to remove the false, to withhold assent from those which are not plain. Is it enough then to have learned only this? It is enough, a man may reply. Is it then also enough for a man who would not make a mistake in the use of coined money to have heard this precept? that he should receive the genuine drachmae and reject the spurious? It is not enough. What then ought to be added to this precept? What else than the faculty which proves and distinguishes the genuine and the spurious drachmae? Consequently also in reasoning what has been said is not enough. But is it necessary that a man should acquire the faculty of examining and distinguishing the true and the false, and that which is not plain? It is necessary. Besides this, what is proposed in reasoning? That you should accept what follows from that which you have properly granted. Well, is it then enough in this case also to know this? It is not enough. But a man must learn how one thing is a consequence of other things, and when one thing follows from one thing, and when it follows from several collectively. Consider then if it be not necessary that this power should also be acquired by him who purposes to conduct himself skillfully in reasoning, the power of demonstrating himself the several things which he has proposed, and the power of understanding the demonstrations of others including of not being deceived by sophists, as if they were demonstrating. Therefore there has arisen among us the practice and exercise of conclusive arguments and figures, and it has been shown to be necessary. But in fact, in some cases, we have properly granted the premises or assumptions, and there results from them something, and though it is not true, yet nonetheless it does result. What then ought I to do? Ought I to admit the falsehood? And how is that possible? Well, should I say that I did not properly grant that which we agreed upon? But you are not allowed to do even this. Shall I then say that the consequence does not arise through what has been conceded? But neither is it allowed. What then must be done in this case? Consider if it is not this. As to have borrowed is not enough to make a man still a debtor. But to this must be added the fact that he continues to owe the money and that the debt is not paid. So it is not enough to compel you to admit the inference that you have granted the premises, but you must abide by what you have granted. Indeed, if the premises continue to the end such as they were when they were granted, it is absolutely necessary for us to abide by what we have granted, and we must accept their consequences. But if the premises do not remain such as they were when they were granted, it is absolutely necessary for us also to withdraw from what we granted, and from accepting what does not follow from the words in which our concessions were made. For the inference is now not our inference, nor does it result with our assent, since we have withdrawn from the premises which we granted. We ought then both to examine such kind of premises, and such change and variation of them, by which in the course of questioning or answering, or in making the syllogistic conclusion, or in any other such way, the premises undergo variations, and give occasion to the foolish to be confounded, if they do not see what conclusions are. For what reason ought we to examine? in order that we may not in this matter be employed in an improper manner, nor in a confused way, and the same in hypotheses and hypothetical arguments. For it is necessary sometimes to demand the granting of some hypothesis as a kind of passage to the argument which follows. Must we then allow every hypothesis that is proposed, or not allow every one? And if not every one, which should we allow? And if a man has allowed an hypothesis, 
Must he in every case abide by allowing it? Or must he sometimes withdraw from it, but admit the consequences and not admit contradictions? Yes, but suppose that a man says, If you admit the hypothesis of a possibility, I will draw you to an impossibility. With such a person shall a man of sense refuse to enter into a contest and avoid discussion and conversation with him. But what other man than the man of sense can use argumentation and is skillful in questioning and answering and incapable of being cheated and deceived by false reasoning? And shall he enter into the contest and yet not take care whether he shall engage in argument not rashly and not carelessly? And if he does not take care, how can he be such a man as we conceive him to be? But without some such exercise and preparation, can he maintain a continuous and consistent argument? Let them show this, and all these speculations become superfluous, and are absurd and inconsistent with our notion of a good and serious man. Why are we still indolent and negligent and sluggish, and why do we seek pretenses for not laboring and not being watchful in cultivating our reason? If then I shall make a mistake in these matters, may I not have killed my father? Slave, where was there a father in this matter that you could kill him? What then have you done? The only fault that was possible here is the fault which you have committed. This is the very remark which I made to Rufus when he blamed me for not having discovered the one thing omitted in a certain syllogism. I suppose, I said, that I have burnt the capital. Slave, he replied, was the thing omitted here the capital? Or are these the only crimes to burn the capital and to kill your father, but for a man to use the appearances resented to him rashly and foolishly and carelessly? not to understand argument, nor demonstration, nor sophism, nor, in a word, to see in questioning and answering what is consistent with that which we have granted or is not consistent. Is there no error in this? No one is thinking about you. Spend your money on the things money can buy. Spend your time on the things money can't buy. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins, not through strength, but by perseverance. Buddha If you conquer not yourself, you will be conquered by yourself. Seek wisdom, not knowledge. Knowledge is of the past. Wisdom is of the future. What you are seeking is already within you. Muji. From the outset, establish for yourself a certain character and disposition that you will maintain both when you are by yourself and with other people. Two, for the most part, keep silent or say only what is required in few words. On rare occasions when circumstances call for it, we will speak, but not about ordinary things, not about gladiators, nor horse racing, not about athletes, nor about food and drink, which are the usual topics and especially do not talk about people, blaming or praising or comparing them. 3. If at all possible, turn the conversation of the company by what you say to more suitable topics. And if you happen to be alone amidst strangers, keep silent. 4. Do not laugh a great deal, nor at many things, nor without restraint. 5. Avoid swearing oaths altogether if possible. Otherwise, refuse to do so as far as circumstances allow. 6. Avoid banquets given by strangers and uneducated people. But if there is ever an occasion to join in them, take every care never to slip into the ways of the uneducated. Be assured that if your companion is dirty, it is inevitable that in their company you will become dirty yourself, even if you happen to start out clean. 
7. As to things concerning the body, take only what bare necessity requires with respect to such things as food, drink, clothing, shelter and household slaves. Exclude everything that is for outward show or luxury. 8. As for sex, you should stay pure before marriage as far as you can. But if you have to indulge, do only what is lawful. However, do not be angry with those who do indulge or criticize them, and do not boast of the fact that you do not yourself indulge. 9. If you are told that someone is saying bad things about you, do not defend yourself against what is said, but answer, Obviously this person is ignorant of my other faults, otherwise they would not have mentioned only these ones. 10. It is not necessary for the most part to go to public games, but if it is ever appropriate for you to go, show that your first concern is for no one other than yourself. That is, wish only to happen what does happen, and wish only those to win who do win, and in this way you will meet with no hindrance. Refrain entirely from shouting or laughing at anyone, or getting greatly excited. And after you have left, do not talk a great deal about what happened, except in so far as it contributes to your own improvement. For doing so would make it clear that you have been impressed by the spectacle. 11. Do not go randomly or thoughtlessly to public readings, but when you do go, Maintain your own dignity and equanimity, and guard against offending anyone. 12. When you are about to meet someone, especially someone who enjoys high esteem, ask yourself what Socrates or Zeno would have done in such circumstances, and you will have no difficulty in making proper use of the occasion. 13. When you go to see someone who has great power, Propose to yourself that you will not find them at home, that you will be shut out, that the doors will be slammed in your face, that this person will pay no attention to you. And if in spite of all this it is your duty to go, then go and bear what happens, and never say to yourself, it wasn't worth the trouble. For that is the way of the uneducated person, someone who is bewildered by external things. 14. In conversations, avoid talking at great length or excessively about your own affairs and adventures. However pleasant it may be for you to talk about the risks you have run, it is not equally pleasant for other people to hear about your adventures. 15. Avoid also trying to excite laughter, for this is the sort of behavior that slips easily into vulgarity and at the same time is liable to diminish the respect your neighbors have for you. 16. There is danger also in lapsing into foul language. So whenever anything like this happens, if the opportunity arises, go so far as to rebuke those who behave this way. Otherwise, by keeping silent and blushing and frowning, make it clear that you disapprove of such language. Everyone falls down. Getting back up is how you learn how to walk. He who reflects too much will accomplish little. There is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Buddha Out of your vulnerabilities will come your strength. If you wouldn't take advice from them, why would you take criticism? Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Jocko Willing. Just as on a voyage, when the ship has anchored, if you go ashore to get water you may also pick up a shellfish or a vegetable from the path, but you should keep your thoughts fixed on the ship.
and you should look back frequently in case the captain calls. And if he should call, you must give up all these other things to avoid being bound and thrown on board like a sheep. So in life also, if instead of a vegetable and a shellfish, you are given a wife and a child, nothing will prevent you from taking them. But if the captain calls, give up all these things and run to the ship without even turning to look back. And if you are old, do not even go far from the ship, lest you are missing when the call comes. He who carefully finishes his work as he began will not fail. Work at your job and make a living. Work on yourself and make a fortune. The worst form of inequality is to try to make unequal things equal. Aristotle Make my enemy brave and strong so that if defeated, I will not be ashamed. Check with yourself too before you commit. Time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. Jay Shetty No pleasure is a bad thing in itself, but the things which produce certain pleasures entail disturbances many times greater than the pleasures themselves. Live like there's no tomorrow and do what you love. The money will flow. Be grateful always, because it can always be worse. Only the dead have seen the end of war. Plato Learn to cook a few basic dishes. It's a valuable life skill. Get yourself together before you get any older. The older you are, the harder it is to change. Make today worth remembering. Zig Ziglar Setting therefore before thine eyes this happiness and felicity of thy mind, whereby it is able to pass through all things and is capable of all motions, whether as the fire upwards, or as the stone downwards, or as the cylindrus through that which is sloping, content thyself with it, and seek not after any other thing. For all other kind of hindrances that are not hindrances of thy mind, either they are proper to the body, or merely proceed from the opinion, reason not making that resistance that it should, but basely and cowardly suffering itself to be foiled, and of themselves can neither wound nor do any hurt at all. Else must he of necessity, whosoever he be that meets with any of them, become worse than he was before, for so is it in all other subjects, that that is thought hurtful unto them, whereby they are made worse. But here contrariwise man, if he make that good use of them that he should, is rather the better and the more praiseworthy for any of those kind of hindrances than otherwise. But generally remember that nothing can hurt a natural citizen that is not hurtful unto the city itself, nor anything hurt the city that is not hurtful unto the law itself. But none of these casualties or external hindrances do hurt the law itself or are contrary to that course of justice and equity by which public societies are maintained. Neither therefore do they hurt either city or citizen. When talking to people, look them in the eye and on the face. This will make you more confident in front of others. Given the choice between being right and being kind, Choose kind. The golden mean is the best. Aristotle
This quote reflects Aristotle's belief that virtue lies in finding the right balance between extremes, avoiding both excess and deficiency. Learn to trust your first instinct on decisions. You will never remember the days and nights you stay home and do nothing. When you realize that all things are interconnected, you also realize that everything is a reflection of yourself. Alan Watts To comprehend the whole world together in thy mind, and the whole course of this present age to represent it unto thyself, and to fix thy thoughts upon the sudden change of every particular object, how short the time is from the generation of anything unto the dissolution of the same, but how immense and infinite both that which was before the generation and that which after the generation of it shall be. All things that thou seest will soon be perished, and they that see their corruptions will soon vanish away themselves. He that dieth a hundred years old and he that dieth young shall come all to one. Use things, not people. Love people, not things. Don't be scared to set boundaries in your relationships. If they walk away, it means you're better off without them. Mensana incorpore sana, a healthy mind in a healthy body, juvenile. Ignorance is the cause of fear. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect, but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves. Carl Jung Whatsoever is was made for something, as a horse, a vine. Why wonderest thou? The sun itself will say of itself, I was made for something and so hath every god its proper function. What then were then made for? To disport and delight thyself? See how even common sense and reason cannot brook it. Do not be so kind, you forgot to be clever, and never be so clever, you forgot to be kind. Life is a succession of lessons that must be lived to be understood. I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. Confucius It all adds up. Of this one thing, make sure against your dying day that your faults die before you do. You are not the mind or the body. You are the awareness that observes them. Nisargadatta Maharaj There is who without so much as a coat, and there is who without so much as a book doth put philosophy in practice. I am half naked, neither have I bread to eat, and yet I depart not from reason, saith one. But I say, I want the food of good teaching and instructions, and yet I depart not from reason. Be like the fountain that overflows, not like the cistern that nearly contains. People want you to succeed, but not more than themselves. Quam videri, to be rather than to seem, Cicero.
people will often take advantage of your kindness if you let them. Be the person you needed when you were younger. Don't give up and know that there is always someone out there who believes in you and who loves you just the way that you are. Nick Vujicic If so be that the souls remain after death, say they that will not believe it, how is the air from all eternity able to contain them? How is the earth, say I, ever from that time able to contain the bodies of them that are buried? For as here the change and resolution of dead bodies into another kind of subsistence, whatsoever it be, makes place for other dead bodies, so the souls after death transferred into the air, after they have conversed there a while, are either by way of transmutation or transfusion or conflagration received again into that original rational substance from which all others do proceed and so give way to those souls who before coupled and associated unto bodies now begin to subsist single. This upon a supposition that the souls after death do for a while subsist single may be answered and here Besides the number of bodies so buried and contained by the earth, we may further consider the number of several beasts eaten by us men and by other creatures. For notwithstanding that such a multitude of them is daily consumed, and as it were buried in the bodies of the eaters, yet is the same place and body able to contain them by reason of their conversion, partly into blood, partly into air and fire. What in these things is the speculation of truth? To divide things into that which is passive and material, and that which is active and formal. Do not let yesterday use up too much of today. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Faber est suae quisque fortunae, every man is the artisan of his own fortune. Appius Claudius Cicus. Nature hath given men one tongue but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. Normalize walking some paths alone because goals are personal. If you have the desire and passion to do something and it's within God's will, you will achieve it. Nick Vujicic Whatsoever doth happen in the world is in the course of nature as usual and ordinary as a rose in the spring and fruit in summer. Of the same nature is sickness and death, slander and lying in wait, and whatsoever else ordinarily doth unto fools use to be occasion either of joy or sorrow, that, whatsoever it is, that comes after, doth always very naturally, and as it were familiarly, follow upon that which was before. For thou must consider the things of the world not as a loose independent number consisting merely of necessary events, but as a discrete connection of things orderly and harmoniously disposed. There is then to be seen in the things of the world, not a bare succession, but an admirable correspondence and affinity. Avoid making decisions when you're angry and avoid making promises when you're happy. Spend your first 20 years worrying what people think about you. You spend your next 20 years swearing that you don't care what people think about you. You spend the next 20 years realizing that they aren't thinking about you. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Seneca Seneca 
A penny saved is a penny earned. You can always rise above those who offend you by forgiving them. Until there is peace between religions, there can be no peace in the world. Thich Nhat Hanh. What art thou that better and divine part accepted, but as Epictetus said, well, a wretched soul, appointed to carry a carcass up and down? Appear weak when you are strong, strong when you are weak. Never disturb them again once you feel free. There are no constraints on the human mind, no walls around the human spirit, no barriers to our progress except those we ourselves erect. Ronald Reagan Often the best things happen unexpectedly. Very often a change of self is needed more than a change of scene. We are here to awaken from our illusion of separateness. Thich Nhat Hanh. What is the property of error? Every error comprehends contradiction. For since he who errs does not wish to err, but to he right it is plain that he does not do what he wishes. For what does the thief wish to do? That which is for his own interest. If then the theft is not for his interest, he does not do that which he wishes. But every rationale, soul is by nature offended at contradiction, and so long as it does not understand this contradiction, it is not hindered from doing contradictory things. But when it does understand the contradiction, it must of necessity avoid the contradiction, and avoid it as much as a man must dissent from the false when he sees that a thing is false. But so long as this falsehood does not appear to him, he assents to it as to truth. He then is strong in argument and has the faculty of exhorting and confuting, who is able to show to each man the contradiction through which he errs and clearly to prove how he does not do that which he wishes and does that which he does not wish. For if anyone shall show this, a man will himself withdraw from that which he does. But so long as you do not show this, do not be surprised if a man persists in his practice. For having the appearance of doing right, he does what he does. For this reason Socrates, also trusting to this power, used to say, I am used to call no other witness of what I say but I am always satisfied with him with whom I am discussing, and I ask him to give his opinion and call him as a witness, and through he is only one, he is sufficient in the place of all. For Socrates knew by what the rational soul is moved, just like a pair of scales, and that it must incline whether it chooses or not. Show the rational governing faculty a contradiction, and it will withdraw from it, but if you do not show it, rather blame yourself than him who is not persuaded. Be careful who you marry, and even more careful who you have kids with. Do not be so kind, you forgot to be clever, and never be so clever, you forgot to be kind. The ultimate goal of life is to achieve self-realization and unity with the Divine. Bhagavad Gita Sometimes you are tested not to show your weaknesses, but to discover your strengths. Be alone until you're valued. 
We cannot be more sensitive to pleasure without being more sensitive to pain. Alan Watts How a man should proceed from the principle of God being the father of all men to the rest. If a man should be able to assent to this doctrine as he ought, that we are all sprung from God in an especial manner, and that God is the father both of men and of gods, I suppose that he would never have any ignoble or mean thoughts about himself. But if Caesar should adopt you, no one could endure your arrogance. And if you know that you are the son of Zeus, will you not be elated? Yet we do not so. But since these two things are mingled in the generation of man, body in common with the animals, and reason and intelligence in common with the gods, many incline to this kinship, which is miserable and mortal, and some few to that which is divine and happy. Since then it is of necessity that every man uses everything according to the opinion which he has about it. Those, the few, who think that they are formed for fidelity and modesty and assure use of appearances, have no mean or ignoble thoughts about themselves. But with the many it is quite the contrary. For they say, What am I, a poor miserable man with my wretched bit of flesh? Wretched. Indeed, but you possess something better than your bit of flesh. Why then do you neglect that which is better, and why do you attach yourself to this? Through this kinship with the flesh, some of us inclining to it become like wolves, faithless and treacherous and mischievous. Some become like lions, savage and untamed. But the greater part of us become foxes and other worse animals. For what else is a slanderer and a malignant man than a fox, or some other more wretched and meaner animal? See, then, and take care that you do not become some one of these miserable things. If you got away with a bad decision, it doesn't make it a good decision. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. We must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear. Martin Luther King Jr. Never get bogged down in regrets. No one is perfect. Never sacrifice these three things your family, your heart, or your dignity. All successful people, men and women, are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect, and then they work every day toward their distant vision, that goal or purpose. Brian Tracy Whatsoever any man either doth or saith, thou must be good, not for any man's sake, but for thine own nature's sake, as if either gold or the emerald or purple should ever be saying to themselves, Whatsoever any man either doth or saith, I must still be an emerald, and I must keep my color. Be grateful always, because it can always be worse. Live like there's no tomorrow and do what you love. Great is the man who has not lost his childlike heart. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Henry David Thoreau Life has many different chapters for us. One bad chapter doesn't mean it's the end of the book. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love.
The greatest of all mistakes is to do nothing because you think you can only do a little. Zig Ziglar Thou art now ready to die, and yet hast thou not attained to that perfect simplicity. Thou art yet subject to many troubles and perturbations, not yet free from all fear and suspicion of external accidents, nor yet either so meekly disposed towards all men as thou shouldest, or so affected as one whose only study and only wisdom is to be just in all his actions. Excuses are always there and easy to make. Finding a way is what takes courage. Everything is going to be all right. Maybe not today, but eventually. The soul is the ruler of the body. Phaedrus. Plato's concept of the soul's dominance over the physical body underscores the importance of self-control, reason, and moral guidance in our lives. If you are willing to sacrifice what you want most for what you want now, then your future will always be filled with disappointment. Whoever undertaking a business hurries too quickly to achieve a result will do nothing. When you dance, your purpose is not to get to a certain place on the floor. It's to enjoy each step along the way. Wayne Dyer When you see someone weeping in grief because their child has gone abroad or because they have lost their property, take care not to be carried away by the impression that these external things involve them in anything bad, but be ready to say immediately, this person is not distressed by what has happened, for it does not distress anyone else, but by the judgment they make of it. Do not hesitate, however, to sympathize with words or if it so happens to weep with them. But take care not to weep inwardly. Only two things can reveal life's great secrets, suffering and love. Life is like a book. Some chapters are sad, some are happy, but all are necessary for the full story. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. Socrates. Don't make one person the center of all your happiness. Don't make them the reason why you are happy because once that person walks away from your life, you're left with nothing. May your choices reflect your hopes not your fears. You cannot tailor make the situations in life, but you can tailor make the attitudes to fit those situations. Zig Ziglar Within a very little while thou wilt be either ashes or a skeletum, and a name perchance and perchance not so much as a name. And what is that but an empty sound and a rebounding echo? Those things which in this life are dearest unto us, and of most account, they are in themselves but vain, putrid, contemptible, the most weighty and serious, if rightly esteemed, but as puppies, biting one another, or untoward children, now laughing and then crying. As for faith and modesty and justice and truth, they long since, as one of the poets hath it, have abandoned this spacious earth and retired themselves unto heaven. What is it then that doth keep thee here, if things sensible be so mutable and unsettled, 
and the senses so obscure and so fallible, and our souls nothing but an exhalation of blood, and to be in credit among such, be but vanity. What is it that thou dost stay for? An extinction or a translation, either of them with a propitious and contented mind. But still that time come, what will content thee? What else but to worship and praise the gods, and to do good unto men, to bear with them, and to forbear to do them any wrong? And for all external things, belonging either to this thy wretched body, or life, to remember that they are neither thine, nor in thy power. Never let the same people disappoint you twice. A friendship founded on business is better than a business founded on friendship. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. John Steinbeck Genius is a mind that knows its limits. One secret of success in life is for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. Thich Nhat Hanh Dost thou grieve that thou dost weigh but so many pounds and not three hundred rather? Just as much reason hast thou to grieve that thou must live but so many years and not longer. For as for bulk and substance thou dost content thyself with that proportion of it that is allotted unto thee, so shouldst thou for time. Fear of death increases in exact proportion to increase in wealth. You'll never be sorry for telling someone you love them. Do it before it's too late. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. Buddha Always move in your own direction, not according to society, friends or family. Do it alone, do it broke, do it tired, do it scared, just do it. We become what we think about. Jay Shetty If the things that produce the pleasures of profligate men really freed them from fears of the mind concerning celestial and atmospheric phenomena, the fear of death and the fear of pain, if further they taught them to limit their desires, we should never have any fault to find with such persons, for they would then be filled with pleasures from every source, and would never have pain of body or mind, which is what is bad. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you are done. If something bothers you, change it. If it is beyond your control, learn to live with it. Accept it. Change yourself. That is the only thing you can influence. An idea that is developed and put into action is more important than an idea that exists only as an idea. Buddha If you don't like loneliness, you don't like freedom. To reach somewhere, you need to leave something behind. You can't even stand without risking to fall, Nick Vujicic. Thou must comfort thyself in the expectation of thy natural dissolution, and in the meantime not grieve at the delay, 
but rest contented in those two things. First, that nothing shall happen unto thee, which is not according to the nature of the universe. Secondly, that it is in thy power to do nothing against thine own proper God and inward spirit. For it is not in any man's power to constrain thee to transgress against him. Problems are not stop signs, they are guidelines. Practice self-compassion. We are all human and everyone makes mistakes. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. Seneca Life is far from over, but it's very short too. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Zig Ziglar Is my reason and understanding sufficient for this, or no? If it be sufficient, without any private applause or public ostentation as of an instrument, which by nature I am provided of, I will make use of it for the work in hand as of an instrument, which by nature I am provided of. If it be not, and that otherwise it belong not unto me particularly as a private duty, I will either give it over and leave it to some other that can better effect it, or I will endeavor it, but with the help of some other who with the joint help of my reason is able to bring somewhat to pass that will now be seasonable and useful for the common good. For whatsoever I do either by myself or with some other, the only thing that I must intend is that it be good and expedient for the public. For as for praise, consider how many who once were much commended are now already quite forgotten, yea, they that commended them, how even they themselves are long since dead and gone. Be not therefore ashamed, whensoever thou must use the help of others. For whatsoever it be that lieth upon thee to effect, thou must propose it unto thyself as the scaling of walls is unto a soldier. And what if thou through either lameness or some other impediment art not able to reach unto the top of the battlements alone, which with the help of another thou mayst, wilt thou therefore give it over, or go about it with less courage and alacrity, because thou canst not effect it all alone? As long as you live, keep learning how to live. When you are winning, keep your mouth shut. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. George Adair You meet every single person for a reason. Just let it be. Just because you're sad it doesn't mean you should keep your mouth shut. When you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations, your consciousness expands in every direction, and you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties, and talents come alive, and you discover yourself to be a greater person by far than you ever dreamed yourself to be. Wayne Dyer All worldly things thou must behold and consider, dividing them into matter, form, and reference, or their proper end. Sometimes it feels better not to talk at all about anything. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Happiness is not something ready-made. 
It comes from your own actions. Dalai Lama Be the best you, but you must be able to handle the worst. Make peace with your past so it won't screw up the present. The power of positive thinking is the ability to generate a feeling of certainty in yourself when nothing in the environment supports you. Tony Robbins Death is nothing to us, for that which has been dissolved into its elements experiences no sensations, and that which has no sensation is nothing to us. Focus on the issues that affect you directly. You will be much happier that way. Never trust a lonely friend because, while some find strength in solitude, others may lose their way in it. Know thyself, ancient Greek aphorism. A friend to all is a friend to none. Don't ruin your health in order to earn money. You will end up spending your money to recover your health, and that is not reciprocal. You are the self, the one without a second, Papa G. As one who had lived and were now to die by right whatsoever is yet remaining, bestow that holy as a gracious overplus upon a virtuous life. Love and affect that only whatsoever it be that happeneth and is by the fates appointed unto thee. For what can be more reasonable? And as anything doth happen unto thee by way of cross or calamity, call to mind presently and set before thine eyes the examples of some other men to whom the self-same thing did once happen likewise. Well, what did they? They grieved, they wondered, they complained, and where are they now, all dead and gone? Wilt thou also be like one of them, or rather leaving to men of the world, whose life both in regard of themselves and them that they converse with is nothing but mere mutability, or men of as fickle minds as fickle bodies, ever changing and soon change themselves, let it be thine only care and study how to make a right use of all such accidents, for there is good use to be made of them, and they will prove fit matter for thee to work upon, if it shall be both thy care and thy desire that whatsoever thou doest, thou thyself mayst like and approve thyself for it. And both these see that thou remember well, according as the diversity of the matter of the action that thou art about shall require. Look within. Within is the fountain of all good, such a fountain, where springing waters can never fail, so thou dig still deeper and deeper. Beware of the man who does not talk, and the dog that does not bark. Know your worth. Never put yourself in the bargain bin, or that's where others will value you. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without one. Chinese proverb. Life gets better once you stop assuming you will always have more time later. Wisdom comes only when you stop looking for it and start living the life the Creator intended for you. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Les Brown Doth either the sun take upon him to do that which belongs to the rain, or his son Esculapius, that which unto the earth doth properly belong? 
How is it with every one of the stars in particular? Though they all differ one from another and have their several charges and functions by themselves, do they not all nevertheless concur and cooperate to one end? Success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear. Never put yourself in the bargain bin, or that's where others will... It is better to perform your own duties imperfectly than to master the duties of another. Bhagavad Gita Being cool, calm, and collected in a stressful situation is extremely important. This doesn't mean you need to suppress your emotions. Just don't let them get the better of you. The most important thing we learn at school is the fact that the most important things can't be learned at school. The truth of who you are cannot be expressed in words. It must be realized. Papaji. This, what is it in itself and by itself according to its proper constitution? What is the substance of it? What is the matter or proper use? What is the form or efficient cause? What is it for in this world and how long will it abide? Thus must thou examine all things that present themselves unto thee. To be well is a part of becoming well. The cost of being wrong is less than the cost of doing nothing. Wisdom tends to grow in proportion to one's awareness of their ignorance. Anthony DeMello You will never remember the days and nights you stay home and do nothing. We live in an age when unnecessary things are only necessities. Do not say that I'll depart tomorrow because even today I still arrive. Thich Nhat Hanh. To those who are desirous of passing life in tranquility, remember that not only the desire of power and of riches makes us mean and subject to others, but even the desire of tranquility and of leisure and of traveling abroad and of learning. For to speak plainly, whatever the external thing may be, the value which we set upon it places us in subjection to others. What then is the difference between desiring to be a senator or not desiring to be one? What is the difference between desiring power or being content with a private station? What is the difference between saying, I am unhappy, I have nothing to do, but I am bound to my books as a corpse? Or saying, I am unhappy, I have no leisure for reading, for as salutations and power are things external and independent of the will, so is a book. For what purpose do you choose to read? Tell me. For if you only direct your purpose to being amused or learning something, you are a silly fellow and incapable of enduring labor. But if you refer reading to the proper end, what else is this than a tranquil and happy life? But if reading does not secure for you a happy and tranquil life, what is the use of it? But it does secure this, the man replies, and for this reason I am vexed that I am deprived of it. And what is this tranquil and happy life which any man can impede? I do not say Caesar or Caesar's friend, but a crow, a piper, a fever, and thirty thousand other things. But a tranquil and happy life contains nothing so sure as continuity and freedom from obstacle. Now I am called to do something. I will go then, with the purpose of observing the measures which I must keep, of acting with modesty, steadiness, 
without desire and aversion to things external, and then that I may attend to men, what they say, how they are moved, and this not with any bad disposition, or that I may have something to blame or to ridicule, but I turn to myself and ask if I also commit the same faults, how then shall I cease to commit them? Formerly I also acted wrong, but now I do not. Thanks to God. Come, when you have done these things and have attended to them, have you done a worse act than when you have read a thousand verses or written as many? For when you eat, are you grieved because you are not reading? Are you not satisfied with eating according to what you have learned by reading, and so with bathing and with exercise? Why then do you not act consistently in all things, both when you approach Caesar and when you approach any person? If you maintain yourself free from perturbation, free from alarm and steady, if you look rather at the things which are done and happen than are looked at yourself, if you do not envy those who are preferred before you, if surrounding circumstances do not strike you with fear or admiration, what do you want? Books? How or for what purpose? For is not this a preparation for life? And is not life itself made up of certain other things than this? This is just as if an athlete should weep when he enters the stadium, because he is not being exercised outside of it. It was for this purpose that you used to practice exercise. For this purpose were used the halteres, the dust, the young men as antagonists. And do you seek for those things now when it is the time of action? This is just as if in the topic of ascent, when appearances present themselves, some of which can be comprehended, and some cannot be comprehended, we should not choose to distinguish them, but should choose to read what has been written about comprehension. What then is the reason of this? The reason is that we have never read for this purpose. We have never written for this purpose, so that we may in our actions use in a way conformable to nature the appearances presented to us. But we terminate in this, in learning what is said, and in being able to expound it to another, in resolving a syllogism, and in handling the hypothetical syllogism. For this reason where our study is, there alone is the impediment. Would you have by all means the things which are not in your power? Be prevented then, be hindered, fail in your purpose. But if we read what is written about action, not that we may see what is said about action, but that we may act well, if we read what is said about desire and aversion, in order that we may neither fall in our desires, nor fall into that which we try to avoid, if we read what is said about duty, in order that, remembering the relations, we may do nothing irrationally nor contrary to these relations, we should not be vexed in being hindered as to our readings, but we should be satisfied with doing the acts which are conformable, and we should be reckoning not what so far we have been accustomed to reckon. Today I have read so many verses, I have written so many, but today I have employed my action as it is taught by the philosophers. I have not employed any desire. I have used avoidance only with respect to things which are within the power of my will. I have not been afraid of such a person. I have not been prevailed upon by the entreaties of another. I have exercised my patience, my abstinence, my cooperation with others. And so we should thank God for what we ought to thank Him. But now we do not know that we also, in another way, are like the many. Another man is afraid that he shall not have power. You are afraid that you will. Do not do so, my man. But as you ridicule him who is afraid that he shall not have power, so ridicule yourself also. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. To be well is a part of becoming well.
Dum spiro spero, while I breathe I hope. Latin proverb. There is no enjoying the possession of anything valuable unless one has someone to share it with. Surround yourself with people who talk about visions and ideas, not people. If you are irritated by every rub, how will your mirror be polished? Rumi. From man is the seed that once cast into the womb, man hath no more to do with it. Another cause succeedeth and undertakes the work, and in time brings a child, that wonderful effect from such a beginning, to perfection. Again, man lets food down through his throat, and that once down, he hath no more to do with it. Another cause succeedeth and distributeth this food into the senses and the affections, into life and into strength, and doth with it those other many and marvelous things that belong unto man. These things, therefore, that are so secretly and invisibly wrought and brought to pass, thou must use to behold and contemplate, and not the things themselves only, but the power also by which they are effected, that thou mayest behold it, though not with the eyes of the body, yet as plainly and visibly as thou canst see and discern the outward efficient cause of the depression and elevation of anything. One of my biggest life lessons is that we heal at the speed of our forgiveness. Success is 5% brains and 95% consistency. The most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. Amelia Earhart You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. You deserve it, the career, the love, the family, the peace, the life. Success is not to be pursued. It is to be attracted by the person you become. Jim Rohn Remember that all is but opinion, and all opinion depends of the mind. Take thine opinion away, and then as a ship that hath stricken in within the arms and mouth of the harbor, a present calm, all things safe and steady, a bay, not capable of any storms and tempests, as the poet hath it. Only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Knowledge is power, but wisdom is being able to apply it. Happiness does not depend on what you have or who you are. It solely relies on what you think. Buddha Learn how to change a flat tire on your vehicle. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. There is no enlightenment outside of daily life. Tishnat Han. But in the world, at one time men shun death as the greatest of all evils, and at another time choose it as a respite from the evils in life. The wise man does not deprecate life, nor does he fear the cessation of life. The thought of life is no offense to him, nor is the cessation of life regarded as an evil. And even as men choose of food not merely and simply the larger portion, but the more pleasant. 
So the wise seek to enjoy the time which is most pleasant and not merely that which is longest. And he who admonishes the young to live well and the old to make a good end speaks foolishly, not merely because of the desirability of life, but because the same exercise at once teaches to live well and to die well. Much worse is he who says that it were good not to be born, but when once one is born to pass quickly through the gates of Hades. For if he truly believes this, why does he not depart from life? It would be easy for him to do so once he were firmly convinced. If he speaks only in jest, his words are foolishness as those who hear him do not believe. There's nothing you can't achieve if you aren't afraid of dying. The life of the dead is set in the memory of the living. He who asks is a fool for five minutes, but he who does not ask remains a fool forever. Chinese proverb. Stay calm. You've been through this before. You'll get through it again. The more you give, the more you receive. There are no extra pieces in the universe. Everyone is here because he or she has a place to fill, and every piece must fit itself into the big jigsaw puzzle. Deepak Chopra Thou must use thyself also to keep thy body fixed and steady, free from all loose fluctuant either motion or posture. And as upon thy face and looks, thy mind hath easily power over them to keep them to that which is grave and decent. So let it challenge the same power over the whole body also. But so observe all things in this kind, as that it be without any manner of affectation. If each of us sweeps right under our feet, the whole world will be clean. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. How satisfying it is to dismiss and block out any upsetting or foreign impression, and immediately to have peace in all things. Marcus Aurelius The way is near but men seek it too far. It is in easy things, but men seek for it in difficult things. It can ruin your life only if it ruins your character. Otherwise, it cannot harm you inside or out. Love is the ability and willingness to allow those that you care for to be what they choose for themselves without any insistence that they satisfy you. Wayne Dyer Of him that brought me up, not to be fondly addicted to either of the two great factions of the courses in the circus, called Prasini and Venity, nor in the amphitheater partially to favor any of the gladiators or fencers as either the parmulari or the secutores. Moreover, to endure labor, nor to need many things, when I have anything to do, to do it myself rather than by others, not to meddle with many businesses, and not easily to admit of any slander. No one will ever give you love because you want him or her to give it. Real love moves freely in both directions. Don't waste your time on anything else. Pain only leaves you when it teaches you something. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Napoleon Hill Only put off until tomorrow, 
what you are willing to die having left undone. Fear not death, for the sooner we die, the longer we shall be immortal. The greatest gift you can give somebody is your own personal development. I used to say, if you will take care of me, I will take care of you. Now I say, I will take care of me for you, if you will take care of you for me. Jim Rohn If in this kind of life thy body be able to hold out, it is a shame that thy soul should faint first, and give over, take heed, lest of a philosopher thou become a mere Caesar in time, and receive a new tincture from the court. For it may happen if thou dost not take heed. Keep thyself therefore truly simple, good, sincere, grave, free from all ostentation, a lover of that which is just, religious, kind, tender-hearted, strong, and vigorous to undergo anything that becomes thee. Endeavor to continue such, as philosophy, hadst thou wholly and constantly applied thyself unto it, would have made and secured thee. Worship the gods, procure the welfare of men. This life is short. Charitable actions and a holy disposition is the only fruit of this earthly life. Be forgiving, be understanding, but do not be a fool. There is no enjoying the possession of anything valuable unless one has someone to share it with. The mind is like water. When it's turbulent, it's difficult to see. When it's calm, everything becomes clear. Buddha. No worries, just acceptance. Perceive failure as a vulnerable teacher and a stepping stone to success. The only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. Tony Robbins. In every undertaking, consider what comes first and what comes after, then proceed to the action itself. Otherwise, you will begin with a rush of enthusiasm, having failed to think through the consequences, only to find that later, when difficulties appear, you will give up in disgrace. 2. Do you want to win at the Olympic Games? So do I, by the gods. For that is a fine achievement. But consider what comes first and what comes after, and only then begin the task. You must be well disciplined, submit to a diet, abstain from sweet things, follow a training schedule at the set times, in the heat, in the cold, no longer having cold drinks or wine just when you like. In a word, you must hand yourself over to your trainer, just as you would to a doctor. And then, when the contest comes, you may strain your wrist, twist your ankle, swallow lots of sand, sometimes be whipped, and after all that, suffer defeat. 3. Think about all this, and if you still want to, then train for the games, otherwise you will behave like children, who first play at being wrestlers, then at being gladiators, then they blow trumpets, then act in a play. In the same way, you will first be an athlete, then a gladiator, then an orator, then a philosopher. But you will do none of these things wholeheartedly. But like a monkey, you will mimic whatever you see, as first one thing, then another, takes your fancy. All this because you do not undertake anything after properly considering it from all sides, but randomly and half-heartedly. Four. So it is when some people go to see a philosopher and hear someone speak such as Euphrates, and who can speak like him? They too want to be philosophers. 5. 
but first consider what sort of undertaking this is. Then examine your own capacities to see if you can bear it. So you want to be a pentathlete or a wrestler? Look at your arms, your thighs, examine your back. Different people are naturally suited to different tasks. 6. Do you think that if you do these things you can still eat in the same way, drink in the same way, give way to anger and irritation, just as you do now? You must go without sleep, endure hardship, live away from home, be looked down on by a slave boy, be laughed at by those whom you meet, and in everything get the worst of it, in honors, in status, in the law courts, and in every little affair. 7. Consider carefully whether you are willing to pay such a price for peace of mind, freedom and serenity, for if you are not, do not approach philosophy and do not behave like children, being first a philosopher, next a tax collector, then an orator, and later a procurator of the emperor. These things are not compatible. You must be one person either good or bad. You must cultivate either your ruling principle or external things. Seek to improve things inside or things outside. That is, you must play the role either of a philosopher or an uneducated person. Give a man a purpose worth living for and he can survive in any situation. If you don't clear your misunderstanding in time, they become the reason for distance forever. Those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those doing it. Chinese proverb. You will never understand the damage you did to someone until the same thing is done to you. You are not unique. There will always be someone else equally attractive, fun, and qualified to replace you. You are always creating, and the world is the reflection of your creations. Neville Goddard Nature the Stoic's ultimate goal is to live in accordance with nature, to be one with nature and live harmoniously, to appreciate and gain an understanding of your place in the world, to practice your ability to see things greater than yourself and live a virtuous life. Living according to nature is living your best life. Living your best life is done by maximizing your potential by recognizing the difference between what you can control and what is out of your control. You must be honest with yourself and others and be willing to seek the truth in every circumstance. By doing so, you must also see challenges as a way to progress and not as a setback. Seek to find the good in every situation and use it as a teaching tool. Let nature be your guiding force and your moral compass on your positive pathway in life. Passion is super awesome, but it doesn't cure all your problems. Passion can go a long way in your life, but it doesn't mean it's all unicorns and rainbows. Everyone wants to see you succeed, but some will even go out of their way to see you fail. just that you do the right thing. The rest doesn't matter. Marcus Aurelius Our lives are defined by opportunities, even the ones we miss. No one will ever give you love because you want him or her to give it. Real love moves freely in both directions. Don't waste your time on anything else.
We have more possibilities available in each moment than we realize. Tishnat Han. Man, God, the world, everyone in their kind bear some fruits. All things have their proper time to bear. Though by custom, the word itself is in a manner become proper unto the vine, and the like, yet is it so nevertheless, as we have said. As for reason, that beareth both common fruit for the use of others, and peculiar, which itself doth enjoy. Reason is of a diffusive nature, what itself is in itself. It begets in others, and so doth multiply. You have to let go of what's behind you to reach what's in front of you. Get rid of the desire to have. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Plato Believe you can and you're halfway there. Do not trust your money to a person who likes to count other people's money. Every situation is either an opportunity to grow or an obstacle to avoid. Eckhart Tolle Such as thy thoughts and ordinary cogitations are, such will thy mind be in time. For the soul doth as it were receive its tincture from the fancies and imaginations. Dye it therefore and thoroughly soak it with the assiduity of these cogitations. As for example, wheresoever thou mayst live, there it is in thy power to live well and happy. But thou mayst live at the court, there then also mayst thou live well and happy. Again, that which everything is made for, he is also made unto that and cannot but naturally incline unto it. That which anything doth naturally incline unto, therein is his end. Wherein the end of everything doth consist, therein also doth his good and benefit consist. Society therefore is the proper good of a rational creature. For that we are made for society, it hath long since been demonstrated. Or can any man make any question of this? that whatsoever is naturally worse and inferior is ordinarily subordinated to that which is better, and that those things that are best are made one for another, and those things that have souls are better than those that have none, and of those that have those best that have rational souls. Never be afraid to express vulnerability. It shows strength. Remember, sometimes the things that break your heart end up fixing your vision. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. Thomas Jefferson No company is better than bad company. Love is a trap. When it appears, we see only its light, not its shadows. Anxiety, the illness of our time, comes primarily from our inability to dwell in the present moment. Thich Nhat Hanh. In my father, I observed his meekness his constancy without wavering in those things, which after a due examination and deliberation he had determined. How free from all vanity he carried himself in matter of honor and dignity, as they are esteemed, his laboriousness and assiduity, his readiness to hear any man that had ought to say tending to any common good, how generally and impartially he would give every man his due, his skill and knowledge, when rigor or extremity or when remissness or moderation was in season, how he did abstain from all unchaste love of youths, 
his moderate condescending to other men's occasions as an ordinary man, neither absolutely requiring of his friends, that they should wait upon him at his ordinary meals, nor that they should of necessity accompany him in his journeys, and that whensoever any business upon some necessary occasions was to be put off and omitted before it could be ended, he was ever found when he went about it again, the same man that he was before, his accurate examination of things in consultations, and patient hearing of others. He would not hastily give over the search of the matter, as one easy to be satisfied with sudden notions and apprehensions. His care to preserve his friends, how neither at any time he would carry himself towards them with disdainful neglect, and grow weary of them, nor yet at any time be madly fond of them. His contented mind in all things, his cheerful countenance, his care to foresee things afar off, and to take order for the least, without any noise or clamor. Moreover, how all acclamations and flattery were repressed by him, how carefully he observed all things necessary to the government, and kept an account of the common expenses, and how patiently he did abide that he was reprehended by some for this his strict and rigid kind of dealing. How he was neither a superstitious worshipper of the gods, nor an ambitious pleaser of men, or studious of popular applause, but sober in all things, and everywhere observant of that which was fitting, no effector of novelties, in those things which conduced to his ease and convenience, plenty whereof his fortune did afford him, without pride and bragging, yet with all freedom and liberty, so that as he did freely enjoy them without any anxiety or affectation when they were present, so when absent he found no want of them. Moreover, that he was never commended by any man as either a learned acute man, or an obsequious officious man, or a fine orator, but as a ripe mature man, a perfect sound man, one that could not endure to be flattered, able to govern both himself and others, Moreover, how much he did honor all true philosophers without upbraiding those that were not so. His sociableness, his gracious and delightful conversation, but never unto satiety. His care of his body within bounds and measure, not as one that desired to live long or overstudious of neatness and elegancy, and yet not as one that did not regard it, so that through his own care and providence he seldom needed any inward physics or outward applications but especially how ingeniously he would yield to any that had obtained any peculiar faculty, as either eloquence, or the knowledge of the laws, or of ancient customs, or the like, and how he concurred with them, in his best care and endeavor that every one of them might, in his kind, for that wherein he excelled, be regarded and esteemed. And although he did all things carefully after the ancient customs of his forefathers, Yet even of this was he not desirous that men should take notice, that he did imitate ancient customs. Again, how he was not easily moved and tossed up and down, but loved to be constant, both in the same places and businesses, and how after his great fits of headache, he would return fresh and vigorous to his wonted affairs. Again, that secrets he neither had many nor often, and such only as concerned public matters, his discretion and moderation, in exhibiting of the public sights and shows for the pleasure and pastime of the people, in public buildings, congieries, and the like. In all these things, having a respect unto men only as men, and to the equity of the things themselves, and not unto the glory that might follow, never wont to use the baths at unseasonable hours. No builder, never curious or solicitous, either about his meat, or about the workmanship, or color of his clothes, or about anything that belonged to external beauty. In all his conversation, far from all inhumanity, all boldness and incivility, all greediness and impetuosity, never doing anything with such earnestness and intention that a man could say of him that he did sweat about it, but contrarywise, all things distinctly, as at leisure, without trouble, orderly, soundly, 
and agreeably. A man might have applied that to him, which is recorded of Socrates, that he knew how to want and to enjoy those things, in the want whereof most men show themselves weak, and in the fruition intemperate, but to hold out firm and constant, and to keep within the compass of true moderation and sobriety in either estate, is proper to a man who hath a perfect and invincible soul, such as he showed himself in the sickness of Maximus. Much is expected from those to whom much is given. Don't say yes to everyone to make them comfortable. Check with yourself too before you commit. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Epictetus. Do not regret the past. At that moment you did your best. If the path is beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. The only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. Tony Robbins The earth, saith the poet, doth often long after the rain. So is the glorious sky, often as desirous to fall upon the earth, which argues a mutual kind of love between them. And so, say I, doth the world bear a certain affection of love, to whatsoever shall come to pass, with thine affection shall mine concur, O world. The same, and no other, shall the object of my longing be which is of thine. Now that the world doth love it is true indeed, so is it as commonly said, and acknowledged ledged, when according to the Greek phrase, imitated by the Latins, of things that used to be, we say commonly, that they love to be. There are one thousand lessons in defeat, but only one in victory. Don't let success go to your head. Don't let failure go to your heart. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Marcus Aurelius Life is short. Live it. Love is rare. Grab it. Anger is bad. Dump it. Fear is awful. Face it. Memories are sweet. Cherish them. You need enemies to succeed. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. Thich Nhat Hanh Forbear henceforth to complain of the trouble of a courtly life, either in public before others, or in private by thyself. Never force, don't beg and don't chase. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Have patience. All things are difficult before they become easy. Sa'adi Success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear. Drop by drop is the water pot filled. Likewise, the wise man, gathering it little by little, fills himself. Change is inevitable. Progress is optional. Tony Robbins Bodily pleasure does not increase when the pain of want has been removed. After that, it only admits of variation. 
The limit of mental pleasure, however, is reached when we reflect on these bodily pleasures and their related emotions, which used to cause the mind the greatest alarms. It is easy to hate, and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. The glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time you fall. Confucius Never give up on something you really want. It's difficult to wait, but it's more difficult to regret. Believe in yourself and the rest will fall into place. Never say anything about yourself you do not want to come true. Brian Tracy If ever thou sawest either a hand or a foot or a head lying by itself, in some place or other, as cut off from the rest of the body, such must thou conceive him to make himself, as much as in him lieth, that either is offended with anything that has happened, whatsoever it be, and as it were divides himself from it, or that commits anything against the natural law of mutual correspondence and society among men, or he that commits any act of uncharitableness. Whosoever thou art, thou art such, thou art cast forth, I know not whither out of the general unity, which is according to nature. Thou went born indeed apart, but now thou hast cut thyself off. However, herein is matter of joy and exultation, that thou mayst be united again. God hath not granted it unto any other part, that once separated and cut off, it might be reunited and come together again. But behold, that goodness, how great and immense it is, which hath so much esteemed man, as at first he was so made, that he needed not, except he would himself, have divided himself from the whole. So once divided and cut off, it hath so provided and ordered it, that if he would himself he might return and grow together again, and be admitted into its former rank and place of a part, as he was before. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life, Confucius. If you are willing to sacrifice what you want most for what you want now, then your future will always be filled with disappointment. To reach somewhere you need to leave something behind. Imagination is the ability to see things not as they are, but as they can be. Neville Goddard Whensoever any man doth trespass against other, presently consider with thyself what it was that he did suppose to be good, what to be evil when he did trespass. For this when thou knowest, thou wilt pity him, Thou wilt have no occasion either to wonder or to be angry. For either thou thyself dost yet live in that error and ignorance, as that thou dost suppose either that very thing that he doth, or some other like worldly thing, to be good. And so thou art bound to pardon him if he have done that which thou in the like case wouldst have done thyself. Or if so be that thou dost not any more suppose the same things to be good or evil that he doth. 
how canst thou but be gentle unto him that is in an error? Patience is your ally. Don't tell your problems to everyone. 80% don't care, and the other 20% are glad you have them. Non est ad astra mollis eteris via. There is no easy way from the earth to the stars. Seneca the Younger. A house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body. If you're going to apologize, you don't say but after it. Either you mean it or you don't. To dwell in the here and now does not mean you never think about the past or responsibly plan for the future. The idea is simply not to allow yourself to get lost in regrets about the past or worries about the future. If you are firmly grounded in the present moment, the past can be an object of inquiry, the object of your mindfulness and concentration. You can attain many insights by looking into the past, but you are still grounded in the present moment. Tishnat Han Whatsoever thou doest hereafter aspire unto, thou mayest even now enjoy and possess, if thou doest not envy thyself thine own happiness. And that will be, if thou shalt forget all that is past, and for the future, refer thyself wholly to the divine providence, and shalt bend and apply all thy present thoughts and intentions to holiness and righteousness, to holiness in accepting willingly whatsoever is sent by the divine providence as being that which the nature of the universe hath appointed unto thee, which also hath appointed thee for that, whatsoever it be, to righteousness in speaking the truth freely and without ambiguity and in doing all things justly and discreetly, now in this good course, let not other men's either wickedness or opinion or voice hinder thee. No, nor the sense of this thy pampered mass of flesh. For let that which suffers look to itself. If therefore whensoever the time of thy departing shall come, thou shalt readily leave all things and shalt respect thy mind only and that divine part of thine, and this shall be thine only fear, not that some time or other thou shalt cease to live, but thou shalt never begin to live according to nature. Then shalt thou be a man indeed, worthy of that world, from which thou hadst thy beginning. Then shalt thou cease to be a stranger in thy country, and to wonder at those things that happen daily, as things strange and unexpected, and anxiously to depend of divers things that are not in thy power. Being defeated is often a temporary condition. Giving up is what makes it permanent. Learning to let go should be learned from learning to get it. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. Confucius The world is what it is. You are what you are. Willpower is to the mind like a strong, blind man who carries on his shoulders a lame man who can see. If you can't, you must. If you must, you can. Tony Robbins One who not often, nor without some great necessity tending to some public good, mindeth what any other either speaks, or doth, or purposeth. For those things only that are in his own power, or that are truly his own, are the objects of his employments, and his thoughts are ever taken up with those things, 
which of the whole universe are by the fates or providence destinated and appropriated unto himself, those things that are his own, and in his own power he himself takes order, for that they be good. And as for those that happen unto him, he believes them to be so. For that lot and portion which is assigned to everyone, as it is unavoidable and necessary, so is it always profitable. He remembers besides that whatsoever partakes of reason is akin unto him, and that to care for all men generally is agreeing to the nature of a man. But as for honor and praise, that they ought not generally to be admitted and accepted of from all, but from such only, who live according to nature. As for them that do not, what manner of men they be at home or abroad, day or night, how condition themselves with what manner of conditions, or with men of what conditions they moil and pass away the time together, he knoweth and remembers. Right well, he therefore regards not such praise and approbation as proceeding from them who cannot like and approve themselves. Circumstances make man not man's circumstances. Learn to say no, be frugal. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. C.S. Lewis Kindness without honesty is manipulation. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light of meaning in the darkness of mere being. Carl Jung To a person who had been changed to a character of shamelessness, when you see another man in the possession of power set against this, the fact that you have not the want of power. When you see another rich, see what you possess in place of riches. For if you possess nothing in place of them, you are miserable. But if you have not the want of riches, know that you possess more than this man possesses, and what is worth much more. Another man possesses a handsome woman, you have the satisfaction of not desiring a handsome wife. Do these things appear to you to he small? And how much would these persons give, these very men who are rich and in possession of power, and live with handsome women, to be able to despise riches and power and these very women whom they love and enjoy? Do you not know then what is the thirst of a man who has a fever? He possesses that which is in no degree like the thirst of a man who is in health. For the man who is in health ceases to be thirsty after he has drunk. But the sick man, being pleased for a short time, has a nausea. He converts the drink into bile, vomits, is griped, and more thirsty. It is such a thing to have desire of riches and to possess riches, desire of power and to possess power desire of a beautiful woman and to sleep with her. To this is added jealousy, fear of being deprived of the thing which you love, indecent words, indecent thoughts, unseemly acts. And what do I lose, you will say? My man, you were modest, and you are so no longer. Have you lost nothing? In place of Chrysippus and Zeno, you read Aristides and Evanus. Have you lost nothing? In place of Socrates and Diogenes, you admire him who is able to corrupt and seduce most women. You wish to appear handsome and try to make yourself so, though you are not. You like to display splendid clothes that you may attract women. And if you find any fine oil, yawn imagine that you are happy. But formerly you did not think of any such thing, but only where there should be decent talk, a worthy man, and a generous conception. Therefore you slept like a man, walked forth like a man, 
wore a manly dress, and used to talk in a way becoming a good man, then do you say to me, I have lost nothing? So do men lose nothing more than coin? Is not modesty lost? Is not decent behavior lost? Is it that he who has lost these things has sustained no loss? Perhaps you think that not one of these things is a loss. But there was a time when you reckoned this the only loss and damage, and you were anxious that no man should disturb you from these words and actions. Observe, you are disturbed from these good words and actions by nobody but by yourself. Fight with yourself. Restore yourself to decency, to modesty, to liberty. If any man ever told you this about me, that a person forces me to be an adulterer, to wear such a dress as yours, to perfume myself with oils, would you not have gone and with your own hand have killed the man who thus calumniated me? Now will you not help yourself? And how much easier is this help? There is no need to kill any man, nor to put... Life becomes easier when you learn to accept the apology you never got. You'll never find a rainbow if you're looking down. Act in the world, but do not let the world act upon you. Bhagavad Gita Never compare yourself to others. No one can play your role better than you. Never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. You cannot tailor make the situations in life, but you can tailor make the attitudes to fit those situations. Zig Ziglar Children's anger, mere babels, wretched souls bearing up dead bodies, that they may not have their fall so soon, even as it is in that common dirge song. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. Who brings you the most peace should get the most time. No man is free who is not master of himself. Epictetus No regrets, just lessons. No worries, just acceptance. No expectations, just gratitude. The truth is, everyone is going to hurt you. You just gotta find the ones worth suffering for. Each of us is a unique strand in the intricate web of life and here to make a contribution. Deepak Chopra How rotten and insincere is he that saith, I am resolved to carry myself hereafter towards you with all ingenuity and simplicity. O oh man, what dost thou mean? What needs this profession of thine? The thing itself will show it. It ought to be written upon thy forehead. No sooner thy voice is heard, than thy countenance must be able to show what is in thy mind. Even as he that is loved knows presently by the looks of his sweetheart, what is in her mind. Such must he be for all the world that is truly simple and good, as he whose armholes are offensive, that whosoever stands by, as soon as ever he comes near him, may, as it were, smell him whether he will or no. But the affectation of simplicity is no wise laudable. There is nothing more shameful than perfidious friendship. Above all things that must be avoided. However true goodness, simplicity, and kindness cannot so be hidden, but that, as we have already said, in the very eyes and countenance they will show themselves. 
When a person spends all of his time in foreign travel, he ends by having many acquaintances but no friends. You might regret your speech, but you'll never regret your silence. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Socrates If you stay positive in a negative situation, you win. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. The way to change your life is to begin immediately, right where you are, with whatever you have at hand. Deepak Chopra Never say of anything, I have lost it, but rather, I have given it back. Has your child died? It has been given back. Has your wife died? She has been given back. Has your land been taken from you? Well, that too has been given back. But the one who took it from me is a bad man. What concern is it of yours by whose hand the giver asks for its return? For the time that these things are given to you, take care of them as things that belong to another, just as travelers do an inn. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. Don't be scared because you don't have all the answers right away. You will learn through your experiences and find your own way to happiness. That which is an impediment to action is turned to advance action. The obstacle on the path becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Good things come to those who wait. Purpose is the reason you journey. Passion is the fire that lights your way. Jay Shetty It is but an ordinary coarse one, yet it is a good effectual remedy against the fear of death for a man to consider in his mind the examples of such who greedily and covetously, as it were, did for a long time enjoy their lives. What have they got more than they whose deaths have been untimely? Are not they themselves dead at the last, as Cadiciants, Fabius, Julianus, Lepidus, or any other who in their lifetime having buried many, or at the last buried themselves? The whole space of any man's life is but little, and as little as it is, with what troubles, with what manner of dispositions, and in the society of how wretched a body must it be passed, let it be therefore unto thee altogether as a matter of indifferency. For if thou shalt look backward, behold what an infinite chaos of time doth present itself unto thee, and as infinite a chaos if thou shalt look forward. In that which is so infinite, what difference can there be between that which liveth but three days and that which liveth three ages? Climb the mountain to see the world, not so that the world can see you. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. No man ever steps in the same river twice, for it is not the same river, and he is not the same man. Heraclitus He who has injured thee was either stronger or weaker than thee. If weaker, spare him. If stronger, spare thyself.
In the face of adversity, remember that diamonds are made under pressure. The source of suffering is a false belief in permanence and the existence of separate selves. Tiknatan. Ever to mind and consider with thyself how all things that now are have been heretofore much after the same sort and after the same fashion that now they are, and so to think of those things which shall be hereafter also. Moreover, whole dramata and uniform scenes, or scenes that comprehend the lives and actions of men of one calling and profession, as many as either in thine own experience thou hast known, or by reading of ancient histories, as the whole court of Adrianus, the whole court of Antoninus Pius, the whole court of Philippus, that of Alexander, that of Croesus, to set them all before thine eyes. For thou shalt find that they are all but after one sort and fashion, only that the actors were others. Catch a good mood, it so rarely visits us. It's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Epictetus. Don't let anyone know what you're doing until it's done. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. When you do more than you're paid for, eventually you'll be paid for more than you do. Zig Ziglar What is that that is slow and yet quick, merry and yet grave, he that in all things doth follow reason for his guide? Begin at once to live, and count each separate day as a separate life. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents which in prosperous circumstances would have lain dormant. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius this quote underscores the stoic emphasis on the power of reason and self-control to navigate life's challenges. Do not think you are destined to live forever. You are mortal and your time is limited. Use it wisely. Smiling doesn't necessarily mean you're happy. Sometimes it just means you're strong. To be in the present moment is to be fully alive. Alan Watts to For several dispositions or inclinations there be of the mind and understanding, which to be aware of thou must carefully observe. And whensoever thou doest discover them, thou must rectify them, saying to thyself concerning every one of them, This imagination is not necessary, this is uncharitable, this thou shalt speak as another man's slave or instrument, than which nothing can be more senseless and absurd. For the fourth thou shalt sharply check and upbraid thyself, for that thou doest suffer that more divine part in thee, to become subject and obnoxious to that more ignoble part of thy body and the gross lusts and concupiscences thereof. It never ends. As long as life goes on, a man needs to learn to feel the present moment and not hope for an unknown future. The challenge is to tussle, play, and make love with the present moment. People will disappoint you, so never put all your trust in anyone.
there could be no justice unless there were also injustice, no courage unless there were cowardice, no truth unless there were falsehood. Chrysippus Never think twice about investments in yourself. They pay dividends for a long time. Use things, not people. Love people, not things. The essence of your being is boundless and infinite. Papaji Just as the propositions, it is day and it is night, can be used meaningfully in a disjunctive proposition, but make no sense in a conjunctive proposition. So at a feast, to choose the largest share may make sense with respect to nourishing the body, but makes no sense for maintaining the proper kind of social feeling. Therefore, when you are eating with someone else, Bear in mind not merely the value to your body of what is set before you, but also the value of maintaining the proper respect for your host. Rest, don't care. Never say maybe if you want to say no. Silence is a true friend who never betrays. Confucius If someone wants to offend you greatly, then it is even worse for him. Always listen to your gut. Somehow it knows many things that you wouldn't expect. There's no scarcity of opportunity to make a living at what you love. There is only a scarcity of resolve to make it happen. Wayne Dyer Thou therefore must be one of them, who what they do, barely do it without any further thought, and are in a manner insensible of what they do. Nay, but... Will some reply perchance, this very thing a rational man is bound unto, to understand what it is that he doeth. For it is the property, say they, of one that is naturally sociable, to be sensible, that he doth operate sociably, nay, and to desire, that the party himself, that is sociably dealt with, should be sensible of it too. I answer, that which thou sayest is true indeed, but the true meaning of that which is said thou dost not understand, and therefore art thou one of those first whom I mentioned, for they also are led by a probable appearance of reason. But if thou dost desire to understand truly what it is that is said, fear not that thou shalt therefore give over any sociable action. Children learn by an adult's example, not by their words. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. The fates guide the person who accepts them and hinder the person who resists them. Clean these. Train your mind to be stronger than your feelings. Life if well lived is long enough. Each moment is a chance for us to make peace with the world, to make peace possible for the world, to make happiness possible for the world. Tishnat Han Whensoever by some present hard occurrences thou art constrained to be in some sort troubled and vexed, return unto thyself as soon as may be, and be not out of tune longer than thou must needs.
For so shalt thou be the better able to keep thy part another time, and to maintain the harmony, if thou dost use thyself to this continually, once out presently to have recourse unto it, and to begin again. Never trust what someone says, watch what they do. A house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body. He has the most who is content with the least, Diogenes. It is difficult to make the right choice if you fear choosing wrongly. Wisdom is not wisdom when it is derived from books alone. The self is always present. You only need to recognize it. Papaji How hast thou carried thyself hitherto towards the gods? towards thy parents, towards thy brethren, towards thy wife, towards thy children, towards thy masters, thy foster fathers, thy friends, thy domestics, thy servants? Is it so with thee that hitherto thou hast neither by word or deed wronged any of them? Remember with all through how many things thou hast already passed, and how many thou hast been able to endure, so that now the legend of thy life is full, and thy charge is accomplished. Again. How many truly good things have certainly by thee been discerned? How many pleasures, how many pains hast thou passed over with contempt? How many things eternally glorious hast thou despised? Towards how many perverse unreasonable men hast thou carried thyself kindly and discreetly? You can always rise above those who offend you by forgiving them. Never expect someone to catch you when you fall, even if you have caught many from falling. I will reveal to you a love potion, without medicine, without herbs, without any witch's magic. If you want to be loved, then love. Hikado of Rhodes Except what is. Let go of what was, have faith in what will be. Pain tells you that you have been injured, but more importantly, it tells you that you are not dead yet. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Tish Nathan. Can the gods who are immortal, for the continuance of so many ages, bear without indignation with such and so many sinners, as have ever been, yea, not only so, but also take such care for them, that they want nothing? And dost thou so grievously take on, as one that could bear with them no longer, thou that art but for a moment of time? Yea, thou that art one of those sinners thyself? A very ridiculous thing it is, that any man should dispense with vice and wickedness in himself, which is in his power to restrain, and should go about to suppress it in others, which is altogether impossible. When you laugh, people laugh with you. And when you cry, you cry alone. Nobody's intentions are truly clear even after being stated. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. George Adair It does not require many words to speak the truth. If you fuel your journey on the opinions of others, you are going to run out of gas.
The state of your life is nothing more than a reflection of the state of your mind. Wayne Dyer Again, we regard independence of outward things as a great good, not so as in all cases to use little, but so as to be contented with little if we have not much, being honestly persuaded that they have the sweetest enjoyment of luxury, who stand least in need of it, and that whatever is natural is easily procured and only the vain and worthless hard to win. Plain fare gives as much pleasure as a costly diet, when once the pain of want has been removed, while bread and water confer the highest possible pleasure, when they are brought to hungry lips. To habituate oneself, therefore, to simple and inexpensive diet supplies all that is needful for health and enables a man to meet the necessary requirements of life without shrinking and it places us in a better condition when we approach at intervals a costly fare and renders us fearless of fortune. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. Never doubt yourself. Tempus edax rerum, time devourer of all things, Ovid. Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. Never expect too high. The more you expect, when it doesn't meet your expectation, the more it's going to hurt you. Your opinion of yourself is your reality. Neville Goddard The Nature of the Universe of the common substance of all things as it were, of so much wax hath now perchance formed a horse, and then destroying that figure, hath new tempered and fashioned the matter of it into the form and substance of a tree, then that again into the form and substance of a man, and then that again into some other. Now every one of these doth subsist but for a very little while. As for dissolution, if it be no grievous thing to the chest or trunk, to be joined together, why should it be more grievous to be put asunder? Time is money. No one knows what his powers are until he uses them. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. If you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. Miyamoto Musashi When you try to please everybody, you almost always please nobody. There are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Eckhart Tolle Let it be thy earnest and incessant care as a Roman and a man to perform whatsoever it is that thou art about, with true and unfeigned gravity, natural affection, freedom and justice. And as for all other cares and imaginations, how thou mayest ease thy mind of them, which thou shalt do, if thou shalt go about every action as thy last action, free from all vanity, all passionate and willful aberration from reason, and from all hypocrisy and self-love and dislike of those things which by the fates or appointment of God have happened unto thee. Thou seest that those things which for a man to hold on in a prosperous course and to live a divine life are requisite and necessary are not many. For the gods will require no more of any man that shall but keep and observe these things. 
I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. Fortes Fortuna Adjuvat. Fortune favors the brave. Terence. In the face of adversity, remember that diamonds are made under pressure. Let the improvement of yourself keep you so busy that you have no time to criticize others. Uh, thanks to impermanence, everything is possible. Teach not Han. Fit and accommodate thyself to that estate and to those occurrences which by the destinies have been annexed unto thee, and love those men whom thy fate it is to live with, but love them truly, an instrument, a tool, an utensil, whatsoever it be. If it be fit for the purpose it was made for, it is as it should be, though he perchance that made and fitted it be out of sight and gone. But in things natural, that power which hath framed and fitted them is and abideth within them still, for which reason she ought also the more to be respected, and we are the more obliged, if we may live and pass our time according to her purpose and intention, to think that all is well with us, and according to our own minds. After this manner also, and in this respect it is, that he that is all in all doth enjoy his happiness. Recognize a problem. It's half the success in solving it. Love is an ideal thing, marriage a real thing. Be indifferent to what makes no difference. Marcus Aurelius He who is wise is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. The mind is a great instrument if used rightly. Nisargadatta Maharaj To suffer change can be no hurt, as no benefit it is, by change to attain to being. The age and time of the world is as it were a flood and swift current, consisting of the things that are brought to pass in the world. For as soon as anything hath appeared, and is passed away, another succeeds, and that also will presently out of sight. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. If the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. Confucius Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Falling down is an accident. Staying down is a choice. If you don't think you're disciplined, it's because you haven't decided to be. Jocko Willink That we ought not to be moved by a desire of those things which are not in our power. Let not that which in another is contrary to nature be an evil to you. 
for you are not formed by nature to be depressed with others, nor to be unhappy with others, but to be happy with them. If a man is unhappy, remember that his unhappiness is his own fault. For God has made all men to be happy, to be free from perturbations. For this purpose he has given means to them, some things to each person as his own, and other things not as his own some things subject to hindrance and compulsion and deprivation. And these things are not a man's own, but the things which are not subject to hindrances are his own, and the nature of good and evil, as it was fit to be done by him who takes care of us and protects us like a father, he has made our own. But, you say, I have parted from a certain person, and he is grieved. Why did he consider as his own that which belongs to another? Why, when he looked on you and was rejoiced, did he not also reckon that you are mortal, that it is natural for you to part from him for a foreign country? Therefore he suffers the consequences of his own folly. But why do you, or for what purpose, bewail yourself? Is it that you also have not thought of these things? But like poor women who are good for nothing, you have enjoyed all things in which you took pleasure, as if you would always enjoy them, both places and men and conversation. And now you sit and weep because you do not see the same persons and do not live in the same places. Indeed you deserve this, to be more wretched than crows and ravens, who have the power of flying where they please and changing their nests for others and crossing the seas without lamenting or regretting their former condition. Yes, but this happens to them because they are irrational creatures. Was reason, then, given to us by the gods for the purpose of unhappiness and misery, that we may pass our lives in wretchedness and lamentation? Must all persons be immortal, and must no man go abroad? And must we ourselves not go abroad? but remain rooted like plants. And if any of our familiar friends go abroad, must we sit and weep? And on the contrary, when he returns, must we dance and clap our hands like children? Shall we not now wean ourselves and remember what we have heard from the philosophers? If we did not listen to them as if they were jugglers, they tell us that this world is one city, and the substance out of which it has been formed is one, and that there must be a certain period, and that some things must give way to others, that some must be dissolved, and others come in their place, some to remain in the same place, and others to be moved, and that all things are full of friendship, first of the gods, and then of men who by nature are made to be of one family, and some must be with one another, and others must be separated, rejoicing in those who are with them, and not grieving for those who are removed from them. And man, in addition to being by nature of a noble temper and having a contempt of all things which are not in the power of his will, also possesses this property, not to be rooted nor to be naturally fixed to the earth, but to go at different times to different places, sometimes from the urgency of certain occasions, and at others merely for the sake of seeing. So it was with Ulysses, who saw of many men the states, and learned their ways. And still earlier it was the fortune of Hercules to visit all the inhabited world, seeing men's lawless deeds and their good rules of law, casting out and clearing away their lawlessness, and introducing in their place good rules of law. And yet, how many friends do you think that he had in Thebes? How many in Argos? How many in Athens? And how many do you think that he gained by going about? And he married also, when it seemed to him a proper occasion, and begot children, and left them without lamenting or regretting, or leaving them as orphans. For he knew that no man is an orphan, but it is the Father who takes care of all men always and continuously, 
for it was not as mere report that he had heard that Zeus is the father of, for he thought that Zeus was his own father, and he called him so, and to him he looked when he was doing what he did. Therefore he was enabled to live happily in all places. And it is never possible for happiness and desire of what is not present to come together. That which is happy must have all that desires, must resemble a person who is filled with food, and must have neither thirst nor hunger. But Ulysses felt a desire for his wife and wept as he sat on a rock. Do you attend to Homer and his stories in everything? Or if Ulysses really wept, what was he else than an unhappy man? And what good man is unhappy? In truth, the whole is badly administered if Zeus does not take care of his own citizens that they may be happy like himself. But these things are not lawful nor right to think of. And if Ulysses did weep and lament, he was not a good man. For who is good if he knows not who he is? And who knows what he is if he forgets that things which have been made are perishable? and that it is not possible for one human being to be with another always. To desire, then, things which are impossible is to have a slavish character and is foolish. It is the part of a stranger, of a man who fights against God in the only way that he can, by his opinions. But my mother laments when she does not see me. Why has she not learned these principles? And I do not say this that we should not take care that she may not lament. But I say that we ought not to desire in every way what is not our own. And the sorrow of another is another's sorrow, but my sorrow is my own. I then will stop my own sorrow by every means, for it is in my power, and the sorrow of another I will endeavor to stop as far as I can, but I will not attempt to do it by every means, for if I do, I shall be fighting against God, I shall be opposing and shall be placing myself against Him in the administration of the universe. And the reward of this fighting against God and of this disobedience, not only will the children of my children pay, but I also shall myself, both by day and by night, startled by dreams, perturbed, trembling at every piece of news, and having my tranquility depending on the letters of others. Some person has arrived from Rome. I only hope that there is no harm. But what harm can happen to you, where you are not? From Hellas someone is come. I hope that there is no harm. In this way, every place may be the cause of misfortune to you. Is it not enough for you to be unfortunate there where you are? And must you be so even beyond sea and by the report of letters? Is this the way in which your affairs are in a state of security? Well then, suppose that my friends have died in the places which are far from me. What else have they suffered than that which is the condition of mortals? Or how are you desirous at the same time to live to old age, and at the same time not to see the death of any person whom you love? Know you not that in the course of a long time many and various kinds of things must happen, that a fever shall overpower one, a robber another, and a third a tyrant? Such is the condition of things around us. Such are those who live with us in the world. Cold and heat, and unsuitable ways of living, and journeys by land, and voyages by sea, and winds, and various circumstances which surround us, destroy one man and banish another, and throw one upon an embassy and another into an army. Sit down then, in a flutter at all these things, lamenting unhappy, unfortunate dependent on another, and dependent not on one or two, but on ten thousands upon ten thousands. Did you hear this when you were with the philosophers? Did you learn this? Do you not know that human life is a warfare? that one man must keep watch, another must go out as a spy, and a third must fight. And it is not possible that all should be in one place, nor is it better that it be so. If you make a girl laugh, you can make her do anything.
A sword can only be formed once it goes into the fire. Happiness does not depend on what you have or who you are. It solely relies on what you think. Buddha The days are long, the years are short. I heard this after I had my first kid. Couldn't be more true. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried. The only way that you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have to suffer to grow. David Goggins Spend not the remnant of thy days in thoughts and fancies concerning other men, when it is not in relation to some common good, when by it thou art hindered from some other better work. That is, spend not thy time in thinking what such a man doth, and to what end, what he saith, and what he thinks, and what he is about, and such other things or curiosities which make a man to rove and wander from the care and observation of that part of himself which is rational and overruling. See therefore in the whole series and connection of thy thoughts that thou be careful to prevent whatsoever is idle and impertinent, but especially whatsoever is curious and malicious, and thou must use thyself to think only of such things, of which if a man upon a sudden should ask thee, what it is that thou art now thinking, thou mayest answer this and that freely and boldly, that so by thy thoughts it may presently appear that in all thee is sincere and peaceable, as becometh one that is made for society, and regards not pleasures, nor gives way to any voluptuous imaginations at all, free from all contentiousness, envy, and suspicion, and from whatsoever else thou wouldest blush to confess thy thoughts were set upon. He that is such, is he surely that doth not put off to lay hold on that which is best indeed, a very priest and minister of the gods, well acquainted and in good correspondence with him, especially that is seated and placed within himself, as in a temple and sacrary, to whom also he keeps and preserves himself unspotted by pleasure, undaunted by pain, free from any manner of wrong, or contumely, by himself offered unto himself, not capable of any evil from others, a wrestler of the best sort, and for the highest prize, that he may not be cast down by any passion or affection of his own, deeply dyed and drenched in righteousness, embracing and accepting with his whole heart whatsoever either happeneth or is allotted unto him. Be selfish with your time. Things rarely change for the better in your life unless you change them. Wait for that wisest of all counselors, time, Pericles. No is one of the most powerful words in existence. Rule your life with your mind not with your feelings. Every bad decision we have made in life, there was more emotion in it than there was mind. Every single one. When you judge another, you do not define them. You define yourself, Wayne Dyer. Have I done anything charitably? then am I benefited by it. See that this upon all occasions may present itself unto thy mind and never cease to think of it. What is thy profession? To be good. And how should this be well brought to pass but by certain theorems and doctrines, some concerning the nature of the universe and some concerning the proper and particular constitution of man? You only fail when you stop trying.
There is no other land. There is no other life but this. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky Sometimes you just have to let go, even if you are right. You are the only person who can make yourself happy. Your ability to communicate is an important tool in your pursuit of your goals, whether it is with your family, your co-workers, or your clients and customers. Les Brown The just man is most free from disturbance, while the unjust is full of the utmost disturbance. Not everything in this world should be your problem. Some things are simply none of your business. A brave man dies but once, a coward many times. A good teacher is better than a barrel full of books. Chinese proverb. Never say maybe. If you want to say no, say no. If someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Imagine no limitations. Decide what's right and desirable before you decide what's possible. Brian Tracy Out of Plato He then whose mind is endowed with true magnanimity, who hath accustomed himself to the contemplation both of all times and of all things in general, can this mortal life thinkest thou seem any great matter unto him? It is not possible, answered he, then neither will such a one account death a grievous thing, by no means. If you never heal from what hurt you, you'll bleed on people who didn't cut you. So, the unwilling soul sees what's hidden, and the ever-wanting soul sees only what it wants. I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live by the light that I have. Abraham Lincoln Not everyone has a heart like yours. Never hit it at all if it is honorably possible to avoid hitting, but never hit soft. The highest leverage action you can take is to increase your skill set. Alex Hormozzi That which doth not hurt the city itself cannot hurt any citizen. This rule thou must remember to apply and make use of upon every conceit and apprehension of wrong. If the whole city be not hurt by this, neither am I certainly. And if the whole be not, why should I make it my private grievance? Consider rather what it is wherein he is overseen that is thought to have done the wrong. Again, often meditate how swiftly all things that subsist and all things that are done in the world are carried away and as it were conveyed out of sight. For both the substance themselves, we see as a flood, are in a continual flux, and all actions in a perpetual change, and the causes themselves, subject to a thousand alterations, neither is there anything almost that may ever be said to be now settled and constant. Next unto this, and which follows upon it, consider both the infiniteness of the time already past, and the immense vastness of that which is to come, wherein all things are to be resolved and annihilated. 
Art not thou then a very fool, who for these things art either puffed up with pride or distracted with cares, or canst find in thy heart to make such moans as for a thing that would trouble thee for a very long time? Consider the whole universe, whereof thou art but a very little part, and the whole age of the world together, whereof but a short and very momentary portion is allotted unto thee, and all the fates and destinies together, of which how much is it that comes to thy part and share? Again, another doth trespass against me. Let him look to that. He is master of his own disposition and of his own operation. I, for my part, am in the meantime in possession of as much as the common nature would have me to possess, and that which mine own nature would have me do, I do. You are either part of the problem or part of the solution. Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. Theodore Roosevelt When you get up in the morning, remember what you promised yourself at night. We live longer when we are too busy living. The less you respond to negative people, the more peaceful your life will become. Jay Shetty It is all one to see these things for a hundred of years together, or but for three years. Do every act of your life as though it were the very last act of your life. Never put off till tomorrow the fun you can have today. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius Life always waits for some crisis to occur before revealing itself at its most brilliant. Do not trust your money to a person who likes to count other people's money. Our real greatness comes from the inside out. Jay Shetty In matter of writing or reading, thou must needs be taught before thou can do either, much more in matter of life. For thou art born a mere slave to thy senses and brutish affections, destitute without teaching of all true knowledge and sound reason, The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. No matter how thin you slice it, there will always be two sides. True wisdom is to understand the eternal nature of the self and the impermanence of the material world. Bhagavad Gita What the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls a butterfly. Out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. Identify your problems, but give your power and energy to solutions. Tony Robbins If we had never been troubled by celestial and atmospheric phenomena, nor by fears about death, nor by our ignorance of the limits of pains and desires, we should have had no need of natural science. 
If it keeps you happy, keep it quiet. No one cares except you. Do what lifts you up in your eyes. What people say does not matter. Let go of attachments and desires and you will find peace. Buddha Time heals almost everything. Give it time. Just because your path is different from others doesn't mean you're lost. You can get everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Zig Ziglar From my brother Severus, to be kind and loving to all them of my house and family, by whom also I came to the knowledge of Thracia and Helvidius, and Cato, and Dio, and Brutus. He it was also that did put me in the first conceit and desire of an equal commonwealth, administered by justice and equality, and of a kingdom wherein should be regarded, nothing more than the good and welfare of the subjects, of him also to observe a constant tenor, not interrupted with any other cares and distractions, in the study and esteem of philosophy, to be bountiful and liberal in the largest measure, always to hope the best, and to be confident that my friends love me, in whom I moreover observed open dealing towards those whom he reproved at any time, and that his friends might without all doubt or much observation know what he would or would not, so open and plain was he. Remove the clowns from your life before you become one. Great results can be achieved with small forces. The wise man avoids all extremes. As it is with a play, so it is with life. What matters is not how long the acting lasts, but how good it is. Seneca To realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. We humans have two great problems. The first is knowing when to begin. The second is knowing when to stop. My goal is not to be better than anyone else, but to be better than I used to be. Wayne Dyer It is impossible to live a pleasant life without living wisely and honorably and justly, and it is impossible to live wisely and honorably and justly without living pleasantly. Whenever any one of these is lacking, when, for instance, the man is not able to live wisely, though he lives honorably and justly, it is impossible for him to live a pleasant life. What really ruins our character is the fact that none of us looks back over his life. We know accurately only when we know little. With knowledge, doubt increases. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Buddha. No one ever got tired of loving. They get tired of waiting, hearing lies, assuming, saying sorry, and hurting. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience, worse days give lessons, and best days give memories. The mind will try to convince you that you are incomplete. The truth is, you are whole and complete. Muji
How happy is man in this his power that hath been granted unto him, that he needs not do anything but what God shall approve, and that he may embrace contentedly whatsoever God doth send unto him. People are more selfish than you think they are. When a person thinks deeply and seriously, he has a bad time among the general public. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. John F. Kennedy Knowing when to mind your own business and when to speak up is a life lesson that takes time. But once you know when to react or retract, life flows much more smoothly. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. You are the only person on earth who can use your ability. Zig Ziglar In order to obtain protection from other men, any means for attaining this end is a natural good. He travels the fastest who travels alone. Remember, you train people how to treat you, unconsciously or not. This too shall pass ancient Greek proverb. If the world was blind, how many people would you impress? Time is your most valuable resource. There are no refunds or second chances for the time you waste. Doing what you love is the cornerstone of having abundance in your life. Wayne Dyer Whatsoever doth happen unto thee, thou art naturally by thy natural constitution either able or not able to bear. If thou beest able, be not offended, but bear it according to thy natural constitution, or as nature hath enabled thee. If thou beest not able, be not offended, for it will soon make an end of thee and itself, whatsoever it be, at the same time end with thee. But remember, that whatsoever by the strength of opinion, grounded upon a certain apprehension of both true profit and duty, thou canst conceive tolerable, that thou art able to bear that by thy natural constitution. Learn as if you were not reaching your goal and as though you were scared of missing it. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Do not train a child to learn by force or harshness, but direct them to it by what amuses their minds, so that you may be better able to discover with accuracy the peculiar bent of the genius of each. Plato. Do not allow your mind to be a slave to be jerked about. Never take anything personally. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. Being rich is an obstacle to loving. When you are rich, you want to continue to be rich and so you end up devoting all your time, all your energy, in your daily life, to stay rich. Thich Nhat Hanh And remember that philosophy requireth nothing of thee but what thy nature requireth, and wouldest thou thyself desire anything that is not according to nature? For which of these sayest thou, that which is according to nature or against it, is of itself more kind and pleasing.
Is it not for that respect especially that pleasure itself is to so many men's hurt and overthrow, most prevalent because esteemed commonly most kind and natural? But consider well whether magnanimity rather, and true liberty, and true simplicity, and equanimity, and holiness, whether these be not most kind and natural, and prudency itself, what more kind and amiable than it, when thou shalt truly consider with thyself what it is through all the proper objects of thy rational intellectual faculty currently to go on without any fall or stumble, As for the things of the world, their true nature is in a manner so involved with obscurity that unto many philosophers, and those no mean ones, they seemed altogether incomprehensible, and the Stoics themselves, though they judged them not altogether incomprehensible, yet scarce and not without much difficulty comprehensible, so that all assent of ours is fallible, for who is he that is infallible in his conclusions? from the nature of things, pass now unto their subjects and matter. How temporary, how vile are they, by such as may be in the power and possession of some abominable loose liver, of some common strumpet, of some notorious oppressor and extortioner. Pass from thence to the dispositions of them that thou doest ordinarily converse with, how hardly do we bear even with the most loving and amiable that I may not say how hard it is for us to bear even with our own selves in such obscurity and impurity of things in such and so continual a flux both of the substances and time both of the motions themselves and things moved what it is that we can fasten upon either to honor and respect especially or seriously and studiously to seek after, I cannot so much as conceive, for indeed they are things contrary. Be attentive to your thoughts. They are the beginning of actions. Better 50% now than 100% never. The only journey is the one within. Rainer Maria Rilke He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. The longer we dwell on our misfortunes, the greater is their power to harm us. Most of us would be upset if we were accused of being silly. But the world is in a serious condition largely because of our failure to laugh at the right things. Zig Ziglar All those things for matter of experience are usual and ordinary, for their continuance but for a day, and for their matter most base and filthy, as they were in the days of those whom we have buried, so are they now also and no otherwise. It is not a mistake anymore, it is a decision. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Cicero Do not allow your mind to be a slave to be jerked about. It's not worth killing yourself over a company that'll replace you in two days if you're gone. For things to reveal themselves to us, we need to be ready to abandon our views about them. Tishnat Hun. Wickedness in general doth not hurt the world. Particular wickedness doth not hurt any other. Only unto him it is hurtful, whosoever he be that offends, unto whom in great favor and mercy it is granted, that whensoever he himself shall but first desire it, he may be presently delivered of it. 
unto my free will, my neighbor's free will, whoever he be, as his life or his bode, is altogether indifferent. For though we are all made one for another, yet have our minds and understandings each of them their own proper and limited jurisdiction. For else another man's wickedness might be my evil, which God would not have, that it might not be in another man's power to make me unhappy, which nothing now can do but mine own wickedness. If a man is as wise as a serpent, he can afford to be as harmless as a dove. Nothing prevents happiness like the memory of happiness. You become what you give your attention to. Epictetus No matter how much suffering you went through, you never wanted to let go of those memories. You cannot wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with a club. You must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons, or the wind, but you can change yourself. Jack Canfield These things thou must always have in mind. What is the nature of the universe, and what is mine, in particular? This unto that what relation it hath. What kind of part? of what kind of universe it is, and that there is nobody that can hinder thee, but that thou mayest always both do and speak those things which are agreeable to that nature, whereof thou art a part. Overthinking ruins you. It ruins the situation, twists things around, makes you worry about futile questions, and makes everything much worse than it actually is. There is a healthy amount of distrust to have in everyone. Let silence be your general rule, or say only what is necessary and in few words. Epictetus Live your life so that when you die the world cries and you rejoice. Life is just a race against time, so have a good time. The law of assumption states that assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the way to realize it. Neville Goddard That we ought not to, he angry with men. And what are the small and the great things among men? What is the cause of assenting to anything? The fact that it appears to be true. It is not possible then to assent to that which appears not to be true. Why? Because this is the nature of the understanding. To incline to the true. To be dissatisfied with the false. And in matters uncertain to withhold assent. What is the proof of this? Imagine, if you can, that it is now night. It is not possible. Take away your persuasion that it is day. It is not possible. Persuade yourself or take away your persuasion that the stars are even in number. It is impossible. When, then, any man assents to that which is false, be assured that he did not intend to assent to it as false. For every soul is unwillingly deprived of the truth, as Plato says, but the falsity seemed to him to be true. Well, in Acts... What have we of the like kind as we have here truth or falsehood? We have the fit and the not fit, the profitable and the unprofitable, that which is suitable to a person and that which is not, and whatever is like these. Can then a man think that a thing is useful to him and not choose it? He cannot. How says Medea? Tis true I know what evil I shall do but passion overpowers the better counsel. 
She thought that to indulge her passion and take vengeance on her husband was more profitable than to spare her children. It was so, but she was deceived. Show her plainly that she is deceived and she will not do it. But so long as you do not show it, what can she follow except that which appears to herself? Nothing else. Why then are you angry with the unhappy woman that she has been bewildered about the most important things and has become a viper instead of a human creature? And why not, if it is possible, rather pity, as we pity the blind and the lame, those who are blinded and maimed in the faculties which are supreme? Whoever then clearly remembers this, that to man the measure of every act is the appearance. Whether the thing appears good or bad, if good, he is free from blame. If bad, himself suffers the penalty, for it is impossible that he who is deceived can be one person, and he who suffers another person. Whoever remembers this will not be angry with any man, will not be vexed at any man, will not revile or blame any man, nor hate nor quarrel with any man. So then all these great and dreadful deeds have this origin in the appearance? Yes, this origin and no other. The Iliad is nothing else than appearance and the use of appearances. It appeared to Paris to carry off the wife of Menelaus. It appeared to Helen to follow him. If then it had appeared to Menelaus to feel that it was a gain to be deprived of such a wife, what would have happened? Not only a we would the Iliad have been lost, but the Odyssey also. On so small a matter then did such great things depend. But what do you mean by such great things? Wars and civil commotions, and the destruction of many men and cities. And what great matter is this? Is it nothing? But what great matter is the death of many oxen and many sheep? and many nests of swallows or storks being burnt or destroyed. Are these things then like those? Very like. Bodies of men are destroyed and the bodies of oxen and sheep. The dwellings of men are burnt and the nests of storks. What is there in this great or dreadful? Or show me what is the difference between a man's house and a stork's nest, as far as each is a dwelling? except that man builds his little houses of beams and tiles and bricks, and the stork builds them of sticks and mud. Are a stork and a man, then, like things? What say you? In body they are very much alike. Does a man then differ in no respect from a stork? Don't suppose that I say so, but there is no difference in these matters. In what, then, is the difference? Seek and you will find that there is a difference in another matter. See whether it is not in a man the understanding of what he does. See if it is not in social community, in fidelity, in modesty, in steadfastness, in intelligence. Where then is the great good and evil in men? It is where the difference is. If the difference is preserved and remains fenced round, and neither modesty is destroyed nor fidelity nor intelligence, then the man also is preserved. But if any of these things is destroyed and stormed like a city, then the man too perishes. And in this consist the great things. Paris, you say, sustained great damage then when the Hellenes invaded, and when they ravaged Troy, and when his brothers perished, by no means, for no man is damaged by an action which is not his own. But what happened at that time was only the destruction of Storks' nests. Now the ruin of Paris was when he lost the character of modesty, fidelity, regard to hospitality, and to decency. When was Achilles ruined? Was it when Patroclus died? Not so, but it happened when he began to be angry, when he wept for a girl, when he forgot that he was at Troy not to get mistresses but to fight. These things are the ruin of men. This is being besieged. This is the destruction of cities. When right opinions are destroyed. When they are corrupted. When then, women are carried off. When children are made captives. And when the men are killed. 
are these not evils? How is it then that you add to the facts these opinions? Explain this to me also. I shall not do that. But how is it that you say that these are not evils? Let us come to the rules. Produce the precognitions. For it is because this is neglected that we cannot sufficiently wonder at what men do. When we intend to judge of weights, we do not judge by guess. Where we intend to judge of straight and crooked, we do not judge by guess. In all cases where it is our interest to know what is true in any matter, never will any man among us do anything by guess. But in things which depend on the first and on the only cause of doing right or wrong, of happiness or unhappiness, of being unfortunate or fortunate, there only we are inconsiderate and rash. There is then nothing like scales, nothing like a rule. But some appearance is presented, and straightway I act according to it. Must I then suppose that I am superior to Achilles or Agamemnon, so that they by following appearances do and suffer so many evils? And shall not the appearance be sufficient for me? And what tragedy has any other beginning? The Atreus of Euripides, what is it? An appearance. The Oedipus of Sophocles, what is it? An appearance. The Phoenix, an appearance. The Hippolytus, an appearance. What kind of a man then do you suppose him to be who pays no regard to this matter? And what is the name of those who follow every appearance? They are called madmen. Do we then act at all differently? Hold to your true aspirations, no matter what is going on around you. Check with yourself too before you commit. As it is with a play, so it is with life. What matters is not how long the acting lasts, but how good it is. Seneca Stay strong even when things begin to fall apart. Stay strong. To recognize your insignificance is empowering. When you squeeze an orange, orange juice comes out because that's what's inside. When you are squeezed, what comes out is what is inside. Wayne Dyer In general, justice is the same for all, for it is something found mutually beneficial in men's dealings. But in its application to particular places or other circumstances, the same thing is not necessarily just for everyone. Your self-respect has to be stronger than your feelings. The first step to getting anywhere is deciding you're not willing to stay where you are. Repetitio es mater studiorum. Repetition is the mother of learning. Latin proverb. When you get married, everything good about your relationship and everything bad about your relationship intensifies. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. The only easy day was yesterday. Jocko Willing. Natural justice is a pledge of reciprocal benefit to prevent one man from harming or being harmed by another. Control your thoughts, or your thoughts will control you.
It is not by muscle speed or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character and judgment. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius The ego is not a bad thing. Sometimes we need it in order to achieve our aims and feel vitality. However, the ego is just a tool. We shouldn't let it control us. The more you are interested in others, the more interesting they find you to be. Be interested. To know the self is to know the ultimate freedom, Papaji. As occasion shall require, either to thine own understanding, or to that of the universe, or to his whom thou hast now to do with, let thy refuge be with all speed, to thine own, that it resolve upon nothing against justice, to that of the universe, that thou mayest remember part of whom thou art, of his, that thou mayest consider whether in the estate of ignorance or of knowledge, and then also must thou call to mind that he is thy kinsman. Anyone who loves in the expectation of being loved in return is wasting their time. He that cannot reason is a fool. He that will not is a bigot. He that dare not is a slave. It is essential that we not respond impulsively. Take a moment before reacting, and you will find it easier to maintain control. Epictetus Avoid people who use their pain as an excuse to hurt you. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and its life will not get any shorter. Happiness doesn't diminish when you share it. Our own life has to be our message, Thich Nhat Hanh. Those animals which are incapable of making binding agreements with one another not to inflict nor suffer harm are without either justice or injustice. And likewise for those peoples who either could not or would not form binding agreements not to inflict nor suffer harm. If it keeps you happy, keep it quiet. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. He who conquers his passions is master of his own worlds. Hierocles By remaining true to yourself without seeking to compare and compete, you will achieve universal respect. Never put yourself in the bargain bin, or that's where others will. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. Alan Watts To wipe away fancy, to use deliberation, to quench concupiscence, to keep the mind free to herself. Beware of the man who does not talk, and the dog that does not bark. Beware of those who come to you with tears in their eyes, and a story ready to tell. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. Confucius
Give a man time and he will tell you the truth. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. I've come to believe that all my past failure and frustration were actually laying the foundation for the understandings that have created the new level of living I now enjoy. Tony Robbins Look not about upon other men's minds and understandings, but look right on forwards whither nature, both that of the universe, in those things that happen unto thee, and thine in particular, in those things that are done by thee, doth lead and direct thee. Now everyone is bound to do that, which is consequent and agreeable to that end, which by his true natural constitution he was ordained unto. As for all other things, they are ordained for the use of reasonable creatures, as in all things we see that that which is worse and inferior is made for that which is better. Reasonable creatures, they are ordained one for another, that therefore which is chief in every man's constitution is that he intend the common good. The second is that he yield not to any lusts and motions of the flesh, for it is the part and privilege of the reasonable and intellective faculty that she can so bound herself as that neither the sensitive nor the appetitive faculties may not anyways prevail upon her, for both these are brutish, and therefore over both she challengeth mastery, and cannot anyways endure, if in her right temper, to be subject unto either, and this indeed most justly. For by nature she was ordained to command all in the body, the third thing proper to man by his constitution, is to avoid all rashness and precipitancy, and not to be subject to error. To these things then, let the mind apply herself and go straight on, without any distraction about other things, and she hath her end, and by consequent her happiness. What the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls a butterfly. Friends want you to do good, but not better than them. Quid quid Latin dictum sit, altum viditur. Whatever is said in Latin sounds profound. Latin joke. Better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for something you are not. People inspire you or they drain you. Pick them wisely. Take souls. David Goggins. Certain miscellaneous matters. As bad tragic actors cannot sing alone but in company with many, so some persons cannot walk about alone. Man, if you are anything, both walk alone and talk to yourself, and do not hide yourself in the chorus. Examine a little at last, look around, stir yourself up, that you may know who you are. When a man drinks water, or does anything for the sake of practice, whenever there is an opportunity he tells it to all, I drink water. Is it for this that you drink water? for the purpose of drinking water. Man, if it is good for you to drink, drink. But if not, you are acting ridiculously. But if it is good for you and you do drink, say nothing about it to those who are displeased with water drinkers. What then do you wish to please these very men? Of things that are done, some are done with a final purpose, some according to occasion others with a certain reference to circumstances, others for the purpose of complying with others, and some according to a fixed scheme of life. You must root out of men these two things, arrogance and distrust. Arrogance, then, is the opinion that you want nothing, but distrust is the opinion that you cannot be happy when so many circumstances surround you, 
arrogance is removed by confutation, and Socrates was the first who practiced this, and that the thing is not impossible, inquire and seek. This search will do you no harm, and in a manner this is philosophizing, to seek how it is possible to employ desire and aversion without impediment. I am superior to you, for my father is a man of consular rank. Another says, I have been a tribune, but you have not. If we were horses, would you say, my father was swifter? I have much barley and fodder or elegant neck ornaments. If then, while you were saying this, I said, be it so, let us run then. Well, is there nothing in a man such as running in a horse, by which it will he known which is superior and inferior? Is there not modesty, fidelity, justice? Show yourself superior in these, that you may be superior as a man. If you tell me that you can kick violently, I also will say to you that you are proud of that which is the act of an ass. While we wait for life, life passes. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. There is only one good knowledge and one evil ignorance, Socrates. Your friends want you to do good, but not better than them. Do not correct people if you could just as easily let it slide. Peace is present right here and now in ourselves and in everything we do and see. Every breath we take, every step we take can be filled with peace, joy and serenity. Thich Nhat Hanh. Remember how long thou hast already put off these things, and how often a certain day and hour, as it were, having been set unto thee by the gods, thou hast neglected it. It is high time for thee to understand the true nature both of the world, whereof thou art a part, and of that Lord and Governor of the world, from whom, as a channel from the spring, thou thyself didst flow, and that there is but a certain limit of time appointed unto thee, which if thou shalt not make use of to calm and allay the many distempers of thy soul, it will pass away, and thou with it, and never after return. To find out a girl's faults, praise her to her girlfriends. Whoever wishes to keep a secret must hide the fact that he possesses one. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. Aristotle If they don't have what you want, don't listen to what they say. Begin. It wants to live and count each separate day as a separate life. Life is one big tug of war between mediocrity and trying to find your best self. David Goggins my heart smiled within me. They will accuse even virtue herself with heinous and opprobrious words. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. The two most powerful warriors are patience 
and time. Leo Tolstoy Putting off until tomorrow is your weakness. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own. You don't drown by falling in water, you only drown if you stay there, Zig Ziglar. If my present apprehension of the object be right, and my present action charitable, and this, towards whatsoever doth proceed from God, be my present disposition, to be well pleased with it, it sufficeth. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. People become poor in old age because in their youth they fail to appreciate the power of saving and investing. The best remedy is to seize every chance for financial growth, even later in life by saving and investing wisely. For we are made for cooperation. Marcus Aurelius To become what one is, one must not have the faintest notion of what one is. The snow goose needs not bathe to make itself white. Neither need you do anything but be yourself. The way to make your desires come true is to feel and act as though they already have. Neville Goddard Does someone bathe hastily? Do not say that they do so badly, but hastily. Does someone drink a great deal of wine? Do not say that they do this badly, but that they drink a great deal. For until you understand their motives, how do you know that what they do is bad? Understand this, and you will never receive convincing impressions, but assent to quite different ones. An optimist is a person who sees a green light everywhere, while a pessimist sees only the red stoplight. The truly wise person is colorblind. When you react, you lose power. Every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Buddha Problems cannot be solved with the same level of thinking that created them. Be not afraid of moving slowly. Be only afraid of standing still. The fact is that when you make the other suffer, he will try to find relief by making you suffer more. The result is an escalation of suffering on both sides. Tichnat Han As every fancy and imagination presents itself unto thee, consider, if it be possible, the true nature and the proper qualities of it, and reason with thyself about it. When in doubt, tell the truth. Just because you want them to happen that way, doesn't mean things will happen in a certain way. Since every man dies, it is better to die with distinction than to live long. Musonius Rufus Just trust your instincts. Gut feelings can sometimes save you from big troubles. You need enemies to succeed. You are not your mind, 
Eckhart Tolle. Let not the general representation unto thyself of the wretchedness of this our mortal life trouble thee. Let not thy mind wander up and down and heap together in her thoughts the many troubles and grievous calamities which thou art as subject unto as any other. But as everything in particular doth happen, put this question unto thyself and say, What is it that in this present matter seems unto thee so intolerable? For thou wilt be ashamed to confess it. Then upon this presently call to mind, that neither that which is future nor that which is past can hurt thee, but that only which is present, and that also is much lessened, if thou dost lightly circumscribe it, and then check thy mind if for so little a while, a mere instant, it cannot hold out with patience. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Even the smallest lie can break the biggest trust. I am a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The great point is to bring them the real facts. Abraham Lincoln It's okay. They are only human. What people say when they are angry aren't things they mean. They regret it often. Forgive angry people. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Zig Ziglar Of the free will there is no thief or robber out of Epictetus. Whose is this also, that we should find a certain art and method of assenting? and that we should always observe with great care and heed the inclinations of our minds, that they may always be with their due restraint and reservation, always charitable, and according to the true worth of every present object. And as for earnest longing, that we should altogether avoid it, and to use averseness in those things only, that wholly depend of our own wills. It is not about ordinary petty matters, believe it, that all our strife and contention is, but whether with the vulgar we should be mad, or by the help of philosophy wise and sober, said he. Cantutrin. Socrates said, What will you have? The souls of reasonable or unreasonable creatures? Of reasonable. But what? Of those whose reason is sound and perfect? Or of those whose reason is vitiated and corrupted? of those whose reason is sound and perfect. Why then labor ye not for such? Because we have them already. What then do ye so strive and contend between you? Close some doors today, not because of pride, incapacity, or arrogance, but simply because they lead you nowhere. We learn not in school, but in life. Dream big and dare to fail. Norman Vaughn Hope, in reality, is the worst of all evils because it prolongs the torments of man. Stay patient, the best things happen unexpectedly. In the silence of the heart, love reveals itself. Rumi The man who best knows how to meet external threats makes into one family all the creatures he can, and those he cannot, 
he at any rate does not treat as aliens, and where he finds even this impossible he avoids all dealings, and so far as is advantageous excludes them from his life. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them or learn to bear them. You act like mortals in all that you fear, and like immortals in all that you desire. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge, Confucius. It is unrealistic to expect people to see you as you see yourself. Failure is a bruise, not a tattoo. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Carl Jung Whatsoever doth happen in the ordinary course and consequence of natural events, neither the gods for it is not possible that they either wittingly or unwittingly should do anything amiss, nor men, for it is through ignorance and therefore against their wills that they do anything amiss, must be accused. None then must be accused. If you don't value your time, neither will others. Envy is a waste of time. You already have all you need. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. George Washington From the point of view of youth, life is an endless future. From the point of view of old age, it is a very short past. People of higher morality do not consider themselves moral. Therefore, they have the highest morality. It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Tony Robbins Whatsoever doth happen in the world doth happen justly, and so if thou dost well take heed, thou shalt find it. I say not only in right order by a series of inevitable consequences, but according to justice, and as it were by way of equal distribution, according to the true worth of everything. Continue then to take notice of it, as thou hast begun, and whatsoever thou dost, do it not without this proviso, that it be a thing of that nature that a good man, as the word good is properly taken, may do it. This observe carefully in every action. You are lonely not because no one needs you, but because you care about who is next to you. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. The beginning is the most important part of the work. Republic. This quote highlights Plato's emphasis on laying a strong foundation, whether in learning, building a society, or pursuing any endeavor. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. A person who doesn't make mistakes doesn't make anything at all. The past does not equal the future. Tony Robbins Within a while the earth shall cover us all, and then she herself shall have her change. And then the course will be from one period of eternity unto another, and so a perpetual eternity. Now can any man that shall consider with himself in his mind 
the several rollings or successions of so many changes and alterations, and the swiftness of all these rulings, can he otherwise but contemn in his heart and despise all worldly things? The cause of the universe is, as it were, a strong torrent. It carrieth all away. Learn to say no without explaining yourself. You are here for a reason that you may not know, but be patient. You beat a billion odds by being here. The trouble is you think you have time. Buddha. If you want to see the world change, start with yourself. I guess it comes down to a simple choice really. Get busy living or get busy dying. The more you are grateful for what you have, the more you will have to be grateful for. Zig Ziglar If he have sinned, his is the harm, not mine, but perchance he hath not. Talking without thinking is like shooting without aiming. No matter how busy you may think you are, you must find time for reading or surrender yourself to self-chosen ignorance. You can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Johann von Goethe Act like you have been there before. First it hurts, then it makes you stronger. Successful people are simply those with successful habits. Jack Canfield Either teach them better if it be in thy power, or if it be not, remember that for this use, to bear with them patiently, was mildness and goodness granted unto thee. The gods themselves are good unto such, yea, and in some things, as in matter of health, of wealth, of honor, are content often to further their endeavors. So good and gracious are they, and mightest thou not be so too? Or tell me, what doth hinder thee? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? You want to control someone? All you have to do is make them feel afraid. If God listened to the prayers of men, all men would quickly have perished, for they are forever praying for evil against one another. Epicurus Whoever talks a lot often fails. Someone else's progress doesn't make yours any less. The average person works at 50% or less of their potential. Your job is to unleash that extra 50%. Brian Tracy Sayest thou unto that rational part, thou art dead? Corruption hath taken hold on thee. Doth it then also void excrements? Doth it like either oxen or sheep graze or feed, that it also should be mortal as well as the body? Of all the thieves, idiots are the most harmful. They steal our time and mood from us. No one is going to figure out your life. It's your responsibility. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life.
Confucius. A creation of importance can only be produced when its author isolates himself. It is a child of solitude. A negative mind will never give you a positive life. When you lose touch with inner stillness, you lose touch with yourself. Eckhart Tolle Did you not lately contend with me and say that you are free, but Aprula has hindered me? Tell the truth then, slave, and do not run away from your masters, nor deny nor venture to produce anyone to assert your freedom when you have so many evidences of your slavery. And indeed, when a man is compelled by love to do something contrary to his opinion, and at the same time sees the better but has not the strength to follow it, one might consider him still more worthy of excuse as being held by a certain violent and in a manner a divine power. But who could endure you who are in love with old women and old men and wipe the old women's noses and wash them and give them presents and also wait on them like a slave when they are sick and at the same time wish them dead and question the physicians whether they are sick unto death. And again, when in order to obtain these great and much admired magistracies and honors, you kiss the hands of these slaves of others, and so you are not the slave even of free men, then you walk about before me in stately fashion, praetor or a consul. Do I not know how you became a praetor? By what means you got your consulship? Who gave it to you? I would not even choose to live if I must live by help of Felician and endure his arrogance and servile insolence. For I know what a slave is, who is fortunate, as he thinks, and puffed up by pride. You then, a man may say, are you free? I wish by the gods and pray to be free, but I am not yet able to face my masters. I still value my poor body. I value greatly the preservation of it entire, though I do not possess it entire. But I can point out to you a free man that you may no longer seek an example. Diogenes was free. How was he free? Not because he was born of free parents, but because he was himself free, because he had cast off all the handles of slavery, and it was not possible for any man to approach him nor had any man the means of laying hold of him to enslave him. He had everything easily loosed, everything only hanging to him. If you laid hold of his property, he would rather have let it go and be yours than he would have followed you for it. If you had laid hold of his leg, he would have let go his leg. If of all his body, all his poor body, his intimates, friends, country, just the same, for he knew from whence he had them, and from whom, and on what conditions. His true parents indeed, the gods, and his real country he would never have deserted, nor would he have yielded to any man in obedience to them or to their orders, nor would any man have died for his country more readily, for he was not used to inquire when he should be considered to have done anything on behalf of the whole of things. But he remembered that everything which is done comes from thence and is done on behalf of that country and is commanded by him who administers it. Therefore, see what Diogenes himself says and writes. For this reason, he says, Diogenes, it is in your power to speak both with the king of the Persians and with Archidamus, the king of the Lacedaemonians, as you please. Was it because he was born of free parents? I suppose all the Athenians and all the Lacedaemonians, because they were born of slaves, could not talk with them as they wished, but feared and paid court to them. Why then does he say that it is in his power? Because I do not consider the poor body to be my own, because I want nothing, because law is everything to me and nothing else is. 
these were the things which permitted him to be free, and that you may not think that I show you the example of a man who is a solitary person, who has neither wife nor children, nor country, nor friends, nor kinsmen, by whom he could be bent and drawn in various directions, take Socrates and observe that he had a wife and children, but he did not consider them as his own, that he had a country, so long as it was fit to have one, and in such a manner as was fit, friends and kinsmen also, but he held all in subjection to law and to the obedience due to it. For this reason he was the first to go out as a soldier, when it was necessary, and in war he exposed himself to danger most unsparingly, and when he was sent by the tyrants to seize Leon, he did not even deliberate about the matter, because he thought that it was a base action, and he knew that he must die if it so happened. And what difference did that make to him? For he intended to preserve something else, not his poor flesh, but his fidelity, his honorable character. These are things which could not be assailed nor brought into subjection. Then, when he was obliged to speak in defense of his life, did he behave like a man who had children, who had a wife? No, but he behaved like a man who has neither. And what did he do when he was to drink the poison, and when he had the power of escaping from prison, and when Crito said to him, Escape for the sake of your children? What did Socrates say? Did he consider the power of escape as an unexpected gain? By no means. He considered what was fit and proper. But the rest he did not even look at or take into the reckoning. For he did not choose, he said, to save his poor body, but to save that which is increased and saved by doing what is just and is impaired and destroyed by doing what is unjust. Socrates will not save his life by a base act. He who would not put the Athenians to the vote when they clamored that he should do so. He who refused to obey the tyrants. He who discoursed in such a manner about virtue and right behavior. It is not possible to save such a man's life by base acts, but he is saved by dying, not by running away. For the good actor also preserves his character by stopping when he ought to stop, better than when he goes on acting beyond the proper time. What then shall the children of Socrates do? If, said Socrates, I had gone off to Thessaly, would you have taken care of them? And if I depart to the world below, will there be no man to take care of them? See how he gives to death a gentle name and mocks it. But if you and I had been in his place, we should have immediately answered as philosophers that those who act unjustly must be repaid in the same way. And we should have added, I shall be useful to many if my life is saved, and if I die, I shall be useful to no man. For if it had been necessary, we should have made our escape by slipping through a small hole. And how in that case should we have been useful to any man? For where would they have been then staying? Or if we were useful to men while we were alive, should we not have been much more useful to them by dying when we ought to die, and as we ought? And now, Socrates being dead, no less useful to men, and even more useful, is the remembrance of that which he did or said when he was alive. Think of these things, these opinions, these words. Look to these examples if you would be free, if you desire the thing according to its worth, and what is the wonder if you buy so great a thing at the price of things so many and so great? For the sake of this which is called liberty, some hang themselves, others throw themselves down precipices, and sometimes even whole cities have perished. And will you not for the sake of the true and unassailable and secure liberty give back to God when he demands them the things which he has given? Will you not, as Plato says, study not to die only, but also to endure torture and exile and scourging and, in a word, to give up all which is not your own, 
If you will not, you will be a slave among slaves, even you be ten thousand times a consul. And if you make your way up to the palace, you will no less be a slave. And you will feel that perhaps philosophers utter words which are contrary to common opinion, as Cleanthes also said, but not words contrary to reason. For you will know by experience that the words are true, and that there is no profit from the things which are valued and eagerly sought to those who have obtained them. And to those who have not yet obtained them, there is an imagination that when these things are come, all that is good will come with them. Then, when they are come, the feverish feeling is the same, the tossing to and fro is the same, the satiety, the desire of things which are not present. For freedom is acquired not by the full possession of the things which are desired, but by removing the desire. And that you may know that this is true, as you have labored for those things, so transfer your labor to these. Be vigilant for the purpose of acquiring an opinion which will make you free. Pay court to a philosopher instead of to a rich old man. Be seen about a philosopher's doors. You will not disgrace yourself by being seen. You will not go away empty nor without profit if you go to the philosopher as you ought. And if not, try at least. The trial is not disgraceful. Life is like a book. Some chapters are sad, some are happy, but all are necessary for the full story. You will never understand the damage you did to someone until the same thing is done to you. Don't allow yourself to be heard any longer griping about public life not even with your own ears. Marcus Aurelius Most of the time you have to swallow the pain and learn to grow up by yourself. If a man's character is good, his manners will be agreeable. Your biggest opportunity probably lies under your own feet, in your current job, industry, education, experience, or interests. Brian Tracy When you do something from a clear judgment that it ought to be done, never try to avoid being seen doing it, even if you expect most people to disapprove. If, however, it would not be right to do it, avoid the deed itself. But if it is right, why be afraid of anyone who wrongly disapproves? Everything should be different inwardly, but our outward face should conform with the crowd. He who is wise is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. Do not regret what you have done. Accept everything just the way it is. Miyamoto Musashi Remember when you wanted what you currently have. The calmer you are, the clearer you think. The only true peace is the peace that comes from within. Papa G. Miscellaneous. When some person asked him how it happened that since reason has been more cultivated by the men of the present age, the progress made in former times was greater. In what respect, he answered, has it been more cultivated now? And in what respect was the progress greater then? For in that in which it has now been more cultivated, in that also the progress will now be found. At present it has been cultivated for the purpose of resolving syllogisms, 
and progress is made. But in former times it was cultivated for the purpose of maintaining the governing faculty in a condition conformable to nature, and progress was made. Do not, then, mix things which are different, and do not expect, when you are laboring at one thing, to make progress in another. But see if any man among us, when he is intent, see I upon this, the keeping himself in a state conformable to nature and living so always, does not make progress. For you will not find such a man. The good man is invincible, for he does not enter the contest where he is not stronger. If you want to have his land and all that is on it, take the land, take his slaves, take his magisterial office, take his poor body. But you will not make his desire fail in that which it seeks, nor his aversion fall into that which he would avoid. The only contest into which he enters is that about things which are within the power of his will. How then will he not be invincible? Some person having asked him what is common sense, Epictetus replied, As that may be called a certain common hearing which only distinguishes vocal sounds, and that which distinguishes musical sounds is not common, but artificial. So there are certain things which men who are not altogether perverted see by the common notions which all possess. Such a constitution of the mind is named common sense. It is not easy to exhort weak young men, for neither is it easy to hold cheese with a hook. But those who have a good natural disposition, even if you try to turn them aside, cling still more to reason. Wherefore Rufus generally attempted to discourage, and he used this method as a test of those who had a good natural disposition, and those who had not. For, it was his habit to say, as a stone, if you cast it upward, will be brought down to the earth by its own nature. So the man whose mind is naturally good, the more you repel him, the more he turns toward that to which he is naturally inclined, Failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. It is a wretched state to be pleased with one's limits. If a friend feels upset by you, be the first to try to put things right. Marcus Aurelius Respect yourself because people can see if you don't. Do not look for approval except for the consciousness of doing your best. When you become aware of silence, immediately there is a stillness and a presence which are not separate from you, but are the essence of who you are. Eckhart Tolle To find out and set to thyself some certain way and method of contemplation, whereby thou mayest clearly discern and represent unto thyself the mutual change of all things, the one into the other. Bear it in thy mind evermore, and see that thou be truly well exercised in this particular for there is not anything more effectual to beget true magnanimity. Only you have the power to determine whether your future mimics your past. Life will only come around once, so do whatever makes you happy. Seek not the good in external things, Seek it in yourselves. Epictetus Learn to be content in being happy by yourself. If you need company to be happy, then it will make you weak. Do not chase women. Instead, focus on your growth, values, and cultivating kindness. 
the right person will find their way to you at the perfect moment without the need for chasing. In the midst of movement and chaos, keep stillness inside of you. Deepak Chopra That which most men would think themselves most happy for, and would prefer before all things, if the gods would grant it unto them after their deaths, thou mayest, whilst thou livest, grant unto thyself to live again. See the things of the world again, as thou hast already seen them. For what is it else to live again? Public shows and solemnities with much pomp and vanity, stage plays, flocks and herds, conflicts and contentions, a bone thrown to a company of hungry curs, a bait for greedy fishes, the painfulness and continual burden-bearing of wretched ants, the running to and fro of terrified mice, little puppets drawn up and down with wires and nerves. These be the objects of the world, among all these thou must stand steadfast, meekly affected, and free from all manner of indignation. With this right ratiocination and apprehension, that as the worth is of those things which a man doth affect, so is in very deed every man's worth more or less. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. It's okay. They are only human. What people say when they are angry aren't things they mean. They regret it often. Forgive angry people. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he is not. Seneca Marrying is not at all difficult. It is difficult to be married. No one cares except you. Do what lifts you up in your eyes. What people say does not matter. You have to have the courage to go after your dreams because no one is going to do it for you. David Goggins He that sinneth, sinneth unto himself. He that is unjust hurts himself in that he makes himself worse than he was before. Not he only that committeth, but he also that omitteth something, is oftentimes unjust. Our wounds are often the openings into the best and most beautiful part of us. Reputation is what other people know about you. Honor is what you know about yourself. The best revenge is massive success. Marcus Aurelius. This quote reflects the Stoic belief in focusing on personal growth and achievement rather than dwelling on negative emotions like anger or resentment. Never let others know your weaknesses. Instead, always try to show up your positives. Happiness is wanting what you get. Excuses are the nails used to build a house of failure. Jim Rohn When thou art offended with any man's transgression, presently reflect upon thyself, and consider what thou thyself art guilty of in the same kind as that thou also perchance dost think it a happiness either to be rich or to live in pleasure or to be praised and commended and so of the rest in particular for this if thou shalt call to mind thou shalt soon forget thine anger especially when at the same time this also shall concur in thy thoughts that he was constrained by his error and ignorance so to do for how can he choose as long as he is of that opinion 
Do thou therefore, if thou canst, take away that from him that forceth him to do as he doth. We know accurately only when we know little. With knowledge, doubt increases. Don't let yourself be controlled by three things. People, money, or past experience. External things are not the problem. It's your assessment of them, which you can erase right now. Marcus Aurelius When you laugh, people laugh with you. And when you cry, you cry alone. Win in your mind, and you will win in your reality. You see, in life, lots of people know what to do, but few people actually do what they know. Knowing is not enough. You must take action. Tony Robbins Of things that are external, happen what will to that which can suffer by external accidents. Those things that suffer, let them complain themselves, if they will. As for me, as long as I conceive no such thing, that that which has happened is evil, I have no hurt, and it is in my power not to conceive any such thing. The more you are interested in others, the more interesting they find you to be. Be interested. Believe you can and you're halfway there. A bad feeling is a commotion of the mind, repugnant to reason and against nature. Zeno. If you want to make a permanent decision, based on temporary emotions, first it hurts, then it makes you stronger. Overtrusting, betrayal, masturbation, loss of energy, stress, hair loss, overthinking, depression, saying no to important things, revenge, ruining your own life, observing, increase in wisdom, Forgiving, healing, letting go, peace of mind. The sense of I am is the root of all experience. It is the essence of being. Nisargadatta Maharaj He that is unjust is also impious. For the nature of the universe, having made all reasonable creatures one for another, to the end that they should do one another good, more or less according to the several persons and occasions but in no wise hurt one another, it is manifest that he that doth transgress against this her will is guilty of impiety towards the most ancient and venerable of all the deities. For the nature of the universe is the nature the common parent of all and therefore piously to be observed of all things that are, and that which now is, to whatsoever first was, and gave it its being, hath relation of blood and kindred. She is also called truth, and is the first cause of all truths. He therefore that willingly and wittingly doth lie, is impious in that he doth receive, and so commit injustice, but he that against his will, in that he disagreeth from the nature of the universe, and in that striving with the nature of the world, he doth in his particular violate the general order of the world. For he doth no better than strive and war against it, who contrary to his own nature applieth himself to that which is contrary to truth. For nature had before furnished him with instincts and opportunities sufficient for the attainment of it, which he having hitherto neglected, is not now able to discern that which is false from that which is true. He also that pursues after pleasures, as that which is truly good and flies from pains, as that which is truly evil, is impious. 
for such a one must of necessity oftentimes accuse that common nature as distributing many things both unto the evil and unto the good, not according to the deserts of either, as unto the bad oftentimes pleasures and the causes of pleasures, so unto the good, pains, and the occasions of pains. Again, he that feareth pains and crosses in this world, feareth some of those things which some time or other must needs happen in the world, and that we have already showed to be impious. And he that pursueth after pleasures will not spare, to compass his desires, to do that which is unjust, and that is manifestly impious. Now those things which unto nature are equally indifferent, for she had not created both, both pain and pleasure, if both had not been unto her equally indifferent. They that will live according to nature must in those things, as being of the same mind and disposition that she is, be as equally indifferent. Whosoever therefore in either matter of pleasure and pain, death and life, honor and dishonor, which things nature in the administration of the world indifferently doth make use of, is not as indifferent. It is apparent that he is impious. When I say that common nature doth indifferently make use of them, my meaning is that they happen indifferently in the ordinary course of things, which by a necessary consequence, whether as principal or accessory, come to pass in the world, according to that first and ancient deliberation of providence, by which she from some certain beginning did resolve upon the creation of such a world, conceiving then in her womb as it were some certain rational generative seeds and faculties of things future, whether subjects, changes, successions, both such and such and just so many. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Do not seek pleasure for its own sake. Be detached from desire your whole life long. Miyamoto Musashi It is not a lack of time, it is a lack of priority. Rule your mind or it will rule you. Time is an illusion, Alan Watts. Injustice is not an evil in itself but only in consequence of the fear which is associated with the apprehension of being discovered by those appointed to punish such actions. If someone says something and then says, I am joking, he or she is always serious about that said thing. True words are not pleasant. Pleasant words are not true. Happiness depends upon ourselves. Aristotle Life is a boxing game. Defeat is not declared when you fall down. It is declared when you refuse to get up. Do not be emotionally attached to anyone. People change. Even your best friends may probably turn into strangers one day. The higher we soar, the smaller we appear to those who cannot fly. Friedrich Nietzsche, thus spoke Zarathustra. How Socrates looked when he was fain to gird himself with a skin, Xanthippa his wife having taken away his clothes and carried them abroad with her, and what he said to his fellows and friends who were ashamed, and out of respect to him did retire themselves when they saw him thus decked. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead.
Fatigue is the best pillow. The root of suffering is attachment. Buddha. If you want to be trusted, be honest. Be yourself. People don't have to like you and you don't have to care. Don't just learn experience. Don't just read, absorb. Don't just change, transform. Don't just relate, advocate. Don't just promise, prove. Jack Canfield. Introduction. Everyone can benefit from the true meaning and philosophical teachings of Stoicism. Having the ability to choose how you react and respond can alleviate anxious and depressive symptoms. The Stoic way of thinking allows you to thoughtfully process and accept situations while giving you the power to choose how you react, handle, and cope. Stoicism allows you to control what you can and let go of what you cannot. It helps you to choose your attitude, to live in the moment, and make sense of your circumstances. Living a more stoic life will give you the opportunity to live a mentally healthier, more balanced, and overall happier life. The carefully curated quotations compiled here are wonderful tenets to live by and help illustrate specific lessons to improve yourself. We, the authors, have embarked on this exploration of Stoic philosophy in our writings and in our daily professions, where we assist individuals on their journeys of personal growth and recovery. We understand that this odyssey of continued self-education and improvement begins with you. All of us understand that Stoicism is one of the many tools you can use to help quell the suffering to have a better understanding of yourself and improve your approach to living. Better to be alone than in bad company. Most of the time you have to swallow the pain and learn to grow up by yourself. If it's endurable, then endure it. Stop complaining. Marcus Aurelius Self-pity is dangerous. Stay away from it. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? If you suffer and make your loved ones suffer, there is nothing that can justify your desire. Tishnat Han. Not as though thou hadst thousands of years to live. Death hangs over thee, whilst yet thou livest, whilst thou mayest be good. If a man could have half of his wishes, he would double his troubles. Be proud of how hard you are trying. Efficiency is doing things right. Effectiveness is doing the right things. Peter Drucker How much money does it take to make a man happy? Just one more dollar. You cannot convince people to love you. Change the way you look at things, and the things you look at change. Wayne Dyer Thou must be like a promontory of the sea, against which, though the waves beat continually, yet it both itself stands, and about it are those swelling waves stilled and quieted. 
Respect yourself and others will respect you. Allow yourself to be a beginner. No one starts off being excellent. Loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. Marcus Aurelius A man only begins to be valued when he is no longer there. Don't allow your mind to tell your heart what to do. The mind gives up easily. The best leaders are those who lead by example. Jocko Willink Remember that on the one hand desires command you to obtain what you long for, and on the other, aversions command you to avoid what you dislike. Those who fail to gain what they desire are unfortunate, whilst those who fall into what they seek to avoid are miserable. So if you seek to avoid only those things contrary to nature, amongst the things that are in your power, you will accordingly fall into nothing to which you are averse. But if you seek to avoid sickness, or death, or poverty, you will be miserable. 2. Therefore remove altogether your aversion for anything that is not in our power, and transfer it to those things contrary to nature that are in our power. For the time being, completely restrain your desires. For if you desire any of those things, not in our power, you are bound to suffer misfortune. For of those things in our power, which it would be proper to desire, none is yet within your grasp. Use only choice and refusal, but use even these lightly, with reservation, and without straining. Never expect too high. The more you expect, when it doesn't meet your expectation, the more it's going to hurt you. Free yourself from society's advice. Most of them have no idea of what they're doing. Glory follows virtue as if it were its shadow. Cicero Loneliness isn't the absence of people, it's the absence of connection. Seek meaningful interactions, not just company. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality. Let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. Think of tomorrow. The past can't be mended. Detachment is the key to making good decisions. Jocko Willink Through the substance of the universe, as through a torrent pass all particular bodies, being all of the same nature, and all joint workers with the universe itself, as in one of our bodies, so many members among themselves. How many such as Chrysippus, how many such as Socrates, how many such as Epictetus, hath the age of the world long since swallowed up and devoured? Let this, be it either men or businesses, that thou hast occasion to think of, to the end that thy thoughts be not distracted and thy mind too earnestly set upon anything, upon every such occasion presently come to thy mind. Of all my thoughts and cares, one only thing shall be the object, that I myself do nothing which to the proper constitution of man, either in regard of the thing itself, or in regard of the manner, or of the time of doing, is contrary. The time when thou shalt have forgotten all things is at hand, and that time also is at hand, when thou thyself shalt be forgotten by all. Whilst thou art, apply thyself to that especially which unto man as he is a mart, is most proper and agreeable, and that is, 
for a man even to love them that transgress against him. This shall be, if at the same time that any such thing doth happen, thou call to mind that they are thy kinsmen, that it is through ignorance and against their wills that they sin, and that within a very short while after, both thou and he shall be no more. But above all things, that he hath not done thee any hurt, for that by him thy mind and understanding is not made worse or more vile than it was before. Push yourself to be your best. No one else is going to do it for you. Never sell out and trust your instincts. Also, most importantly, never take loved ones for granted. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Confucius. Do your best and trust the process. The harder you work, the luckier you will get. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. The more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. Self-knowledge has no end. Eckhart Tolle Try also how a good man's life, of one who is well pleased with those things whatsoever, which among the common changes and chances of this world fall to his own lot and share, and can live well contented and fully satisfied in the justice of his own proper present action and in the goodness of his disposition for the future, will agree with thee. Thou hast had experience of that other kind of life. Make now trial of this also. Trouble not thyself any more henceforth. Reduce thyself unto perfect simplicity. Doth any man offend? It is against himself that he doth offend. Why should it trouble thee? Hath anything happened unto thee? It is well, whatsoever it be. It is that which of all the common chances of the world from the very beginning in the series of all other things that have or shall happen was destinated and appointed unto thee. To comprehend all in a few words, our life is short. We must endeavor to gain the present time with best discretion and justice. Use recreation with sobriety. Haters are confused admirers who can't understand why everybody else likes you. Your heart will tell you where to go. Your head will guide you there safely. Use one without the other and you will get lost. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. Marcus Aurelius When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Saying no is important. Waking up this morning, I smile. Twenty. Four brand new hours are before me. I vow to live fully in each moment and to look at all beings with eyes of compassion. Tish Nat Han. Let thy course ever be the most compendious way. The most compendious is that which is according to nature that is in all both words and deeds, ever to follow that which is most sound and perfect. For such a resolution will free a man from all trouble, strife, dissembling, and ostentation. You may delay, but time will not. One finds limits by pushing them. Time is the wisest of all things that are.
for it brings everything to light. Thales Fear is just excitement in need of an attitude adjustment. What God doesn't give to you, you have to go and get for yourself. Excellence, perfection, is not a destination. It is a continuous journey that never ends. Brian Tracy Those things which without ceasing I have declared unto you, do them and exercise yourself in them, holding them to be the elements of right life. First believe that God is a living being immortal and happy, according to the notion of a God indicated by the common sense of mankind. And so believing you shall not affirm of him anything that is foreign to his immortality or that is repugnant to his happiness. Believe about him whatever may uphold both his happiness and his immortality. For there are gods, and the knowledge of them is manifest. But they are not such as the multitude believe, seeing that men do not steadfastly maintain the notions they form respecting them. Not the man who denies the gods worshipped by the multitude, but he who affirms of the gods what the multitude believes about them is truly impious. For the utterances of the multitude about the gods are not true preconceptions but false assumptions. Hence it is that the greatest evils happen to the wicked, and the greatest blessings happen to the good from the hand of the gods, seeing that they are always favorable to their own good qualities and take pleasure in men like themselves, but reject as alien whatever is not of their kind. Do not cling to any one person, not even your most beloved. Every person is a prison and also a hiding place. Because a thing seems difficult for you, do not think it impossible for anyone to accomplish. The reading of all good books is like a conversation with the finest minds of past centuries. Rene Descartes Luck is the dividend of sweat. The more you sweat, the luckier you get. If someone is trying to bring you down, it only means you are above them. Our most important task is to transform our consciousness so that violence is no longer an option for us in our personal lives. Deepak Chopra With respect to any of those things you find attractive or useful or have a fondness for, recall to mind what kind of thing it is, beginning with the most trifling. So if you are fond of an earthen pot, say, I am fond of an earthen pot. Then you will not be upset if it gets broken. When you kiss your child or wife, say that you are kissing a human being. Then, should they die, you will not be distressed. You attract what you are. You want to attract better, become better. Practice self-compassion. We are all human and everyone makes mistakes. It is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Harry S. Truman You have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days of your life. People don't think about you as much as you imagine they do.
When we transform ourselves, the world changes because the world is a projection of ourselves. Deepak Chopra The true joy of a man is to do that which properly belongs unto a man. That which is most proper unto a man is, first, to be kindly affected towards them that are of the same kind and nature as he is himself, to contemn all sensual motions and appetites, to discern rightly all plausible fancies and imaginations, to contemplate the nature of the universe, both it and things that are done in it, in which kind of contemplation three several relations are to be observed, the first to the apparent secondary cause, the second to the first original cause, God, from whom originally proceeds whatsoever doth happen in the world, the third and last, to them that we live and converse with, what use may be made of it to their use and benefit. People will say almost anything when they're happy. Be wise and careful of this one. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. Cicero If you wouldn't take advice from them, why would you take criticism? Nothing is by its own nature calamitous. Even death is terrible only if we fear it. Success is the result of good habits compounded over time. Alex Hormozzi It is not circumstances themselves that trouble people, but their judgments about those circumstances. For example, Death is nothing terrible, for if it were, it would have appeared so to Socrates. But having the opinion that death is terrible, this is what is terrible. Therefore, whenever we are hindered or troubled or distressed, let us never blame others, but ourselves, that is, our own opinions. The uneducated person blames others for their failures. Those who have just begun to be instructed blame themselves. Those whose learning is complete blame neither others nor themselves. Be at war with your vices, at peace with your neighbors, and let every new year find you a better man. Life can only be understood backward, but it must be lived forwards. Enjoy present pleasures in such a way as not to injure future ones. Seneca Never put off until tomorrow what you are willing to die having left undone. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. At any given moment, you have the power to say, this is not how the story is going to end. Deepak Chopra Against the quarrelsome and ferocious, the wise and good man neither himself fights with any person, nor does he allow another, so far as he can prevent it. And an example of this, as well as of all other things, is proposed to us in the life of Socrates, who not only himself on all occasions avoided fights, but would not allow even others to quarrel. See in Xenophon's symposium how many quarrels he settled, how further he endured Thrasymachus and Polus and Callicles, how he tolerated his wife, and how he tolerated his son, who attempted to confute him, aid to cavil with him. For he remembered well that no man has in his power another man's ruling principle. 
He wished therefore nothing else than that which was his own. And what is this? Not that this or that man may act according to nature, for that is a thing which belongs to another, but that while others are doing their own acts, as they choose, he may nevertheless be in a condition conformable to nature and live in it, only doing what is his own to the end that others also may be in a state conformable to nature. For this is the object always set before him by the wise and good man. Is it to be commander of an army? No. But if it is permitted him, his object is in this matter to maintain his own ruling principle. Is it to marry? No. But if marriage is allowed to him, in this matter his object is to maintain himself in a condition conformable to nature. But if he would have his son not to do wrong, or his wife, he would have what belongs to another not to belong to another. And to he instructed is this, to learn what things are a man's own and what belongs to another. How then is there left any place for fighting to a man who has this opinion? Is he surprised at anything which happens, and does it appear new to him? Does he not expect that which comes from the bad to be worse and more grievous than what actually befalls him? And does he not reckon as pure gain whatever they may do which falls short of extreme wickedness? Such a person has reviled you. Great thanks to him for not having struck you. But he has struck me also. Great thanks that he did not wound you. But he wounded me also. Great thanks that he did not kill you. For when did he learn, or in what school that man is a tame animal, that men love one another, that an act of injustice is a great harm to him who does it? Since then he has not to him who does it. Since then he has not learned this and is not convinced of it. Why shall he not follow that which seems to be for his own? Your neighbor has thrown stones. Have you then done anything wrong? But the things in the house have been broken. Are you then a utensil? No, but a free power of will. What then is given to you in answer to this? If you are like a wolf, you must bite in return and throw more stones. But if you consider what is proper for a man, examine your storehouse. See with what faculties you came into the world. Have you the disposition of a wild beast? Have you the disposition of revenge for an injury? When is a horse wretched? When he is deprived of his natural faculties. Not when he cannot crow like a cock, but when he cannot run. When is a dog wretched? Not when he cannot fly, but when he cannot track his game. Is then a man also unhappy in this way, not because he cannot strangle lions or embrace statues, for he did not come into the world in the possession of certain powers from nature for this purpose, but because he has lost his probity and his fidelity. People ought to meet and lament such a man for the misfortunes into which he has fallen, not indeed to lament because a man has been born or has died, but because it has happened to him in his lifetime to have lost the things which are his own, not that which he received from his father, not his land and house and his inn and his slaves. For not one of these things is a man's own, but all belong to others, are servile and subject to account, at different times given to different persons by those who have them in their power. But I mean the things which belong to him as a man, the marks in his mind with which he came into the world, such as we seek also on coins, and if we find them we approve of the coins, and if we do not find the marks, we reject them. What is the stamp on this Cistercius? The stamp of Trajan. Presented. It is the stamp of Nero. Throw it away. It cannot be accepted. It is counterfeit. So also in this case. What is the stamp of his opinions? It is gentleness, a sociable disposition, a tolerant temper, a disposition to mutual affection produce these qualities. I accept them. I consider this man a citizen. 
I accept him as a neighbor, a companion in my voyages. Only see that he has not Nero's stamp. Is he passionate? Is he full of resentment? Is he fault-finding? If the whim seizes him, does he break the heads of those who come in his way? Why then did you say that he is a man? Is everything judged by the bare form? If that is so, say that the form in wax is all apple and has the smell and the taste of an apple. But the external figure is not enough. Neither then is the nose enough and the eyes to make the man. But he must have the opinions of a man. Here is a man who does not listen to reason, who does not know when he is refuted. He is an ass. In another man the sense of shame has become dead. He is good for nothing. He is anything rather than a man. This man seeks whom he may meet and kick or bite, so that he is not even a sheep or an ass, but a kind of wild beast. What then would you have me to be despised? By whom? By those who know you? And how and how shall those who know you despise a man who is gentle and modest? Perhaps you mean by those who do not know you? What is that to you? For no other artisan cares for the opinion of those who know not his art. But they will be more hostile to me for this reason. Why do you say me? Can any man injure your will? Or prevent you from using in a natural way the appearances which are presented to you? In no way can he. Why then are still disturbed? And why do you choose to show yourself afraid? And why do you not come forth and proclaim that you are at peace with all men, whatever they may do, and laugh at those chiefly who think that they can harm you? These slaves, you can say, know not either who I am nor where lies my good or my evil, because they have no access to the things which are mine. In this way also those who occupy a strong city mock the besiegers, what trouble these men are now taking for nothing. Our wall is secure. We have food for a very long time and all other resources. These are the things which make a city strong and impregnable, but nothing else than his opinions makes a man's soul impregnable. For what wall is so strong or what body is so hard or what possession is so safe or what honor so free from assault? All things everywhere are perishable, easily taken by assault, and, if any man in any way is attached to them, he must be disturbed. Expect what is bad. He must fear, lament, find his desires disappointed, and fall into things which he would avoid. Then do we not choose to make secure the only means of safety which are offered to us? And do we not choose to withdraw ourselves from that which is perishable and servile? and to labor at the things which are imperishable and by nature free? And do we not remember that no man either hurts another or does good to another, but that a man's opinion about each thing is that which hurts him, is that which overturns him? This is fighting. This is civil discord. This is war. That which made Eteocles and Polynices enemies was nothing else than this opinion which they had about royal power their opinion about exile, that the one is the extreme of evils, the other the greatest good. Now this is the nature of every man to seek the good, to avoid the bad. You are confined only by the walls you build yourself. If a man knows not which port he sails, no wind is favorable. When you perform your duty without attachment to the results, you are practicing true yoga. Bhagavad Gita Life has a way of working out, even when it seems impossible. The more you face challenges, the less you fear them. The meeting of preparation with opportunity generates the offspring we call luck. Tony Robbins
will either passengers or patients find fault and complain, either the one if they be well carried, or the others if well cured. Do they take care for any more than this? The one, that their shipmaster may bring them safe to land, and the other, that their physician may effect their recovery? Learn from what people do, not from what they tell you. Remember, you beat a billion odds by being here. Be grateful for the little things in life that others take for granted. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Confucius People often confuse stress with responsibility. Create and stick to a personal budget. Dance when you're broken open. Dance if you've torn the bandage off. Rumi. Then hath a man attained to the estate of perfection in his life and conversation, when he so spends every day, as if it were his last day, never hot and vehement in his affections, nor yet so cold and stupid as one that had no sense, and free from all manner of dissimulation. Don't allow your mind to tell your heart what to do. The mind gives up easily. Be yourself. People don't have to like you, and you don't have to care. Love is a serious mental disease. Plato, Phaedrus. Make improvements, not excuses. It is better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for something you are not. You are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. Jay Shetty Against those who hastily rush into the use of the philosophic dress, never praise nor blame a man because of the things which are common, and do not ascribe to him any skill or want of skill, and thus you will be free from rashness and from malevolence. This man bathes very quickly. Does he then do wrong? Certainly not. But what does he do? He bathes very quickly. Are all things then done well? By no means. But the acts which proceed from right opinions are done well. And those which proceed from bad opinions are done ill. But do you, until you know the opinion from which a man does each thing, neither praise nor blame the act? but the opinion is not easily discovered from the external things. This man is a carpenter. Why? Because he uses an axe. What then is this to the matter? This man is a musician because he sings. And what does that signify? This man is a philosopher because he wears a cloak and long hair. And what does a juggler wear? For this reason, if a man sees any philosopher acting indecently, immediately he says, See what the philosopher is doing. But he ought, because of the man's indecent behavior, rather to say that he is not a philosopher. For if this is the preconceived notion of a philosopher, and what he professes to wear a cloak and long hair, men would say well. But if what he professes is this rather, to keep himself free from faults, why do we not rather, because he does not make good his professions, take from him the name of philosopher? For so we do in the case of all other arts. When a man sees another handling an axe badly, he does not say, What is the use of the carpenter's art? See how badly carpenters do their work. But he says just the contrary, 
This man is not a carpenter, for he uses an axe badly. In the same way, if a man hears another singing badly, he does not say, See how musicians sing, but rather, This man is not a musician. But it is in the matter of philosophy only that people do this. When they see a man acting contrary to the profession of a philosopher, they do not take away his title, but they assume him to be a philosopher, and from his acts deriving the fact that he is behaving indecently, they conclude that there is no use in philosophy. What then is the reason of this? Because we attach value to the notion of a carpenter, and to that of a musician, and to the notion of other artisans in like manner, but not to that of a philosopher, and we judge from externals only that it is a thing confused and ill-defined. And what other kind of art has a name from the dress and the hair, and has not theorems and a material and an end? What then is the material of the philosopher? Is it a cloak? No, but reason. What is his end? Is it to wear a cloak? No, but to possess the reason in a right state. Of what kind are his theorems? Are they those about the way in which the beard becomes great, or the hair long? No, but rather what Zeno says, to know the elements of reason, what kind of a thing each of them is, and how they are fitted to one another, and what things are consequent upon them. Will you not then see first if he does what he professes when he acts in an unbecoming manner, and then blame his study? But now, when you yourself are acting in a sober way, you say in consequence of what he seems to you to be doing wrong, look at the philosopher, as if it were proper to call by the name of philosopher one who does these things. And further, this is the conduct of a philosopher. But you do not say, look at the carpenter, when you know that a carpenter is an adulterer, or you see him to be a glutton. Nor do you say, see the musician. Thus, to a certain degree, even you perceive the profession of a philosopher, but you fall away from the notion, and you are confused through want of care. But even the philosophers themselves, as they are called, pursue the thing by beginning with things which are common to them and others. As soon as they have assumed a cloak and grown a beard, they say, I am a philosopher. But no man will say, I am a musician, if he has bought a plectrum and a lute, nor will he say, I am a smith, if he has put on a cap and apron. But the dress is fitted to the art, and they take their name from the art and not from the dress. For this reason Euphrates used to say, well, a long time I strove to be a philosopher without people knowing it, and this, he said, was useful to me. For first I knew that when I did anything well, I did not do it for the sake of the spectators, but for the sake of myself. I ate well for the sake of myself. I had my countenance well composed and my walk, all for myself and for God. Life isn't fair, but it's still good. If he sends reinforcements everywhere, it will be weak everywhere. No man is free who is not master of himself. Epictetus Embrace stress as the opposite of apathy. You don't need to be right all the time. You learn nothing from life if you think you're right all the time. For things to reveal themselves to us, we need to be ready to abandon our views about them. Tishnat Han. Not to be slack and negligent, or loose and wanton in thy actions, nor contentious and troublesome in thy conversation nor to rove and wander in thy fancies and imaginations, not basely to contract thy soul, nor boisterously to sally out with it, or furiously to launch out as it were, nor ever to want employment. 
A man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. Manage your mood because if it does not obey, then it commands. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home, Confucius. Carry the spirit of the child into old age, which means never losing your enthusiasm. No man was ever wise by chance. Every time you judge someone else, you reveal an unhealed part of yourself. Jay Shetty That which the nature of the universe doth busy herself about is, that which is here, to transfer it thither, to change it, and thence again to take it away, and to carry it to another place, so that thou needest not fear any new thing. For all things are usual and ordinary, and all things are disposed by equality. Great men are meteors designed to burn so that earth may be lighted. Keep your secrets to yourself. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. William James Do not cling to a mistake just because you spent a lot of time making it. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. To know yourself is to know the source of all existence. Papa G. Certain miscellaneous matters. There are certain penalties fixed as by law for those who disobey the divine administration. Whoever thinks any other thing to be good except those things which depend on the will, let him envy, let him desire, let him flatter, let him be perturbed. Whoever considers anything else to be evil, let him grieve, let him lament, let him weep, let him be unhappy. And yet, though so severely punished, we cannot desist. Remember what the poet says about the stranger. Stranger, I must not e'en if a worse man come. This then may be applied even to a father. I must not, even if a worse man than you should come, treat a father unworthily, for all are from paternal Zeus. And of a brother, for all are from the Zeus who presides over kindred. And so in the other relations of life we shall find Zeus to be an inspector. Adversity is like a strong wind. It tears away from us all but the things that cannot be torn, so that we see ourselves as we really are. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. The soul is the same in all living beings. It is not different from one another. Bhagavad Gita Choose your friends wisely Concentrate the mind on the present moment Do not dwell in the past Do not dream of the future Focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't. Alex Hormozzi The form of the Athenians' prayer did run thus. O rain, rain, good Jupiter, upon all the grounds and fields that belong to the Athenians. 
Either we should not pray at all, or thus absolutely and freely, and not everyone for himself in particular alone. Obstacles aren't roadblocks, they're road signs. While we are postponing, life speeds by. If you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrow. Chinese proverb. The heaviest burden we carry is the weight of our expectations. Boastful speeches are the first sign of weakness, and those who are capable of great things keep their mouths shut. Your imagination is the only reality, Neville Goddard. The things themselves that affect us, they stand without doors, neither knowing anything themselves, nor able to utter anything unto others concerning themselves. What then is it that passeth verdict on them? The understanding. Nothing that life has to offer is worth the price of worry. Our anxiety does not come from thinking about the future, but from wanting to control it. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Abraham Lincoln Better days are coming. You won't always wake up in the morning with a heavy heart. Do not set yourself on fire to keep others warm. You have to do the work. You have to hold the line. You have to make it happen. Jocko Willink Wipe off all idle fancies, and say unto thyself incessantly, Now if I will, it is in my power to keep out of this my soul all wickedness, all lust and concupiscences, all trouble and confusion. But on the contrary to behold, and consider all things according to their true nature, and to carry myself towards everything according to its true worth. Remember then, this thy power that nature hath given thee, People willingly believe what they want to believe. It doesn't matter if you're right. The greatness comes not when things go always good for you, but the greatness comes when you are really tested, when you take some knocks, some disappointments, when sadness comes. Because only if you've been in the deepest valley can you ever know how magnificent it is to be on the highest mountain. Richard Nixon Never expect and never put too much trust in anyone. People inspire you or they drain you. Pick them wisely. Everything you need is within you, Muji. Either thou dost continue in this kind of life, and that is it, which so long thou hast been used unto and therefore tolerable, or thou doest retire, or leave the world, and that of thine own accord, and then thou hast thy mind, or thy life is cut off and then mayst thou rejoice that thou hast ended thy charge. One of these must needs be. Be therefore of good comfort. Seek respect, not attention. It lasts longer.
prioritize your mental health like you would your physical health. Exercise your mind with new challenges and positive self-talk. In all things, we should try to make ourselves be as grateful as possible. For gratitude is a good thing for ourselves, in a manner in which justice, commonly held to belong to others, is not. Gratitude pays itself back in large measure. Seneca Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. He who fears death will never do anything worthy of a man who is alive. If you have a disability, that's just one aspect of who you are. Nick Vujicic From the gods I received that I had good grandfathers and parents, a good sister, Good masters, good domestics, loving kinsmen, almost all that I have. And that I never through haste and rashness transgressed against any of them, notwithstanding that my disposition was such, as that such a thing, if occasion had been, might very well have been committed by me, but that it was the mercy of the gods to prevent such a concurring of matters and occasions as might make me to incur this blame that I was not long brought up by the concubine of my father, that I preserved the flower of my youth, that I took not upon me to be a man before my time, but rather put it off longer than I needed, that I lived under the government of my lord and father, who would take away from me all pride and vain glory, and reduce me to that conceit and opinion that it was not impossible for a prince to live in the court without a troop of guards and followers, extraordinary apparel, such and such torches and statues, and other like particulars of state and magnificence, but that a man may reduce and contract himself almost to the state of a private man, and yet for all that not to become the more base and remiss in those public matters and affairs wherein power and authority is requisite, that I have had such a brother who by his own example might stir me up to think of myself, and by his respect and love, delight and please me, that I have got ingenuous children, and that they were not born distorted, nor with any other natural deformity, that I was no great proficient in the study of rhetoric and poetry, and of other faculties, which perchance I might have dwelt upon, if I had found myself to go on in them with success that I did by times prefer those by whom I was brought up to such places and dignities which they seemed unto me most to desire, and that I did not put them off with hope and expectation, that, since that they were yet but young, I would do the same hereafter, that I ever knew Apollonius and Rusticus and Maximus, that I have had occasion often and effectually to consider and meditate with myself concerning that life which is according to nature, what the nature and manner of it is, so that, as for the gods and such suggestions, helps and inspirations, as might be expected from them, nothing did hinder, but that I might have begun long before to live according to nature, or that even now, that I was not yet partaker and in present possession of that life, that I myself, in that I did not observe those inward motions, and suggestions, yea, and almost plain and apparent instructions and admonitions of the gods, was the only cause of it, that my body in such a life hath been able to hold out so long, that I never had to do with Benedicta and Theodotus, yea, and afterwards when I fell into some fits of love, I was soon cured, that having been often displeased with Rusticus, I never did him anything for which afterwards I had occasion to repent that it being so that my mother was to die young, yet she lived with me all her latter years, that as often as I had a purpose to help and succor any that either were poor or fallen into some present necessity, I never was answered by my officers, 
that there was not ready money enough to do it, and that I myself never had occasion to require the like succor from any other, that I have such a wife, so obedient, so loving, so ingenuous, that I had choice of fit and able men to whom I might commit the bringing up of my children, that by dreams I have received help, as for other things, so in particular, how I might stay my casting of blood and cure my dizziness, as that also that happened to thee in Kajeta, as unto Chrysis when he prayed by the seashore. And when I did first apply myself to philosophy, that I did not fall into the hands of some sophists, or spent my time either in reading the manifold volumes of ordinary philosophers, nor in practicing myself in the solution of arguments and fallacies, nor dwelt upon the studies of the meteors and other natural curiosities. All these things without the assistance of the gods and fortune could not have been. When true virtue is lost, good nature appears. When good nature is lost, justice appears. When justice is lost, decency appears. The rules of decency are only the semblance of truth and the beginning of all disorder. If a man is as wise as a serpent, he can afford to be as harmless as a dove. Deaths that are greater, greater portions gain. Heraclitus Sometimes we create our own heartbreaks through expectation. Trusting blindly often leads to betrayal. You cannot control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude toward what happens to you, and in that, you will be mastering change rather than allowing it to master you. Brian Tracy Whatsoever I am is either flesh or life, or that which we commonly call the mistress and overruling part of man, reason. Away with thy book, suffer not thy mind any more to be distracted and carried to and fro, for it will not be, but is even now ready to die. Think little of thy flesh, blood, bones, and a skin, a pretty piece of knit and twisted work, consisting of nerves, veins, and arteries. Think no more of it than so, and as for thy life, consider what it is, a wind, not one constant wind neither, but every moment of an hour let out and sucked in again. The third is thy ruling part, and here consider, thou art an old man, Suffer not that excellent part to be brought in subjection and to become slavish. Suffer it not to be drawn up and down with unreasonable and unsociable lusts and motions, as it were with wires and nerves. Suffer it not any more, either to repine at anything now present, or to fear and fly anything to come, which the destiny hath appointed thee. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. Don't leave someone to teach them a lesson. Leave because you learned yours. Talk sense to a fool and he calls you foolish. Euripides Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. Let go and let life strengthen you no matter how much it hurts. You are the witness of everything. Nothing can touch you. Muji. of everything that presents itself unto thee, to consider what the true nature of it is, and to unfold it, as it were, 
by dividing it into that which is formal, that which is material, the true use or end of it, and the just time that it is appointed to last. He who knows and pretends not to know is on top. Who without knowledge pretends to be knowledgeable, he is sick. Just because you're good at keeping other people's secrets doesn't mean that they will do the same for you. The quality of your mind is the quality of your life. The goal here is not to read the largest quantity of books. It is to read the highest quality of books. Naval Ravikant A friend is a gift you give yourself. If you make a girl laugh, you can make her do anything. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Friedrich Nietzsche, Twilight of the Idols. Whatsoever thou dost affect, whatsoever thou dost project, so do, and so project all as one who, for aught thou knowest, may at this very present depart out of this life. And as for death, if there be any gods, it is no grievous thing to leave the society of men. The gods will do thee no hurt, thou mayest be sure. But if it be so that there be no gods, or that they take no care of the world, why should I desire to live in a world void of gods and of all divine providence? But gods there be certainly, and they take care for the world. And as for those things which be truly evil, as vice and wickedness, such things they have put in a man's own power, that he might avoid them if he would. And had there been anything besides that had been truly bad and evil, they would have had a care of that also, that a man might have avoided it. But why should that be thought to hurt and prejudice a man's life in this world, which cannot any ways make man himself the better or the worse in his own person? Neither must we think that the nature of the universe did either through ignorance pass these things, or if not as ignorant of them, yet as unable either to prevent or better to order and dispose them. It cannot be that she through want either of power or skill should have committed such a thing so as to suffer all things both good and bad, equally and promiscuously, to happen unto all both good and bad. As for life, therefore, and death, honor and dishonor, labor and pleasure, riches and poverty, all these things happen unto men indeed, both good and bad, equally. But as things which of themselves are neither good nor bad, because of themselves neither shameful nor praiseworthy, Happiness is not something you postpone for the future. It is something you design for the present. Do what you can with what you have, where you are. You have the right to perform your prescribed duties, but you are not entitled to the fruits of your actions. Bhagavad Gita Turn your wounds into wisdom. You cannot have a positive life in a negative mind. Go for it now. The future is promised to no one. Wayne Dyer To be cheerful and to stand in no need either of other men's help or attendance, or of that rest and tranquility which thou must be beholding to others for. Rather like one that is straight of himself, or hath ever been straight, than one that hath been rectified. Forgive your old self, you've changed. Never put off until tomorrow what you...
in absentia lucis, tenebrae vincunt. In the absence of light, darkness prevails. Latin proverb. Love is a trap. When it appears, we see only its light, not its shadows. Don't explain. Your friends do not need it, and your enemies will not believe you. The reality is that we are safe, and we have the capacity to enjoy the wonders of life in the present moment. When we recognize that our suffering is based on images instead of current reality, then living happily in the present moment becomes possible right away. Tishnat Han A black or malign disposition, an effeminate disposition, an hard, inexorable disposition, a wild, inhuman disposition, a sheepish disposition, a childish disposition, a blockish, a false, a scurril, a fraudulent, a tyrannical. What then? If he be a stranger in the world, that knows not the things that are in it, why not be a stranger as well, that wonders at the things that are done in it? Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Women make even the men more sophisticated. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Epictetus Do not let yesterday take up too much of today. An optimist is a person who sees a green light everywhere, while a pessimist sees only the red stoplight. The truly wise person is colorblind. The reason most people fail is that they give up what they want most for what they want now. Alex Hormozzi Everyone on Tim's body is the measure for their possessions, as the foot is a measure for the shoe. If then you hold this principle, you will maintain the proper measure. But if you go beyond it, you will inevitably be carried over a cliff. Thus, in the case of the shoe, if you go beyond the foot, first you will get a gilded shoe, then a purple one, and then an embroidered one. For once you have gone beyond the measure, there is no limit. If you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. Above all things, respect yourself. Only the dead have seen the end of war, Plato. We live only now. Everything else is either past or is unknown. Wisdom is not wisdom when it is derived from books alone. In the stillness of the present moment, you will find the truth that has always been with you. Muji Either with Epicurus we must fondly imagine the atoms to be the cause of all things, or we must needs grant a nature. Let this then be thy first ground, that thou art part of that universe, which is governed by nature. Then secondly, that to those parts that are of the same kind and nature as thou art, thou hast relation of kindred. For of these, if I shall always be mindful, first as I am a part, I shall never be displeased with anything, 
that falls to my particular share of the common chances of the world, for nothing that is behoveful unto the whole can be truly hurtful to that which is part of it. For this being the common privilege of all natures, that they contain nothing in themselves that is hurtful unto them. It cannot be that the nature of the universe, whose privilege beyond other particular natures is, that she cannot against her will by any higher external cause be constrained, should beget anything and cherish it in her bosom that should tend to her own hurt and prejudice. As then I bear in mind that I am a part of such an universe, I shall not be displeased with anything that happens. And as I have relation of kindred to those parts that are of the same kind and nature that I am, so I shall be careful to do nothing that is prejudicial to the community. But in all my deliberations shall they that are of my kind ever be, and the common good, that which all my intentions and resolutions shall drive unto, as that which is contrary unto it, I shall by all means endeavor to prevent and avoid. These things once so fixed and concluded, as thou wouldst think him a happy citizen, whose constant study and practice were for the good and benefit of his fellow citizens, and the carriage of the city such towards him, that he were well pleased with it. So must it needs be with thee, that thou shalt live a happy life. There is nothing more unbearable than idleness. The first step to getting anywhere is deciding you're not willing to stay where you are. I will reveal to you a love potion without medicine, without herbs, without any witch's magic. If you want to be loved, then love. Picado of Rhodes. Stop telling people everything. Most people don't care, and some secretly want you to fail. Nobody's intentions are truly clear, even after being stated. All truly great thoughts are conceived while walking. Friedrich Nietzsche, Twilight of the Idols. The Pythagoreans were wont betimes in the morning the first thing they did, to look up unto the heavens, to put themselves in mind of them who constantly and invariably did perform their task, as also to put themselves in mind of orderliness, or good order, and of purity, and of naked simplicity, for no star or planet hath any cover before it. You have two choices. Evolve or repeat. The only constant in life is change. Embrace it, and you'll grow. Care about what other people think, and you will always be their prisoner. Lao Tzu Never sacrifice your progress for a friend. They might not do the same if the tables were turned. Problems cannot be solved with the same level of thinking that created them. The only way to achieve massive success is to first fail massively. Alex Hormozzi It is foolish to wish that your children and your wife and your friends should live forever, for you are wishing for things to be in your power which are not, and wishing for what belongs to others to be your own. It is foolish in the same way, too, to wish that your slave boy should never do wrong, for now you want badness not to be badness, but something else. However, if you wish not to fail in what you desire, this you are able to do. Exercise yourself, therefore, in what you are able to do. 2. A person of 
Tem's master is the one who has power over that which is wished for or not wished for, so as to secure it or take it away. Therefore, anyone who wishes to be free should neither wish for anything nor avoid anything that depends on others. Those who do not observe this rule will of necessity be the slaves of others. You've got to do what's right for you, even if it hurts some people you love. Embrace every opportunity, for regrets come from the chances we didn't take. Not all those who wander are lost. J.R.R. Tolkien You might be the sweetest peach on the tree, but some people just don't like peaches. If you want to be better than someone else, that's the reason why you aren't. People who fail focus on what they have to go through. People who succeed focus on what it will feel like at the end. Tony Robbins An angry countenance is much against nature, and it is oftentimes the proper countenance of them that are at the point of death. But were it so, that all anger and passion were so thoroughly quenched in thee, that it were altogether impossible to kindle it any more, yet herein must not thou rest satisfied, but further endeavor by good consequence of true ratiocination, perfectly to conceive and understand that all anger and passion is against reason. For if thou shalt not be sensible of thine innocence, if that also shall be gone from thee, the comfort of a good conscience, that thou doest all things according to reason, what shouldest thou live any longer for? All things that now thou seest are but for a moment. That nature, by which all things in the world are administered, will soon bring change and alteration upon them, and then of their substances make other things like unto them, and then soon after others again of the matter and substance of these, that so by these means the world may still appear fresh and new. Do not go to the past, not for happiness, not for justification, not for excuses. Only when the last tree has been cut down, the last fish been caught, and the last stream poisoned, will we realize we cannot eat money. Brave men rejoice in adversity, just as brave soldiers triumph in war. Seneca Sometimes you just have to let go, even if you are right. Never disturb them again once you feel free. The more credit you give away, the more will come back to you. The more you help others, the more they will want to help you. Brian Tracy In the morning when thou findest thyself unwilling to rise, consider with thyself presently, it is to go about a man's work that I am stirred up. Am I then yet unwilling to go about that, for which I myself was born and brought forth into this world? Or was I made for this, to lay me down, and make much of myself in a warm bed. Oh, but this is pleasing. And was it then for this that thou wert born, that thou mightest enjoy pleasure? Was it not in very truth for this that thou mightest always be busy and in action? Seest thou not how all things in the world besides, how every tree and plant, how sparrows and ants, spiders and bees, how all in their kind are intent, as it were, orderly to perform whatsoever, towards the preservation of this orderly universe, naturally doth become and belong unto thin? And wilt not thou do that which belongs unto a man to do? Wilt not thou run to do that which thy nature doth require?
The trouble is, you think you have time. If you don't value your time, neither will others. The only way to have a friend is to be one. Ralph Waldo Emerson Pay close attention to those who say they love you, because so often they don't. They only use you. Trust in yourself and your first instinct on decisions. If you do not make yourself indispensable, you will be unemployed soon. Love is the bridge between you and everything, Rumi. Where then now is that king, he who devotes himself to the public interests, the people's guardian and so full of cares? whose duty it is to look after others, the married and those who have children, to see who uses his wife well, who uses her badly, who quarrels, what family is well administered, what is not, going about as a physician does and feels pulses. He says to one, you have a fever, to another, you have a headache or the gout. He says to one, abstain from food, to another he says, eat or do not use the bath. To another, you require the knife or the cautery. How can he have time for this who is tied to the duties of common life? Is it not his duty to supply clothing to his children and to send them to the schoolmaster with writing tablets and styles? Besides, must he not supply them with beds? For they cannot be genuine cynics as soon as they are born. If he does not do this, it would be better to expose the children as soon as they are born than to kill them in this way. Consider what we are bringing the cynic down to, how we are taking his royalty from him. Yes, but Crates took a wife. You are speaking of a circumstance which arose from love and of a woman who was another Crates. But we are inquiring about ordinary marriages and those which are free from distractions. And making this inquiry, we do not find the affair of marriage in this state of the world, a thing which is especially suited to the cynic. How then shall a man maintain the existence of society? In the name of God, are those men greater benefactors to society who introduce into the world to occupy their own places two or three grunting children, or those who superintend as far as they can all mankind, and see what they do, how they live, what they attend to, what they neglect contrary to their duty? Did they who left little children to the Thebans do them more good than Epaminondas who died childless? And did Priamus, who begat fifty worthless sons, or Danaus or Aeolus, contribute more to the community than Homer? Then shall the duty of a general or the business of a writer exclude a man from marriage or the begetting of children? And such a man shall not be judged to have accepted the condition of childlessness for nothing? And shall not the royalty of a cynic be considered an equivalent for the want of children? Do we not perceive his grandeur? And do we not justly contemplate the character of Diogenes? And do we, instead of this, turn our eyes to the present cynics, who are dogs that wait at tables and in no respect imitate the cynics of old except perchance in breaking wind, but in nothing else? For such matters would not have moved us at all, nor should we have wondered if a cynic should not marry or beget children. Man, the cynic is the father of all men. The men are his sons, the women are his daughters. He so carefully visits all, so well does he care for all. Do you think that it is from idle impertinence that he rebukes those whom he meets? He does it as a father, as a brother, and as the minister of the father of all the minister of Zeus. 
If you please ask me also if a cynic shall engage in the administration of the state. Fool, do you seek a greater form of administration than that in which he is engaged? Do you ask if he shall appear among the Athenians and say something about the revenues and the supplies? He who must talk with all men, alike with Athenians, alike with Corinthians, alike with Romans, not about supplies, nor yet about revenues, nor about peace or war, but about happiness and unhappiness, about good fortune and bad fortune, about slavery and freedom. When a man has undertaken the administration of such a state, do you ask me if he shall engage in the administration of a state? Ask me also if he shall govern. Again, I will say to you, Fool, what greater government shall he exercise than that which he exercises now? It is necessary also for such a man to have a certain habit of body. For if he appears to be consumptive, thin, and pale, his testimony has not then the same weight. For he must not only by showing the qualities of the soul prove to the vulgar that it is in his power independent of the things which they admire to be a good man, but he must also show by his body that his simple and frugal way of living in the open air does not injure even the body. See, he says, I am a proof of this, and my own body also is. So Diogenes used to do, for he used to go about fresh-looking, and he attracted the notice of the many by his personal appearance. But if a cynic is an object of compassion, he seems to a beggar. All persons turn away from him. All are offended with him. For neither ought he to appear dirty, so that he shall not also in this respect drive away men. But his very roughness ought to be clean and attractive. There ought also to belong to the cynic much natural grace and sharpness. And if this is not so, he is a stupid fellow and nothing else. And he must have these qualities that he may be able readily and fitly to be a match for all circumstances that may happen. So Diogenes replied to one who said, Are you the Diogenes who does not believe that there are gods? And how, replied Diogenes, can this be when I think that you are odious to the gods? On another occasion in reply to Alexander, who stood by him when he was sleeping and quoted Homer's line, A man, a counselor, should not sleep all night. He answered when he was half asleep, The people's guardian and so full of cares. But before all the cynic's ruling faculty must be purer than the sun. And if it is not, he must be a cunning knave and a fellow of no principle since while he himself is entangled in some vice, he will reprove others. For see how the matter stands. To these kings and tyrants, their guards and arms give the power of reproving some persons, and of being able even to punish those who do wrong, though they are themselves bad. But to a cynic, instead of arms and guards, it is conscience which gives this power. When he knows that bee has watched and labored for mankind and has slept pure and sleep has left him still purer and that he thought whatever he has thought as a friend of the gods as a minister as a participator of the power of zeus and that on all occasions he is ready to say lead me o zeus and thou o destiny and also if so it pleases the gods so let it be why should he not have confidence to speak freely to his own brothers, to his children, in a word to his kinsmen? For this reason he is neither over-curious nor a busybody when he is in this state of mind. For he is not a meddler with the affairs of others when he is superintending human affairs, but he is looking after his own affairs. If that is not so, you may also say that the general is a busybody when he inspects his soldiers and examines them, and watches them, and punishes the disorderly. But if, while you have a cake under your arm, you rebuke others, I will say to you, will you not rather go away into a corner and eat that which you have stolen? What have you to do with the affairs of others? For who are you? Are you the bull of the herd or the queen of the bees? 
Show me the tokens of your supremacy, such as they have from nature. But if you are a drone claiming the sovereignty over the bees, do you not suppose that your fellow citizens will put you down as the bees do the drones? The cynic also ought to have such power of endurance as to seem insensible to the common sort and a stone. No man reviles him, no man strikes him, no man insults him, but he gives his body that any man who chooses may do with it what he likes. For he bears in mind that the inferior must be overpowered by the superior in that in which it is inferior, and the body is inferior to the many, the weaker to the stronger. He never then descends into such a contest in which he can be overpowered, but he immediately withdraws from things which belong to others. He claims not the things which are servile. Where there is will and the use of appearances, there you will see how many eyes he has, so that you may say, Argus was blind compared with him. Is his ascent ever hasty, his movement rash? Does his desire ever fall in its object? Does that which he would avoid befall him? Is his purpose unaccomplished? Does he ever find fault? Is he ever humiliated? Is he ever envious? To these he directs all his attention and energy, but as to everything else he snores supine. All is peace. There is no robber who takes away his will, no tyrant. But what say you as to his body? I say there is. And as to magistracies and honors, what does he care for them? When then any person would frighten him through them, he says to him, Be gone, look for children. Masks are formidable to them, but I know that they are made of shell, and they have nothing inside. About such a matter as this you are deliberating. Therefore, if you please, I urge you in God's name, defer the matter and first consider your preparation for it. For see what Hector says to Andromache. Retire, rather, he says, into the house and weave. War is the work of men of all indeed, but specially tis mine. So he was conscious of his own qualification and knew her weakness. Positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. To lead an orchestra, you must turn your back on the crowd. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. Confucius Control your thoughts, or your thoughts will control you. Mostly people will treat you according to their needs and greed. The now is the space where all creativity arises. Eckhart Tolle A blessed and indestructible being has no trouble himself and brings no trouble upon any other being. So he is free from anger and partiality, for all such things imply weakness. See people for who they are, not who you need them to be. Everyone is going to hurt you. You just gotta find the ones worth suffering for. If you want to make enemies, try to change something. Woodrow Wilson Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. Always save a little money every week or month. Nothing gives you happiness like a financial buffer, believe it or not. Positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. Zig Ziglar
That which must be the subject of thy consideration is either the matter itself, or the dogma, or the operation, or the true sense and signification. Just because you can't see the point behind a challenging time doesn't mean there isn't one. Life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you only spend it once. I walk slowly, but I never walk backward. Abraham Lincoln How much you can learn when you fail determines how far you will go in achieving your goals. No single thing will solve all your problems. No goal, no achievement, no relationship, no one will ever fix you. The essence of your being is boundless and infinite. Papaji. Ever consider and think upon the world as being but one living substance and having but one soul and how all things in the world are terminated into one sensitive power and are done by one general motion as it were and deliberation of that one soul and how all things that are concur in the cause of one another's being and by what manner of connection and concatenation all things happen. To be always fortunate and to pass through life with a soul that has never known sorrow is to be ignorant of one half of nature. What we do now echoes in eternity. It is not the mountain we conquer but ourselves, Edmund Hillary. Don't be afraid to make a hard choice. The hard choices are the best you end up making. Just because you're sad, it doesn't mean you should keep your mouth shut. Money is a byproduct of value creation. Focus on creating value, and the money will follow. Alex Hormozzi That logic is necessary. When one of those who were present said, Persuade me that logic is necessary, he replied, Do you wish me to prove this to you? The answer was, Yes. Then I must use a demonstrative form of speech. This was granted. How then will you know if I am cheating you by argument? The man was silent. Do you see, said Epictetus, that you yourself are admitting that logic is necessary? If without it you cannot know so much as this, whether logic is necessary or not necessary. You have two choices to control your mind or to let your mind control you. Embrace judgment. No matter your outcome, you'll always be judged. So don't live to impress others. Live to impress yourself. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. Seneca To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. Hurry before 30. Have kids before 35. Work and earn actively and sufficiently until and before 40. Make passive income workable before 50. Plan to retire from work activity before 60. Do everything for family, but expect nothing from it, not even from your spouse. We are not victims of aging, sickness, and death. These are part of the scenery, not the seer, 
who is immune to any form of change. This seer is the spirit, the expression of eternal being. Deepak Chopra Be not deceived, for thou shalt never live to read thy moral commentaries, nor the acts of the famous Romans and Grecians, nor those excerpta from several books, all which thou hadst provided and laid up for thyself against thine old age. Hasten therefore to an end, and giving over all vain hopes, help thyself in time if thou carest for thyself, as thou oughtest to do. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. Focus on your growth, values, and cultivating kindness. The right person will find their way to you at the perfect moment, without the need for chasing. He who hesitates is lost. Cato. What is a good man but a bad man's teacher? What is a bad man but a good man's job? Stay quiet about your goals. Soon your results will do all the talking. Failure is a detour, not a dead-end street. Zig Ziglar. Illness interferes with one's body, but not with one's moral character, unless one so wishes. Lameness interferes with one's leg, but not with one's moral character. Say this to yourself regarding everything that happens to you, for you will find that what happens interferes with something else, but not with you. Most people spend more time and energy going around problems than in trying to solve them. Ignorance is the root and stem of every evil. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. Marcus Aurelius Pay close attention to those who say they love you, because so often they don't. They only use you. Trust in yourself and your first instinct on decisions. We should not like sheep follow the herd of creatures in front of us, making our way where others go, not where we ought to go. You create your own destiny by the thoughts you think and the feelings you feel. Neville Goddard To those who fall off from their purpose, Consider as to the things which you propose to yourself at first, which you have secured and which you have not, and how you are pleased when you recall to memory the one and are pained about the other, and if it is possible, recover the things wherein you failed. For we must not shrink when we are engaged in the greatest combat, but we must even take blows, for the combat before us is not in wrestling in the pancration, in which both the successful and the unsuccessful may have the greatest merit, or may have little, and in truth may be very fortunate or very unfortunate, but the combat is for good fortune and happiness themselves. Well then, even if we have renounced the contest in this matter, no man hinders us from renewing the combat again and we are not compelled to wait for another four years that the games at Olympia may come again. But as soon as you have recovered and restored yourself, and employ the same zeal, you may renew the combat again. And if again you renounce it, you may again renew it. And if you once gain the victory, you are like him who has never renounced the combat. Only do not, through a habit of doing the same thing, 
begin to do it with pleasure, and then like a bad athlete go about after being conquered in all the circuit of the games like quails who have run away. The sight of a beautiful young girl overpowers me. Well, have I not been overpowered before? An inclination arises in me to find fault with a person, for have I not found fault with him before? You speak to us as if you had come off free from harm, just as if a man should say to his physician who forbids him to bathe, Have I not bathed before? If then the physician can say to him, Well, and what then happened to you after the bath? Had you not a fever? Had you not a headache? And when you found fault with a person lately, did you not do the act of a malignant person, of a trifling babbler, did you not cherish this habit in you by adding to it the corresponding acts? And when you were overpowered by the young girl, did you come off unharmed? Why then do you talk of what you did before? You ought, I think, remembering what you did, as slaves remember the blows which they have received, to abstain from the same faults. But the one case is not like the other. For in the case of slaves, the pain causes the remembrance. But in the case of your faults, what is the pain? What is the punishment? For when have you been accustomed to fly from evil acts? Sufferings, then, of the trying character are useful to us, whether we choose or not. If you have to feel good about it, then you're doing the wrong thing. You just have to keep going. The feeling will pass, but you will remain. Things are not always completely clear. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Buddha Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Catch a good mood. It so rarely visits us. Those who are without compassion cannot see what is seen with the eyes of compassion. Thich Nhat Hanh Chance seldom interferes with the wise man. His greatest and highest interests have been, are, and will be directed by reason throughout his whole life. Never put off until tomorrow what you... At some point you will realize no one else has a say in your life unless you let them. A single day among the learned lasts longer than the longest life of the ignorant, Posidonius. Humility is everything. No one has the answer. You're going to spend a lot of time figuring things out. The world is a reflection of your inner state. Neville Goddard Reasoning Pierre Hadot said it best when he stated, What defined a Stoic above all else was the choice of a life in which every thought, every desire, and every action would be guided by no other law than that of universal reason. Your well-being is based on living in accordance with this universal reason, as it is what creates a life of balance and virtue. This understanding of reason is what guides the Stoic in everyday decisions and actions. Reason is what allows you to understand perspectives and situations. It's what determines, through thoughtful processing, how you want to respond. Reason is what gives you the ability to actively chose your response to situations and allows you to gain a sense of control over your cognition and emotions. When you live by reason, 
you will live a life of less resistance, a happier life, and one where you feel more in control by acknowledging what you cannot control. It is through reasoning that you become a master of your life and reach your ultimate well-being. Reason is what helps you achieve a higher understanding of nature, yourself, and to live a more ethical life. Your friends' problems become your problems. The smaller your social circle, the fewer problems you have. Confine yourself to the present. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. Plato Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because regret is stronger than gratitude. Be civil to all, sociable to many, familiar with few, friend to many, enemy to none. When you know what you want and want it bad enough, you will find a way to get it. Jim Rohn If thou beest quick-sighted, be so in matter of judgment, and best discretion, saith he. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. When you're testing to see how deep water is, never use two feet. At your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Denzel Washington Life is too short or too long for me to allow myself the luxury of living it so badly. If someone emphasizes that they are telling the truth, you can be sure they are lying. Your identity is a mirror covered with dust. When you first look in the mirror, the truth of who you are and what you value is obscured. Clearing it may not be pleasant, but only when that dust is gone can you see your true reflection. Jay Shetty Again, how he was no backbiter, nor easily frightened, nor suspicious, and in his language free from all affectation and curiosity, and how easily he would content himself with few things, as lodging, bedding, clothing, and ordinary nourishment and attendance. How able to endure labor, how patient, able through his spare diet to continue from morning to evening without any necessity of withdrawing before his accustomed hours to the necessities of nature, his uniformity and constancy in matter of friendship. How he would bear with them that, with all boldness and liberty, opposed his opinions, and even rejoice if any man could better advise him. And lastly, how religious he was without superstition. All these things of him remember, that whensoever thy last hour shall come upon thee, it may find thee, as it did him, ready for it in the possession of a good conscience. Nature hath given men one tongue but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. Life gets better once you stop assuming you will always have more time later. The soul is dyed the color of its thoughts. Think only on those things that are in line with your principles and can bear the light of day. The content of your character is your choice. Day by day, what you do is who you become. Your integrity is your destiny. 
it is the light that guides your way. Heraclitus If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. As long as you are alive, no obstacle is permanent. The greatest miracle is the realization of the Self, Nisargadatta Maharaj. Know that the most important thing regarding devotion to the gods is to have the right opinions about them, that they exist and administer the universe well and justly, to stand ready to obey them, to submit to everything that happens, and to follow it willingly as something being accomplished by the most perfect intelligence. Do this, and you will never blame the gods, nor accuse them of neglecting you. 2. But you will not be able to do this unless you remove the notions of good and bad from things that are not in our power. For if you believe that anything not in our power is good or bad, then when you fail to get what you want or get what you do not want, it is inevitable that you will blame and hate those responsible. 3. For every living thing naturally flees and avoids things that appear harmful and their causes, and pursues and admires things that are beneficial and their causes. It is impossible, then, for someone who thinks they are being harmed to take delight in what they suppose is causing the harm, just as it is impossible for them to take delight in the harm itself. 4. This is why even a father is reproached by his son when he does not give him a share of those things the son regards as good. Thus, in thinking a king's throne to be something good, Eteocles and Polynices became enemies. This is why the farmer reproaches the gods, and so too the sailor, the merchant, and those who lose their wives and children. For people are devoted to what they find advantageous, Therefore, whoever takes proper care of their desires and aversions, at the same time also cares properly for their devotion. 5. But it is everyone's duty to offer libations, sacrifices, and first fruits according to tradition, with a pure disposition, not slovenly or carelessly, neither too meanly nor beyond our means. People often confuse stress with responsibility. That mountain you've been carrying, you were only supposed to climb. When you stop seeing the world in terms of what you like and what you dislike, and see things for what they truly are in themselves, you would find a great deal more peace in your life. Silence is a true friend who never betrays. Confucius Correction does much, but encouragement does more. You'll ruin your life trying to make everyone happy. Success is neither magical nor mysterious. Success is the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals. Jim Rohn As we say commonly, the physician hath prescribed unto this man riding, unto another cold baths, unto a third to go barefoot. So it is alike to say, the nature of the universe hath prescribed unto this man sickness or blindness, or some loss, or damage, or some such thing. For as there, when we say of a physician, that he hath prescribed anything, our meaning is, that he hath appointed this for that, as subordinate and conducing to health. So here, whatsoever doth happen unto any, is ordained unto him as a thing, subordinate unto the fates, and therefore do we say of such things, that they do simvenin, that is, happen or fall together.
as of square stones, when either in walls or pyramids in a certain position they fit one another, and agree, as it were, in an harmony, the masons say, that they do, Simvainen, as if thou shouldest say, fall together, so that in the general, though the things be diverse that make it, yet the consent or harmony itself is but one. Trust wisely and not blindly. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them or learn to bear them. The worst type of man behaves as badly in his waking life as some men do in their dreams. Plato, The Republic. Keep your words true. Keep your heart kind and keep your actions necessary. Do not explain your philosophy. Embody it. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Tony Robbins All desires that do not lead to pain when they remain unsatisfied are unnecessary. But the desire is easily got rid of when the thing desired is difficult to obtain or the desires seem likely to produce harm. People come and go. No amount of success can compensate for failure at home. Someone once told me the meaning of hell. On your last day on earth, the person you became will meet the person you could have become. We must dare to be great, and we must realize that greatness is the fruit of toil and sacrifice and high courage. Theodore Roosevelt If you get tired, Learn to rest, not to quit. Remember some things have to end for better things to begin. It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Tony Robbins Those words which once were common and ordinary are now become obscure and obsolete, and so the names of men once commonly known and famous are now become in a manner obscure and obsolete names. Camillus, Cesso, Valesius, Leonatus. Not long after, Scipio, Cato, then Augustus, then Adrianus, then Antoninus Pius. All these in a short time will be out of date and as things of another world, as it were, become fabulous. And this I say of them, who once shined as the wonders of their ages, for as for the rest, no sooner are they expired than with them all their fame and memory. And what is it then that shall always be remembered? All is vanity. What is it that we must bestow our care and diligence upon, even upon this only, that our minds and wills be just? that our actions be charitable, that our speech be never deceitful, or that our understanding be not subject to error, that our inclination be always set to embrace whatsoever shall happen unto us, as necessary, as usual, as ordinary, as flowing from such a beginning and such a fountain, from which both thou thyself and all things are. Willingly, therefore, and wholly surrender up thyself unto that fatal concatenation yielding up thyself unto the fates to be disposed of at their pleasure. Focus your attention on creating the life you want instead of distracting yourself from your current life. Learn how to say no and mean it. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke 
at any moment. Epictetus This quote reinforces the Stoic belief in the power of perspective and the ability to choose our reactions to external events. You don't have to feel good about it. You just have to keep going. The feeling will pass, but you will remain. Dost thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. Freedom is not about getting rid of anything. It is about being who you are. Muji. See what Crates pronounceth concerning Xenocrates himself. Do not cling to any one person, not even your most beloved. Every person is a prison and also a hiding place. You will never know the true value of the moment until it becomes a memory. The person who says it cannot be done should not interrupt the person who is doing it. Chinese proverb. He who is satisfied with his lot is rich. Two wrongs don't make a right, but two rights can make a wrong. You have to do the work. You have to hold the line. You have to make it happen. Jocko Willing. As the ordinary shows of the theater and of other such places, when thou art presented with them, affect thee, as the same thing still seen and in the same fashion make the sight ingrateful and tedious, so must all the things that we see all our life long affect us. For all things above and below are still the same, and from the same causes. When then will there be an end? Never forget who helped you in a difficult time. If you're brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Buddha Be careful what you tolerate. You are teaching people how to treat you. Will you be content to live your life on the sidelines, or will you step into the arena? And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Friedrich Nietzsche Infinite are the troubles and miseries that thou hast already been put to by reason of this only, because that for all happiness it did not suffice thee, or that thou didst not account it sufficient happiness that thy understanding did operate according to its natural constitution. It is good to be generous, benign, and magnanimous, but there's a limit or you'll be taken for granted. Poverty is a noose that strangles humility and breeds disrespect for God and man. Fortes fortuna adjuvat. Fortune favors the brave. Terence. Our friends show us what we can do. Our enemies teach us what we must do. Progress is impossible without change. You can't win if you don't play. Alex Hormozzi.
take me and throw me where thou wilt, I am indifferent. For there also I shall have that spirit which is within me propitious, that is well pleased and fully contented both in that constant disposition and with those particular actions which to its own proper constitution are suitable and agreeable. He who reflects too much will accomplish little. Everything comes to you at the right time. Be patient and trust the process.